What is up, Clever Coop family, and happy Sunday to you. I was so close. I was so close. I could mark off on the ground with tape where I need to keep my green screen, but why would I do that? Because it would help. Um, all right. There we go. That's all it took. Hi, everyone. Happy Sunday to you. I hope you're having a great day so far. It's lovely to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out. I have been looking forward to this stream for days. Um, I wanted to stream on Friday night. Didn't end up having the oomph to do it. Then yesterday, I was in a little bit of a low place and I stayed in bed literally all day. Like I didn't eat until 8 p.m. Doing a lot better now, but I planned on streaming in the middle of the day. Uh, didn't, and now I get to stream now and I'm very excited for it. Um, so it's lovely to see y'all. Thank you for being here. And also, I forgot to upload more YouTube VODs. Oops, I said I'd do it. I didn't do it. You know me, I forget. Um, <laughs> so, sorry about that. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. Um, I apparently uploaded things out of order and skipped two videos, so I'm still figuring out exactly how to skip that. At least in the playlist, it'll look normal, but for you, just watching it in the VODs, there's gonna be some time jumps. Oopsie doopsie um what is up everyone if you don't know me my name is damien i stream tuesday thursday sunday i'm a voice actor twitch streamer uh you may also know me from the youtube channel smosh thanks for popping by today and saying hey and joining owen wilson says it's all a learning process exactly for those of you that are not in chat and watching this on youtube uh, there's someone here named owen wilson it's not like owen wilson themselves is like hey bud you know it's all you know what it is you know what they call that it's a learning process it's a process you know i can't do it owen wilson voice um, but it's good to see y'all. Thank you for being here. It's your birthday tomorrow, uh, bequeathed. Well then happy, I bequeath you happy early birthday. Thanks for being here. Um, was the hide and seek video fun? Asks game player from Smosh. Yes, yes, it was. Um, I don't want to spoil the results, but for those of you that have already seen it, you know, a different result could have been had and it would have been cool, but it's okay too. We do have a few sub bombs rolling in, which I absolutely want to read out right now. The Slashtimus. What's up, the Slashtimus? It's good to see you again. It's been a minute. Well, I know you popped in recently, but it's been a minute in general. You've probably been busy. Uh, Slashtimus gifting to uh, USMC Tech, Illy Vili, uh, Veliken, Purple Gold, and then Vel Velnawin. Velnan. Velnanwin. Velnanwin. There we go. I'm just going to read it the same way eight times, and then maybe one of those is right. Um, thank you very much, the Slash to Miss. I appreciate you very much for that sub bomb. We also got Ember Games giving to Rihanna122. Thank you very much, Ember Games. Cammy Whammy dropping 100 bits. Thank you so much. Katie Marie also dropping 100 bits. Thank you so much. Um, Cammy Whammy with 100 more. Thank you again. And then Particular List with another 100 bits. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the bits, y'all. Um, Demo Nacho asking, how was the birthday? So I didn't end up going to that birthday yesterday. Um, again, I felt very low all today. Maybe, I mean, all yesterday. Maybe I was sick. I don't know. But I literally could not get out of bed all day. I think I was just burnt out, maybe a little bit depressed. But I ended up messaging my friend and was like, I'm not going to make it by. I'm sorry. And I really did want to go. I really did want to go. Um, but sometimes you just got to know yourself. And I just, it was, it was not in a good place. But uh, today I'm a lot better. Um, I even woke up early and got brunch with a friend. You know the type of friend that you'll see like all the time forever at random events and you're like, oh my God, we should do a thing. And they're like, we should. And then you don't for years. Um, we finally got a uh, brunch this morning and it was absolutely lovely. It's another voiceover friend. It was just good to connect. Um, we got Tasselhoff dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Tasselhoff. Gifting to Adaluca, Lucifer's Grace, uh, Marcio or Marcio Twist, uh, Chiron Store, and then Magical Lee. Thank you very much, Tasselhoff. I appreciate you. Um, if you are new here, if you have been gifted a sub or got a sub yourself, um, first of all, I do read out tips. It just takes me a minute to get to them because I like to read the chat as well for free because I don't want you to feel a financial obligation to be noticed here. You know what I mean? I do read out new subscribers. I read out sub bombs and then I read out resubscribers all at the end of the stream all at once, just in one fell swoop. Um, if you are a subscriber, whether gifted or not, you do have access to the Discord now. And one cool benefit of that is we sort of get to hang out there between streams, even though I do spend a lot of time streaming. Um, but one example is like, I'm gonna go visit my mom tonight and tomorrow because it's her birthday. Um, and when I'm, you know, they go to bed earlier than I do. So when I'm just laying in the guest room and sort of staring at the ceiling being like, 
like a One Piece live action is actually pretty good. Maybe I should watch that. I'll probably hop on Discord and just be like, hi. Um, and then we can maybe do a little chat or something like that. Um, so that'll be nice. Um, Tasselhoff, thank you for the sub bomb. I appreciate you. Also, I always forget what this means, to be honest. But one of my mods uh, reminded me that it's September. I don't know. What oh, ooh, ooh, looking good. Inspiring. My friend Joey painted his nails black. Um, and I haven't done that in a minute. He just sent a little ooh photo, and I was like, looking good, buddy. Um, so anywho, so, um, subs are cheaper, I think, says Demonatra. Okay, well, there you go. Happy September. Um, everybody is always very generous with sub bombs and subscribing and all that stuff. It's very sweet. You never have to do it. It's I, I like to shout it out when you do because it supports me and is very, very sweet and is very kind. You never have to. But that being said, there you go. You save 30% on new subs, says Genocide Official. Okay. Well, that announcement has been made. It is September. Merry September to all who celebrate. You never have to do that here. It's sweet when you do. Thank you. I make legs of dropping two for lemon gift subs. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate you. Gifting to uh, Acroma Guns and then Steady Kata. Thank you very much for doing that. I make legs. We got 100 bits from Desi Lu. Thank you very much. And then 100 bits from Captain Zizu. Thank you very much. Ah, so good to see y'all. How you doing? How are you? Who can guess what my go-to brunch food is? Because I don't get brunch very often. The idea of waiting for a table in Los Angeles freaks me out. But who can guess? <laughs> fish, says Katie Marie. Mm, I do like a good breakfast fish, but no. Crab. You know what? You're not... You guys aren't... Oh, there we go. Benedict. I'm just Joe. You know me. I'm just Joe. You get it. You got to get that Benedict. Whether it's Crab's Benedict. Whether it's normal eggs benedict whatever kind of benedict you got i do like a good old benedict um god it was good oh man it's the thing though where like i don't usually have huge breakfasts what i usually do is i make myself like a very nutritionally minded breakfast shake where i like mix in all these greens and protein and even that i haven't been doing lately so it's usually very light and i'm like ready to start my day with nutrition when I have brunch and it's just like a bunch of eggs and some bacon and some potatoes, I got back home and I was like, I'm gonna stream now. And then I was like, I'm actually gonna lay down for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, fun. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, Yozora Asadia. Appreciate you, thank you very much. It's so hot today, says I was bored with. Uh, well, you don't have to dox yourself if you don't want, but what sort of region do you live in? Because actually in Los Angeles, not very hot today. I was able to sit outside even though I am way past due for my sun shot. Um, it always seems to line up with holiday weekends too. I was like, I need to get in. Oh, you're closed Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and maybe Tuesday. Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, we got Ligneus Com Compagabus. I don't, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, dropping five flippin' gift subs. Thank you so much. Seattle, it's chilly AF. Oh, I'm so jealous. I love the cold of Seattle. Wearing short sleeves in Seattle at the start of the Smosh Tour all those years ago. God, it was like 48 degrees and I was in short sleeves. And I, I can acknowledge when it's cold. I feel bad it's cold. I just like it. Um, Ligneus, thank you very much for gifting subs to uh, Charlay Art or Char Charlotte Art. Uh, Kilty Llama, L98 Delta, the Jenna, and then Boneheads. Appreciate you. Also, y'all, we are going to be playing more Baldur's Gate 3 today. If you have not joined for a stream before, there's always the VODs up on Twitch and YouTube later. But also, it's a pretty easy story to get caught up on, and we'll, we'll get you into it pretty quickly, so don't you worry. We're sort of at the end of a mission right now, so I'll, I'll give you the overall story. I'll tell you what happened during the mission, and that's and the reason that the title is what it is, which is pretty dark, but also it's okay. We got Rosa Elena being a generous mother goose, dropping 10 flippin' gift subs. Thank you so much, Rosa Elena, gifting to Moose, um, or maybe Mueti, because it's M-O-O-8. No, that eight is definitely supposed to be enough. Uh, Len, Phoenix, K, uh, K Quinn, Fellow Pine, Jal Jalidon, um, <laughs> Shart Dart Fart Cart. That... I don't want to play favorites. That's probably top 10 favorite names I've read out so far. Uh, Circa Jambo, um, uh, Quartz Van, Three Polymers in a Trench Coat. That we've got a chem major there. And then Lacey Morse. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate you. 
Is Save the World anywhere in your radar? You know, we used to we used to play a lot of Fortnite. I don't know if I'd play the Save the World um, story campaign on stream. Um, it's more of like a zone out game for me. Hey, what's up, Joey? Joey, I just told everyone about you painting your nails and I was like, looking good. And I was like, I need to do that tonight because it's been forever since I painted my nails. And also the added benefit is when I'm visiting my mom, her husband will also be there. And it gets to be the kind of thing where I'm just like, Wearing earrings and I've painted nails and who knows, maybe I wear eyeliner tonight just cuz just to watch them go like So why so why do you do that? I'll be like, I don't know, why do you wear neckties? Do they keep your head on? No? Oh, okay. I guess we just do things sometimes. <laughs> um Rosa Elena, thank you very much for the sub bomb. Appreciate you. Um Baka2 XLR dropping hundred bits. Thank you so much. And then sticking fork and outlet. Again, also love that name. Drop in five flipping gift subs. Appreciate you a lot. Gifting to Pirate Gone Rouge. Um uh Bello Bello Tilt, Unbaked Parrot, uh Asian Drill, and then Dark Amelia 13. Ah, yes. For every Amelia. Inside of us, there are two Amelias. One of the light and one of the dark. This is the 13th Dark Amelia. Um, appreciate you very much. And then Abigail dropping a hundred bits. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that being said, oh, oh, Ozzy Allwood says breaking those gender stereotypes and watching their minds explode. My mom's always been down. She's always been like, oh, makeup, that's cool. So I'm just like, nice. Um, so yeah, it's just always fun for me to be like, hey, how you feeling? Is this is okay for you? Everything fine? Your eyes twitching? You good? Your eyes twitching? Um. Katie Hayes also dropping 200 bits. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Very nice of you. Um, trying to think if there's any announcements here. Um, oh, uh, so this company that I work with, Neophoric, uh, they did send me a couple more shirts. I'm look. Oh, L Dove, you will see why this stream is named this way. Um, they did send me a couple more things in the mail the other day that are really cool. Um, they're still drying. Otherwise, I would have worn them today. But at some point, I'll be showing those off on the Instagram. I'm also talking to another clothing company right now that is a very different style than them about like maybe showing some things off here and there. Um, so that might be fun. Movie night asks uh, Tamapi. Yes. So, so that is a um. A thing that was promised during a subathon a long time ago. So I'm gonna say either this coming Friday night or this coming Saturday night is when we're gonna be doing movie night. Um, let me have a couple days to solidify that, but sometime next weekend we'll be doing that movie night on stream. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, hello from Belgium, Damien. What are you doing today? It was, what's up, CF Googie? Um, today we're gonna be playing some Baldur's Gate. Um, I've been to Belgium once, but I was a baby, and so I don't remember it, but I went to Brussels. Um, I was a baby, and I don't remember. I was a toddler, I guess. Um, oh, man, I see all these tips rolling in, which is very nice. Thank you. I will start reading them out as soon as we actually get into the game, uh, so that we can sort of split focus a little bit. You weren't online then? No, Ghoulie Hubby, I wasn't. I just didn't get Wi-Fi in, uh, in Belgium. Oh, mentally online, like how I say all the time. No, got it. Yep, yep. I get what you're saying. Baby Damien in Belgium, what will he do? What indeed? I, th I mean, that's the age where your parents can be like, yeah, you literally like were good at knife throwing and you'd be like, really? Like, you just sort of have to believe that you're like, I wasn't making memories. I had not, again, come online. Um, we got Demo Nacho dropping three flipping gift subs. Demo Nacho, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Gifting to Toasty Bits TTV, a worthy opponent, not. And then Jame Mames, or maybe it's Jame Memes. I don't know which. But thank you. Um, also, I want to give a quick shout out here. Um, I've been streaming an extra long time lately because of Baldur's Gate 3. I've been loving it. It's a lot of fun. Um, but I could not do that without our lovely, wonderful mods. Um, they volunteer their time. They never have to be here. And they often do it anyway. So shout out to the mods. Thank you, mods, for working so hard. Um, I will say, if they, if they sort of ping you on anything or, you know, give you a little reminder or message you or whatever, it's never personal never personal um they're just trying to keep things running smooth and chill and making everybody comfortable wait i don't have to be i'm out well <laughs> andrew i know you say jk jk but like literally if you got something better to do with your sunday or you just want to chill you should um you come first live your life but uh demo nacho thank you so much are the kitties doing well too yes ozzy allwood they are except for they're fine this morning i woke up to find several of my beloved air plants on the ground with ch teeth chunks taken out of them. 
And believe it or not, I think it was Freya. Even though Zelda is more often naughty, I think it was Freya because Zelda's got a, got a, she's got a lot of torque. She's got a lot of torque. And there would have been a lot more things knocked over had that been Zelda. But it, not a lot was knocked over other than the plants that had been chewed on and were on the ground. So I'm like, Freya's got the dexterity. Zelda's the bruiser. She's the tank. But Freya, he's that lock picking little thief. And I was so sad. Because I've been taking such good care of them. And they are growing rampantly. To the point where they're even budding. Um, a lot of them reproduce by budding. So you're able to pull off little pieces of those plants and start new ones. So I'm just like, I'm trying to like foster this one from babydom right now. And I'm like, come on, live little thing. And I'm fertilizing it every day with nitrogen water. And anyway, anyway. Um, thank you for the 100 bits, Abigail. Appreciate you a lot. And also, we have a lot of people subscribing on their own for the first time that I would love to shout out. Thank you so much. Truly, a very spicy. Clever Coop, welcome in. Thank you to Rishardo, Lucky Omen, Echo Kate, Jazz Hands, Ashes of Roses, Miss Lee, uh, or Miss Lie 94, Neen 413, Naomi Thompson, Cinnamon Frankie, Flox Music, gifted by Sticking Fork and Outlet. Thank you very much. Uh, Noodle Doodle. Um, and then Dino Nuggets was from a few days ago, but I already started reading it out before I realized that. So there you go again, Dino Nuggets. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. You're getting a puppy or a kitten soon, says Beatrice. Oh, that would be so cool. I love that. You know what? I'll tell you what. I like other people's dogs. I like other people's dogs. I don't think I could ever have a pup of my own. Um, they are just, there's so much work. Whereas cats, like once they reach like adolescent cat dumb, like, yeah, you might come home to a chewed up thing. But beyond that, like I'm going to my mom's place for a day. If I fill up the food bowl extra high and leave the water fountain running and leave the AC on, I'm like, yeah, and they're fine. They know how to poop in some sand and they're gonna be fine. I don't think I could do it. I, could, I don't think I could do a pup. Also, I think most people with dogs don't train them very well. I'll say that too. Look, if I can more or less train my cats pretty well, you can train your dog and you don't. Um, Joey's in chat. Joey knows what I'm talking about. Joey, Joey uh, does, does work with dogs for a very long time and is very good at it. Um, or maybe Joey's not in chat anymore. I don't know. Live your life, Joey. Do your thing. Um, all right, y'all. I'm gonna be hopping into the game here pretty soon. Um, Let's see here. Oh, Joey says, I'm here. Perfect, good. Yeah, you know what I mean, Joey. A lot of people don't know what they're doing with pups. Um, and then Singing Gamer Girl is gifting us up to Tunisia. Almost like Tunisia, but not. Um, thank you, Singing Gamer Girl. Welcome to you, Tunisia. Appreciate you. Oh, you're doing your left-hand nails. No, no, don't even worry about it. Live your life, live your life, friend. All right, so again, we're gonna be playing Baldur's Gate 3 today. I'm gonna get you caught up on the story. Um, I will ask the question of the day first before I hop in. Um, I have been doing extra long streams because of Baldur's Gate and I love it and it's been um, super fun and I'm very addicted and this is when I get to play video games and turn off my brain so I'm gonna be doing that so four hours stream five hours stream and then I got to get ready to go visit my mom um, but yeah uh, I'm gonna ask the question of the day and then we're good to go and corral 600 people says irritated Nick I mean, I don't, I don't really have to corral anything. The mods are the ones keeping people safe and comfy and all that stuff. And I just play the games. And if a bunch of people show up, that's awesome. If only a couple of people show up, that's awesome too. Um, alrighty, let me get a sip of drink. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a difficult thing to, uh, driving from Los Angeles to, I'll say like the San Diego area or San Diego, because like, it's the kind of thing that can take two hours to do but if there's any traffic it can take like four and a half so I, I surprised my mom the other day because I was on the phone with her uh you know getting to work and I was like you know I just decided to slip into conversation I was like uh I was like yeah yeah things are going good I'm busy like I have a little bit of time you know work on things I'm gonna be streaming soon and um yeah I figure I'll come down probably late Sunday night so I have the whole day with you Monday and she's like wait 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 what you're you're coming down Monday's her actual birthday, and I was like, yeah, I'm coming down for your birthday. And she's like, I didn't, oh, I didn't. And it was the perfect little, like, slipped in, like, ah, surprise. And she was really happy, and that made me happy. And I was like, yes. But then, like, I I have a really hard time being away from my space. I think it's a neuro spicy thing. It's just, I don't, I don't feel good being out of my home base. It doesn't matter where I am, whether it's vacation or what. It's just, I have a hard time with it. So the best thing I could do, I was like, I will get there late Sunday night because there's going to be no traffic. And I will leave late, late Monday night, so there's going to be no traffic. Otherwise, it's Labor Day weekend in America. Lots of traffic. It's a holiday. 
and I immediately started getting texts like, well, you know, if you show up sooner on Sunday, we could have dinner, and the such and such is going to be a town, and then, you know, remember this old man, uh, uh, the other time you get here at this time, and they're going to be over at the house, and you can do this, and it just became this thing where I was like, I love you so much, happy birthday, I, you're asking way more of me than you think right now, and which is why I'm streaming late today, it's not because like, I have to stream, I can't see my mom, it's like, traffic's going to be crappy anyway, so I was just like, please, res please respect how much pressure this is putting on me, even though you don't mean it. And she was like, I get it. Totally get it. So I will see her. Um, I hope she likes her gift too. It's, it's the first time I've gotten her a gift in a while that's like not particularly personal, but I just think it's something she'll really like because she straight up told me she would. Um, so we'll see. I'll, I'll let you know in Discord whether or not she liked it. Um, but anyway, we also got Ligneus Compegabus dropping five more flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Ligneus. Appreciate you. Gifting to Krishna Yakshini, uh, Goblin, Kate N95, Bladder CMSD, and then, or Blader CMSD, sorry. Um, and then uh, B Camps 17. Thank you so very much. Appreciate you, Ligneus. Thank you. Very nice of you. Appreciate that. All right, y'all. Time for the question of the day. And the question of the day is. Who do we have in the chat today? We got Andrew J. Noe, Arachnus Webb. We got Save Frosty, Nina, Starshine, 333, Genocide Official, Game Master Moon. We got Orca S, Shibugi Alarm Pants, Kenobi 29, Many Rainbows, Poncho Green, Eerie Medusa, Rosa, Elena, Noah Cola, Singing Gamer Girl, Ligny is Compegibus, Topher 13, Chris Sammons. We got Orca S, Lysanther, um, Liv with a bunch of numbers, Forest Goblin, Moonbeam Dreamer, uh, RJ Yoshida 20. We got the Slash Nemus, Commander, Redleaf, Olive Oil, Aaliyah, Shibugi Alarm Pants, L Dub, CMID, Ghoulie Hubby, Penguin Utopia, Lady of Ashes. We got I Am Bradical, Music's Dance, uh, Sky. Walker, what's up, Jay Newcomb, Finley Coded, Power of Kooky, Mr. W, we got Lay Meow, we got M127, Always Lively, Fabulu, Surrealistic, Arithmetic, uh, Castile is the Sun, Hi, it's Forrest, Gabriella C, Demo Nacho, Alyssa Sweet, we got Kiki on the inside, uh, Kaiti Cat, Kaiti Cat, I think I said, uh, Riga Slayer, uh, Starberries, uh, Quinn Commits Sin, Becca Hop, Noodle Doodle, um, Real Synonymous, Dylan Lantos, Graceful Rosie, Tyler Brightman, J Javi Oli, um, we got Suzu Link, uh, we got Zambassador, we got Desi Lu, Brook Create, Brookby Creativity, uh, Cakes Kapask, we got Ida Chan, Tessa Spike, what's up to Aragnus Web, LM Rid, uh, Vintage Nemo, Caitlin Rebecca, Beatrives, Rachie Z, Surrealistic, I already said that, uh, we got Nick Michelle, Flash Lesage, uh, we got uh, Momadze, Shadow Banshee, Orchestream, uh, what's got uh, Charlotte Art, Raft Times, Lola -la Lobster, uh, what's up to Dragon's Tower, Queen Pasta, Royale, Bad Wolf, uh, Dumb Bears, Lavender Lily, uh, singing gamer girl crying array uh, what's up to uh, Damien lover what's up to Schmo milk Odin's dad Odin's daughter arson bees froggy puddles Sigen, Brooke is broke game player nocturne CF Fo googie too many to count that's right y'all there are too many people here for science to count they don't have that many numbers but tell you what if I didn't say your name right off the bat I'm sure I'll see you at some point during the stream so hang out and lurk or hang out and chat or just use me as background noise while you do that thing that you've been meaning to do and you've been putting off but you know you're gonna feel so much better if you do it especially if you have background noise all that i ask of you is you just peep those rules um before you hop in to chat to make things easy for the mods because we love the mods we love the mods and they work so hard and i want them to have a grand old time because i want this to be semi-relaxing for them too all right y'all time to hop into the game here and i will get you caught up i will read out all that stuff don't you worry and so yeah um uh, movie night stream sometimes um uh sometime this coming weekend um cosplays that i talked about sometime coming up i haven't forgotten all the things i still have the one chip challenge just sitting in my cabinet i just get overworked and then things fall by the wayside and i forget and that's not an excuse but it is very much the reason um all right Let's see. Sonic Bread says, peep in the rules to know how not to behave and then behave like that. Sonic Bread, sounds like you're a real rebel. Not playing by anyone's rules, not even your own. You'll fit in just fine here. Or you'll get banned really fast. I don't know which. That's up to the mods. <laughs> oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Um, well, welcome on in. Hope you have a good time. Let's see here. All right, yeah, again, the YouTube VODs, I uploaded uh, in the super wrong order, so I'm gonna, probably after this, do my best to try to, can't fully fix it, but there are two that I missed, so I'm gonna try to put up some of those. Maybe I should just put up two at once. Just 
just the ones that I missed just to get those out of the way so I can stop like playing mental, you know, shuffling and stuff. Um, okay. Hey, in utero is also gifted a sub to Tonless or Tanyas, depending on how that double L is pronounced. Not sure. Um, thank you very much for doing that. Thank you for the bits, Abigail. Um, first rule of Twitch stream, don't talk about Twitch stream, says Tom. That one's that I tell you what, I might have to change that one. That one's gonna be a little tough for most people, myself included. Um, all right. Baldur's Gate 3. You don't have to know about the other ones. I sure don't. Um I do want to um shout out Devil May Sing for last month's uh for being last month's dominant sub gifter. I believe it was Devil May Sing, and then Jepperhead for being the last month's tip top tipper. I greatly appreciate it. I don't like to make a big deal about those things because I don't want to be like, oh, good support. But it is very nice when people do. So thank you very much for that. Um, thank you very, very much. All right, so Baldur's Gate. Here is the main rundown of Baldur's Gate. And if you can believe it, I don't, I don't know for sure. I don't think this is the actual gate. I don't know why they do that. Here's the main story of this game. So this is all based off of d d It's literally written off of the 5e d d system. So you're gonna see like dice rolls. You got druids bards knights wizards all that good stuff right some of them are good at lock picking some of them are good at talking their way out of situations it, it's D, &D. um so basic storyline is you make your character and then you get kidnapped by mind flayers those are spooky little squid monster guys that eat brains or they put parasites in your brain to turn you into a mind flayer that's how they reproduce um and that's basically what's happened to everyone in our group here um so we all find each other along the way because you end up having a psychic connection with other people with these parasites. And we're like, wait a minute, you too? You've also transformed into this whole situation? That's kind of crazy. Um, and so we end up working together. Everybody sort of has their own way of thinking like, well, here's how we can deal with it. The druids are going to be able to heal us and get these parasites out of our brain. And, you know, other people are like, no, my people are the Githyanki. We are a, an interdimensional type of creature and the, we're the best at science and fighting. They'll be able to heal us. Everybody's got an idea on how to do that. So that's more or less what we're doing in the game. We're trying to figure out how to get these parasites out of our brain. Um, and there's a bunch of side quests along the way. And pretty much everything we've tried so far where it's like, this is the way to do it, um, has not worked out. Um, in fact, we have found ways to use the parasite in our brain to our advantage and make us a little bit stronger, but it could come at a cost later. Um, if you are new here, we do have a no backseat gaming rule that's a little bit tricky for this one because sometimes there are things where it's like, Hey man, you're actually about to mess up 17 hours worth of a quest line. You know, sometimes it's okay to pop in, use your best judgment. And if the mods are like, yeah, mm, don't do it. Then again, nothing personal. They're just letting you know. Um, also, yeah, I mean, don't, ideally, please don't tell me to be like, no, use this spell. You got to do that. You know, try this. Cause I'd rather just sort of learn on my own and experience the game. Um, so here's where we are at right now. So like I said, the Githyanki, a type of, creature in this game um one of the people in our party who is not currently with us right now um because we are we've got our bard we've got shadow heart she's our cleric healer this is karlak she's our waifu and also a barbarian and this is a starian he was almost our husbando um oh yep portrait is still defaced uh and he is our rogue um sneaky little assassin guy um we are playing these this as very good people morally good whenever we can except for i steal everything all the time so we went to the Githyanki place and, you know, our Githyanki person was like, they definitely, they can heal us, they can help us. We ended up meeting with their leaders uh, who hired us to do a task. Um, we decided not to do the task and they tried to kill us, but it turns out they were already going to try to kill us anyway. They just didn't like us. Long story. Um, so we took out most of the leadership of the Githyanki in this area. That being said, there are a couple areas left that we haven't uh, destroyed yet. Um, and there is this spooky old mean doctor that wanted to experiment on her brain. And I kind of feel like she probably has a good weapon. I mean, look at what she's holding right there. That could be a normal short sword or that could be fancy. So I could theoretically skip this whole area. Like we're done with this quest line, but also let's do, let's do this. Um, now, I will say the reason that the stream title right now is even the younglings is this person is Youth Irkus. Um, there were a lot of uh, young warriors training over here, and I sure don't want to kill them. So maybe I'll do non-lethal damage on them, but it doesn't really matter. But like, you know, again, we're playing this as good guys, but also, you know, 
You gotta do what you gotta do. So we're gonna find familiar real quick because we do get to just have a little a little friend join us. Magical little doggo. So any questions so far? Does everyone feel like they're more or less caught up on the story as it stands? Again, we are a bard, so we're gonna be doing a bunch of um all sorts of special magics that boost up our peoples and, and boost them down. Boost down the haters. Oh, that's right. There was that like weird kid or monster or something in here that was making stupid noises. So the way the reason this game is cool. Well, there's a lot of reasons this game is cool. We can do a lot of really sneaky stuff. I could be attacking this guy. I can like, you know, throw different different uh, spells their way or or I can do something like shoot up here and knock this flaming brazier onto them. Um, so maybe, maybe, just maybe, I do that. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? I'm gonna do These it. These boots have seen everything. These boots are made for walking. That's just what I'll do. So I can make a ranged attack on. Oh, what do you mean not the boot in there? Come on, buddy. What do you mean not the boot? This is right. This is right there. Come on. Come on. Are you serious? I don't have enough movement. I talked the big game on how cool this was. Oh, hinge. Oh, don't no. You showed me that I could hit the hinge. You showed me that I could do it a second ago. Can I cast something on the hinge? Damn it, that's such a, such a poo-poo bummer. It's such a poo-poo bummer. How is it blocked though? Why is it not enough movement? Are you serious? It's so silly. Uh, range attack, I really can't hit this hinge. Oh, because I'm like using hand crossbows. Okay, got it. Well then here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna do an arrow of fire and burn all these people all at once. It's gonna be sick. You're all gonna love it gonna be everyone's favorite thing so i'm gonna do that right there boom there we go see how much fire that did on them and now i get to do another little fancy uh little little boom shot here um i do feel bad that i've almost entirely only hit the youths so far um it does it is a bummer that's for sure but also I mean, they should have thought about that at some point. Are you level five? I think we're level six. We're level six, yeah. So we are a little bit over leveled for this area. Um, and because we are a bard, we are going to be finishing every turn with Wonderwall. Says maybe. Gonna be the one that says me. All right, cool. Uh, all right, time to read out some things. Hey, we got a couple new subscribers. Everybody, please give a spice. Oh, see, he's, he's cast a whole thing on me. That's not great. Oh, Andy's just done a critical hit on me. That's also not great. Okay. So now it's time for Astarian, our very special assassin -y boy, to do a uh, straight up murder on one of these guys. Yeah, let's, uh. I think it's about time we murder this lady. Boom! She's done. And now we get to see what goodies she had later. Astarian needs more movement, I swear. Um. Ooh, do we have room to dip? Not enough movement. Is there anything burning? No. Wait, can I do that there? Yeah. Yeah, so you can dip your weapons in fire, and that's kind of sick. We can just do that. Boom. Yeah, now our boy's ready for fighting. Everybody, please give a spicy. Clever Coop, welcome to... Um, there we go. Kimez Amadalia. There we go. Thank you very much for the uh, joining. And then uh, Zeusing Sam. Appreciate you, too. Not my goodies, says Adelia Bedelia. Oh, goodies indeed. Yes, goodies. Um, so this is a cool new thing. Carlac is our barbarian, and usually she just, you know, lays down the law in terms of the damage. Um, but right now, um, and we don't want her to hit our guy here. Carlac, can you move ever so slightly over here? We did get her a really cool um, item that allows her to do radiant damage in a laser beam blast. So let's try it. Oh my god. Okay, so that's the legendary weapon that we just got um, during this stream. I, I do. Yep. Yeah, I think. Yep, that's the move. That's the one right there. That was a really good idea to use on her. Holy mother of god. That wasn't even using any of her extra special barbarian attacks. That was. Oh, we definitely killed the uh, youth. Well. You know, they were probably gonna come back for revenge. You know, you know how that happened. They do that. Yeah. Um, can we, oh, this target can't be helped. <laughs> what are you, therapist? 
Any hoozle. Dog, what did you just do? Oh, he just did his little teleporto. Okay. All right, Shadowheart, our cleric, who's already taken a lot of damage. How you feel? You feeling good? Nice, nice. She's here to boost us up. Um, but unfortunately, in situations like this, we kind of just have to have her do damage. And it's not ideal. Oop. I could also command to drop weapon. Um, you know what? Everyone's taking a, a little bit of damage here. Why don't we have her heal? Do what you do best and heal. Heal on up. Heal up. Heal on up. Um, we can also have her make a spiritual weapon. Start smacking people over there. Nice. Done. All right, and turn. And now this guy goes, hey, how would you like a solid old kabonk on the knob? Boom. Done. Easy. Okay, so we knocked down Astarian. Look, I love Astarian. I really do. We might have to, like, revisit how he works in game. Like, we might have to do some kind of um multi-classing for him or just something different. Because I'm I'm not loving. I'm not loving ba 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 ba. I'm loving it. Um the way he works in game for us right now. He's he's a little underpowered without any special boosts, you know. Boom. Good job, Carlac. You know what? Hit him again, Carlac. Boom. There you go, Carlac. We love you. She's our waifu. Oh, see? That's exactly why we did this. Because there's a fancy ring. When you deal acid, cold, lightning damage, you get to infuse that to your weapon. That's real fancy. Um, special long sword. Look at all those goodies. Ah, oh, this is exactly what we wanted to need, isn't it? Covered. Perfect, isn't it? Ah, oh, she has so much movement, too. See, Carlac, she's always going to be with us. A ring of dippin'. Ringy dippin'. Riggy, ringy dippin' at the ringy pond. That's exactly right. Um, see, that's my problem with the Starion. He is so good. He's so good, but he barely has any movement. And, like, all his dual attacks are like... Oh, man. Um, can we... We don't have advantage on this target. Um, let's scoot... We are going to do a long rest anyway after this, so I kind of... Part of me says, like, let's just do the... Do the murders over here. Got it. Boom. That guy's dead now. Nice. Oh, no. Is he getting back up? Nope. All right. Well, so it goes. Can we still bite? Do we have enough movement? We don't. Of course we don't. Why would we? Um, all right. Well, here's Wonderwall. Yeah, I do feel bad for taking down the youth. Um, that's for sure. Um, so because we use the brain parasites, we now have a bunch of extra powers where, like, if someone hits me, I can charm them. Um, if someone's concentrating on a spell, I can break their concentration, um, with a sweet little bit of murder. It's a, it's a whole thing. It's, it's pretty great. Go get him, Scratch. Aw, oh, man. Well, at least it's not the real dog. It's, um, whatever. Like a shade of them, you know? Um, all right. Let's try this again. I'm gonna need you to girl boss as close to the sun as possible. Can you do that for me? Can you do that for me? No, you can't. Too far. Piercing shot. That's what we need. Piercing shot. Let's go. Of course you missed. Yeah, Shadowheart's great too, but maybe we also change up some things on Shadowheart. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, namely next is uh, your friend was inspired by my VODs in order to play Baldur's Gate 3. That actually makes me really happy. I love that. Thank you. I hope your friend enjoys. I say so. Dang, dude. None of my little minions are able to... There we go. Good job, Scratch. You've done it, Scratch. That's a good boy there, isn't it? It's a good boy there. So I haven't read out any tips yet. Please allow me. Does the dog familiar just having to look like Scratch? So I think because we had Scratch... Um, it just I was able to just do that I don't, I don't know I didn't do anything in particular to make it happen so I, I am curious why that is maybe if I didn't it would be the owl bear I, I truly don't know um all right so let's um bye bye to you goodbye to you ah uh, the poor youth they had nothing on them but at least we were able to rob them it was their final wish it was their final wish you all saw it 
Um, and then maybe one last little murder here. Um, oh, we can do a we can do a real nice little murder here, can't we? Do we, do we? Nice. Ah, oh, we did it. Wait, are we not out of combat? Who's who's left? Oh, the one that's charmed. They're super chill with me right now because they're all charmed about it, and now I'm just kind of like, Ugh, I think you also gotta go. Sorry. Oh, I didn't play Wonderwall. That would have been a great way for them to, you know, end. Um, well. Goodbye. Yes. All right, we did it. We saved the. We didn't do anything, but we we say we did it. Um, let's steal everything we can. I mean, that's my thing, right? Like. They, they would have for sure come back, right? They would have been mad. This would have been the kind of thing that happens like a, a few years down the line. They're like, anyway, I'm mad that you did this in my house. It's like, let's just deal with it now. <gasps> cool sword. We already have one like it, but that's okay. Scratch is still here. Oh, Scratch is pointing to something. Oh, what is it, boy? Who would you find? Scratch sniffed something over here. Can we dig in this area? Nothing but dirt. I mean, nothing but stone, honestly. Kind of impressive to me that you could do that. Can we make it through here? Do they need a sword on this pedestal? I don't know. It's still weird to me that there was like a painting that we get to face. And it looks like on the map there's an area here to go to, but I have not found it. Whatever. Ever. All right, so let's go ahead and send some items back to camp. If you're watching me for the first time, you're probably going to be pretty frustrated by how many, just the sheer amount of things that I just have on my person that I could be getting rid of. That I just never have. And I know, I know it. I know it. We all know it. We're all watching the same thing. I have too much stuff on my person. We get it. Larian's Wrath versus Falar Alade. Long sword, finesse, versatile. Two desk pockets for days. Yeah, and see, they're just we we have so many good weapons and items. Uh, here's the most excited one that I got uh, from pickpocketing in this area. Gloves of dexterity. It increases the wearer's dexterity to 18. And if you're not a D and D person, I'm trying to like say, for instance, someone puts in all of their time to sports. They are a football player and they're intelligent, right? You know, they've got to know strategy. They've got to know, you know, things like that. You know, they're intelligent and they're pretty good at dodging, but they're like a linebacker. They're just really beefy and defensive and strong and all that stuff. And then one day you see them sprint across a tightrope because they're wearing these gloves. That's what I'm talking about. Like 18 dexterity, huge. So it's literally like having a character that is super good at other stuff. And then all of a sudden it's like, Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm the sneakiest mother father you've ever seen without working on it at all. That's what we have here. And we have a headband that gives us 17 intellect. As a druid, you don't need intellect. You need uh, dexterity, you need, wait a minute, what's our spellcasting modifier? Oh no, we're bards, that's right. I was like, wait, no, we should have wisdom for druid. We're, we started out as a druid, that's why I got confused. We switched because I didn't like it. Um, all right. I think we're at a point where we truly have destroyed everything we can or stolen everything we can. There's one more area of younglings, but I will ask actually for some backseat gaming right here. There's the training area, right? Um, everybody knows the, the training area that we saw last time. Is there anything good to be had by murking the people in the training area? Because if there is, I'm gonna do it for sure. Hey, we're all on fire. I love that for us. Um, I'm for sure gonna do that. I'm Put just the wind curious. Back in my sails. This is the, the thing that gave us a lot of brain powers, but it, it broke. Um, I don't think so, but I'm not sure what's backseat gaming. So backseat gaming, uh, your turn's queen, is like backseat gaming would be like if I'm you know playing this game and you're like no 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 turn left turn left there's a, there's an item there it's not that good but you could see hold on check behind that wall because it, it looks like there's something there. Or like, you know, I'm a bard. So somebody being like, no, 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 you're a bard. You got to drop this spell, get this other spell. Um, use use that other spell mostly in fights. That's going to be your most useful, you know, whatever. 
So, oh, what happened? Um, I just, I blew up a thing in a room that I maybe shouldn't have, but I felt like it. Did we even go in here? I think we did. Did we? Did we ever go in here? Oh. Oh, no, we did not. Uh-oh. The hatchery? Oh, this is where I was supposed to steal an egg. Okay, so here's the deal. Before we got in here, there was a, a spooky, creepy lady that was like, they just kicked me out of their location. And we're like, why? And she's like, doesn't matter. And we're like, why? And she's like, I just wanted one of their eggs. I was gonna buy it. And you're like, so you wanted to buy one of their children? And they were like, mm, yes. Yes and no, really all yes. Um, and so we accepted the quest from them for us to try to get an egg and then immediately murdered her so that we'd get paid and then could also do a murder. And I actually feel pretty awesome about that series of choices. Um, because screw that lady. Um, but we did just make our, our way into the hatchery, so obviously there's a bunch of people in here. There probably are some good things to steal. I really wish I would have pickpocketed this area, but I mean, look, they're, they're gonna be pissed either way, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my misty step. Wait, what? They have a special move called war magic that just made me stop my special teleporto. That's insane. I've never seen that before. So they, um, so they, they, they counter spell. That's incredible. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, hey, that's good to know, which means, which means there's, we have, we have backup plans. Nobody needs to worry. Okay. Um, I am going to do then mobile flourish on this thing. And then I can teleport to them. That's what I'll do. Boom. Teleport. What do you mean not enough movement? Every time I do the teleport thing, it makes it so that I can't teleport to them and it drives me nuts. Ooh, special thing to be found there. Or, or that's acid, I don't know. It's no. Can I really not teleport to them now? Enough movement, you're killing me. I hate that that still, that just doesn't seem to work. Um, then, here's what I'll do. Slashing flourish. I'm gonna shoot them. I'm gonna shoot them. Boom, two shots. Anyway, here's Party Rock Anthem. So we got Tom Bydand dropping three flipping dollars. Lovely to see you, Tom. Thanks for popping in. Saying, hello, fun fact, they have decided to turn off our water. Oh no. For the whole day tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That sounds actually less than fun uh, to me, Tom. So, po so it's possible by the time you read this, I might have headed off to sort out my flat and head to bed. But hi, hope you are well and stuff. Hugs and high fives. I mean, Tom, that super sucks. Obviously, you know, maybe doesn't need to be said, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, you know, fill up, uh, fill up your bathtub in case you need to flush. Um, that's a thing I just recently learned about because of the potential hurricane in Los Angeles that turned out not to be so much of a thing, which is actually awesome. Um, all right. Okay, so uh, Esper Vex, that's actually a good example of... Um, what I was talking about before with backseat gaming and like, I'm not, I'm not mad, nothing's wrong, you're okay, but someone asked for an example, so I'm like, why not, there's one. Um, where you're telling me like, hey, there are crocs in the water. Um, I didn't, I didn't need to know that because I would have found out when hopping in the game and it would have been given me like an interesting challenge to be like, oh my God, there's crocs. So again, I'm not mad, you didn't do anything like wrong, but I'm just letting you know that's sort of an example of what, uh, what I mean. All right, man, we gotta make, we gotta make a starion better. We gotta make a starion way better. Oh, Scratch is still here. That's actually awesome. Oh, that's not. How do you get electrocuted? What happened to Scratch? Dude. Uh, Scratch? I don't like that that happened. Here, you hang out over here, bud. You just live your best life. He's bolting out. That's very funny. Angry Agner, yes, I am going to continue uploading streams to YouTube. It's been a couple days. Um, I got a little behind. I did actually upload one when I said I was going to, but then I made a mistake with that one again. Okay, so I guess there's just an electric trap there. We know that now. Um, I did it again. And so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start uh, not doing things in a rush. So Shadow Heart's a little bit useless right now, unfortunately. She's out of spell slots, and I really didn't expect a fight like this right now. 
So maybe what we do is... Uh, we need to do a cantrip. This is a cantrip. Let's, let's cantrip this guy. This guy is war magic, apparently. Okay. Eight, eight damage ain't bad. Um, all right. Great. Ray of Frost on me, not so bad. All right, so he's got some good defense with that war casting, but in general, it doesn't, doesn't seem that strong to me, which is actually great. All right, Carlax, so everybody else got electrocuted, but you have levitate on account of your really cool weapon, so you should be able to just walk on through. Soldier. Son of a bastard, how? How? What does levitate do if not that? Electrocuted. Um, we'll tell you what, here's here's the good news. Um, here's the good news because of that one right there. I could dip my weapon into myself. Ooh. Okay, so there's oh and there's a cobalt scout. Okay, so there's a couple things in the water I need to be aware of. Um, so Tom, I am doing well for the most part. To be frank with you, I've been in a bit of a um I wouldn't say I'm depressed. I think I might be experiencing autistic burnout. I don't know. I, it's, it's a pretty big level of burnout right now. It's not particularly easy to deal with. And I will be okay. It's just kind of a lot right now. And, um, you know, figuring it out, figuring it out. But um, streaming days are really great. You know, it might be nice to get out of the city for like a day to go see my mum. Um, all right, let's go throw this, a club at this guy. Let's see if it works. Ah! God, I love it so much that we're able to do that. You know what? I enjoyed that so much. I think we'll do it a second time. Um, oh, wait. What do you... Why can't I throw anything else? Hold on. Throw... I was able to throw something a second ago. Yeah, I want to throw this maul. Darth maul. Oh, how could that miss? That was a dead-on shot. We know this. We know this. All right, whatever. Back to being my turn, Damien's turn, whoever's turn. Um, so this guy's here, and they are charmed. That's good. Where did that other guy get off to, though? He teleported somewhere. Maybe he's being a sneaky little snake, and maybe I can't see him right now. That would be interesting. Um, I'm going to do a mobile flourish again to see if I can just teleport to him normally. Yep. Okay, that worked. There we go. I am very low on health, though, on account of... Damn, um, didn't even think about that, actually. Defensive Flourish, um, let's go. Boom! That did a murder, and he leveled up! Oh, how exciting. Okay, special boots. Acidic surfaces don't affect you, and you're resistant to acid damage. Well, that sure would have been nice at the start of this fight, but here we are. That's great. Um, and we have the ability to, in our inventory, have a little glug of a special little potion. All right. Thank goodness we made one character overpowered. It just happens to be the one that I make kind of look like me, I guess. Here's Wonder World. There may be... Actually, I should be over here. But thank you, Tom, and I hope all is well with you beyond the whole warder situation. Okay, she's no longer charmed, which is awesome. That means she's gonna shoot my waifu, my lady love. No, not a starion. He keeps getting damaged constantly. Again, electrocuted. Okay, super fun that that happens. Um, but let's test my theory. So we're gonna equip our bow real quick. Can we dip? Can we dip in Carlac? No, it's got to be a dippable surface. That's too bad. There's that fella. I think we got to do a murder on him. I think we got to do a proper murder on him. Let's do a hamstring shot. So he's stuck in the acid. Okay, so I do think we're probably going to change up something about Astarian. I've heard good things about starting as a thief and then specking into monk or maybe it's the other way around but one of them gives him like he's got like a thousand shots per turn and you're just like damn how, okay yep good for you good on you bud um 
Let's do range attack sounds stupid. Guiding flame sounds okay. Actually, produce flame tends to be pretty good. Let's produce a, a flame and then throw it. And then we get to uh, throw that flame, right? If I remember correctly. No? Okay, yes. Uh, produce flame hurl. To hurl at him. It's level three monk, and then the rest is in rogue th uh, thief. Okay, candied kiwi, I appreciate that. I'm gonna take a. I'm just gonna take a little picture of the thing you just said. Uh, okay, cool. It's it's rogue in the multi-class of monk, but ba candied kiwi sounded pretty certain. There was no, there was no. I think there. Level three monk, and then rogue three. Okay, cool. Thank you. Enter. Wow, so he doesn't like the acid either. It's weird to me that they made a room full of acid that they can't touch. Damn. All right, Karlak. Show them what you're made of. Show them what day it is. It's Sunday. Parried? Parried the platypus. There we go. There we go. Fancy sword, you love to see it. Fancy key, you love to see it, I guess. We're gonna sell all this stuff anyway. Hey, we got Miss Joe W. Dropping 10 living gift subs. Thank you very much, Miss Joe W. I appreciate you. Uh, Miss Joe W is gifting to Darix, uh, Rendere, Deluge Boosh, um, uh, Sweet Born, uh, Lauren Esther, uh, 64, Goon Sign, uh, Rabbit Simon, Goose Moose, X Quinn, and then Skinny Fellow. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate you. Very nice of you, Miss Joe W. We got a sign from the generous mother goose. Generous mother goose from generous mother goose. Um, oh, here's also... I talked about being in a weird place yesterday and, like, super low. So here's what was wild about that. Again, I was literally stuck in, in bed all day to the point where, like, I didn't even eat until, like, 8, 9? It was, it was rough. Um, and I, I can definitely do better Don't to take care of myself. Sin. But... That being said, once I finally made it out of bed, I did so much laundry, so much cleaning, so many different things um, that like really boosted up my mood and my day. All of, all of which are things that I could have done from the very beginning, but I had bought like a pair of earrings that I hadn't, and they're cheap too, but I just, I wanted to wear them. Like they're not fancy, but I'm like, I'm gonna buy it again. I had been looking for them for literally like days and days and days and I found them. Found him. How could I miss? It's point blank. Point blank, dude. Come on. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, she's the dodgiest little dodger. She's playing for the LA Dodgers. I'll tell you that much right now. It's, okay. Okay. That all seemed kind of unnecessary. Just saying, on my end, personally, for me, that was kind of insane. But okay. I don't have advantage on her. Alright. Range attack. Yeah, I think we gotta do some some better stuff for Astarian. I think we just gotta do it. TBH. TBH. But you can do Shatter. Nice. Um, so, just so you know what's happening to Astarian, he's wearing a special amulet that has the potential to take over your mind. Um, and that's kind of what's happening right now, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> oops. Um, so she will help him up. Yeah, she's like, hey buddy, you, you good? Looking real normal there, guy. Let's turn someone inside out. Very dark, very dark thing to say, but I don't mind it. All right, Karlak, here's what I'm gonna need from you. An enrage throw of yet another strong weapon, like a war hammer against her. Critical miss? How about a normal throw of another it's Yankee greatsword? I mean, we're gonna collect all this again later. Path's interrupted, what? There we go. There we go. And now he's just like, I can't, dude. 
fucking thing tired, dude. I'm so sleepy, dude. Oh, dude, bro. All right, time for us to go grab all the. Oh, a repulsion mine. Yep, that's gonna be a big deal. Um, wow. Okay, we survived. We really did it. We really did the thing. Hey, Shadowheart, how would you like to heal everyone? Um, let's get you safely up here. Let's get you safely up here. No, no, Damien character. Trying to get us all together. There we go. Heal everybody. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, we all get to level up to level seven. That's such a big deal. Again, if you're relatively new to D&D, leveling up is a pretty big deal. Like when I first started playing this game um, in early access, I had a lot of difficulty because, you know, sweat. I would be level two and then we'd run into some level three goblins and I'd be like, oh, whatever. Like level two, level three, it's you know, pretty close. Um, nope, I was wrong. It's actually kind of insane how big of a change it is. Um, oh my God, a lot of repulsion mines. So they really do be protecting their babies over here, which, honestly makes sense given everything that's happened just now i did just uh murk all of them but there is a single get yankee egg what a child. and i am actually pretty curious about that get yankee egg because i just i know we said we wouldn't steal it or anything but we did to be fair um just completely obliterate their entire um camp so like who's gonna take care of it at all in general you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i mean like i kind of i kind of would feel bad just leaving you okay. on a, what i'm trying to say is really i think we would be um like heroes if we uh if we saved this yankee egg you know so i i think it's probably a good idea to like Try to do that. That strange gas can definitely be an explodey situation. I mean, these are all traps down here. This is all wild. So, hmm. God, it smells awful in here. Um. Yeah, everyone's everyone's finding some messed up stuff. So here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have my main dude ungroup, so that he can do some things solo. Um, he's gonna cast Feather Fall so he doesn't take any falling damage. We're gonna have him jump on down there. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Cautious. Okay. That's a that's a normal thing to have happen. Um. What? It's like a teleport spell. That's so interesting. I wonder what this cobalt skull got us off. Oh, good. They they literally locked him in there with thieves tools. Well, honestly, at this point, if he dies, that's that's kind of on him. Um, all right. Well, I guess I have to get there through burning acid. That's fun for everyone involved. Uh, cool. Great. Awesome. Let's pretend that didn't happen as I guzzle down a sweet, sweet health potion or two. All right. Let's try that again. So obviously, that right there is a trap. We know that now today, on this day. Um. So that's a trap. What if I went ahead and agreed to just take that damn damage? Went down here. Large green egg with an uneven shell. Yeah, it's not good to you take, but at the same time, outline of something within it. I mean, oh, crush it, Jesus, no. Reach out and touch. Egg, egg. Um, pick it up gingerly and stow it in your pack. Be very careful about it. I wonder how Leza will feel about everything that just happened. Um, I also feel like, since these are fancy little barrels over here, well, I'm not doing well. I need to get out of here. I need to make a decision, whatever happens. Um... Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come on. Um, all right, you know what? Starian, you love being sneaky, don't you? Um, we're gonna have you ungroup. We're gonna have you go over to here. Right? Okay. We're gonna have you jump to right here again. Quick step. 
God dang it. <laughs> just like you too, huh? Um, I'm starting to think maybe these things over here aren't worth it. Probably. They're probably just not worth it. I probably don't need those things. Can't control drown. Drowned? All right. Well, we got to go help up our boy. Yeah, more burning acid. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, let's, let's group everyone back up here. Group it up. Yeah. Uh, group, group it up. But every time he gets up, he takes damage. That's actually not great. Um, let's all leave. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Let's leave. Um, okay. Starian is not doing well. Um, but I think Shadowheart. Yes, Shadowheart can heal. Oh, he's straight up dead dead, huh? Okay, does anyone have a scroll of Revivify? That's how you get people back up. Wits and blades always sharp. Reviv yep, someone does. So here, here's what I'm gonna here's what I'm gonna do then. Carlac does. I'd love to, thanks. Since he's straight up dead, we're gonna have her throw him. Can we not? Oh wait, no. If you do scroll of revivify, like a in a -shop. you can just bring him to where you are. I do know that. I remember that. Marching. Okay, let's do that. You can search. Yes, you can. You sure can. Clover Geek says uh, that. Oh no, that baby egg looked pretty good. I think he, I think you probably hear how that sounds, right? I don't think I need to tell you that that's uh, pretty rough. Uh, right? Target too far. Dude, really? Uh, can she, I guess, can she make it up there? She can. She can make it up there. Is it going to tell me it's a blocked line of sight? If we try to flip and revive him from here? Target out of sight. So I, I don't know how I can, I guess I'll just have to pay the price once we all get home then. Yeah, group up, and then we're going to go do a long rest. Um, long rest. Done. We got Katie Marie dropping six, six, six bucks, bucks, bucks. 69 cents. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, Katie Marie. Turn on the fan a little bit more here. Um, saying, I started Starfield, and I, and I oh, got it. Um, yeah, that's, that is, I appreciate you, Katie Marie. Uh, not me. Not me, but thank you. Um... I hope you're enjoying the game, though. I'm looking forward to playing it. I don't have early access, um, but I will at some point. I think I'll probably stream it when it's actually like out properly, you know? Um, let's talk to Withers and uh, Revive. Um, How did you learn to do the echo with the voice? I think it, uh, your, your turns queen. Oh, your trans queen, probably. Sorry about that. I was misinterpreting because there's no vowels there. Um, well, hello, my trans queen. Um, I, I think it Fate sounds more impressive over the microphone than it what it actually sounds like in person. Dost I just am controlling new how loudly or I do it. A resurrection instead. Yes, we need a res we need to resurrect a vampire, and honestly, which is, this is the interesting. Yeah, here's the goal. Well, All right, sorry about that, buddy. By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the I couldn't archives. do trans queen, it was taken. Well... We know who the real trans queen is. The other is a usurper. Or maybe there's room. All of us. Everyone. We're all a queen, a king, or a monarch in our own way. But you're the real one. Okay, um, time for us to level up, which will be cool. So, Astarian, I think I wanna do I think I wanna do the monk thing. I'm gonna look up quickly the monk Astarian um uh thief build. Um, Astarion, because we have so many good things that a monk can do. Monk, thief, Astarion, monk, thief. Um, oh yeah, it's shadow monk. Got it. Um, best builds for Astarion. So that is, that is what it is, right? Um, let's see here. Um, Astarian. Rogue and Noble. Uh, best melee Astarian build. You go to Rogue 3 and then Fighter. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, 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 
Um, rogue ranger. Yeah, it's weird that they don't give you a ranger in this game unless I'm just not meeting them yet. Did Carlac do a little dance right behind? Yes, Carlac does love a little dance and we love to see it. I just want to know if, um... So, whoever was here before saying, um... That you start out in Monk. A lot of the things I'm seeing online starts out with like thief and rogue and then becomes monk okay by combining six levels of way of the open hand monk with six levels of thief rogue the monk gains extra bonus action and gets a total of eight um okay maybe that's what we do yeah you know what astarian's a monk he's a holy man now way uh, uh, uh ascetic lifestyle monastic um hey we've got some ambassador gifting a sub to aurora marie 8008 thank you very much i appreciate you for doing that uh, Fire Fury Rose says, I finally made it to the stream. Only usually watch on YouTube. Welcome to the stream. It is so wild to me how many people have found these streams from the YouTube videos. So thank you so much. Um, that being said, we were just talking about... Um, I made such a mistake with the order of uploads in uh, YouTube. Um, I, like, skipped two videos, too. And then the most recent two, I flipped their order. So it's just like... So I need to... The, the general consensus last time I streamed was upload those other videos anyway. The playlist will have it right. And then you can just play the playlist while you sleep. And then you got 40 hours of content while you're sleeping for 40 minutes. Um, we did a silly. We did indeed do a silly. You know, Orca, I always say we when it's a fun thing in game. Like, we did it. We won. When it's something like this, I did a silly. Romance the Demon Lady? Oh, by Raptor, you must be brand new here. She is indeed our waifu. And she loves us very much. Sometimes, sometimes. We get a little smooch. Big Papa Smurf dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Big Papa Smurf. Gifted to Ricky A, Moody Mary, Purple Dragon Crafts, Scythe Edge, and then Yuzen Wrath. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right. So we, for the first time, that, that is very generous. Thank you. And it's also lovely to see you. Hope you're doing well. Um, how are things with Carlac? I missed the last stream. So we're still kind of at a standstill. She's having a hard time with her um, infernal engine in her chest. Anyone who's new, she uh, was in servitude to a devil for 10 years against her will. They replaced her heart with um, an actual, like, infernal fiery engine. Um, not great. Not great. So we have to, like, you know, help her out with that eventually. So this is the first time we're getting access to um, level 4 spells. So let's read these out real quick. Confusion. You can befuddle a group of creatures. They skip turns. They attack maybe each other, maybe us. I don't know. Dimension door. Me and one other ally can teleport. That's pretty useful. Um, freedom of movement. Um, you can't be paralyzed or restrained. That sounds generally pretty good. Turn a creature invisible. Attacks against it have uh, disadvantage. It has advantage. So that's good to boost up our, our rogue. But again, if we're swapping out a Starion, we probably don't need that. Polymorph. Transform a creature into a harmless sheep. That's so funny here. I mean, look. Confusion sounds the most useful. I think we gotta do polymorph. I think we gotta turn critters into other critters. I think we've gotta do that. Um, look, I love a lot of these spells, but the amount of times that we've actually used dissonant whispers. Oh, and it's a level one too, not just a cantrip. I think I think I gotta get rid of dissonant whispers, y'all. I think I'm gonna do it. Confirm and then uh, change in. We got a dip. We're gonna do. Where's that polymorph? Where's that polymorph? Did we already get it? Huh? It? No need. Or am I now able to grab another level four? Okay, well then let's grab. Let's have greater invisibility too. No. No, I lied about that. Let's do. Let's do confusion. Great. Now I have, yep, learn spells, probably more, just for fun. Which noob, raiding with a party of five. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Welcome on in. Hope y'all had a good stream. Zombassador is also gifting another sub to Omega King. Thank you very much for doing that. Appreciate you. Um, welcome on in. Astarian, again, we are going to change his general vibe to Monk with then Thief and make him super strunk. And that way we're gonna, because we haven't tried Monk yet. It's gonna be kind of cool. But that being said, ooh, he gets a new class feature of um, just being really dodgy. Again, I like him as an assassin, but we haven't multi-classed anyone yet. Um, and it's been, what am I to do? 
it's been a little tricky to get him to survive. All right. Ooh, new spells. We have we have some level four spells potentially here. Um, death Ward is a life domain spell, which we just get. Protect a creature from death. It cannot die. It just goes to zero hit points. Or Guardian of Faith, call forth a divine guardian that protects, protects enemies. Um, but we do already know these spells. So I'm curious. Freedom of Movement or Banishment. Banishment seems like an insanely good spell. And I'm going to get... I think I will get rid of Guiding Bolt because we have something so similar right now that it only makes sense to me to... Call forth rain or destroy... Mm, yeah, it only makes sense to me to like... Get rid of Guiding Bolt and get, get, a, get us a level 4 banish. That makes sense. That makes sense. So I'm fine with her being life domain. Yeah, it, put those grippers away. It, it is it is weird that they, they just got her grippers. I mean, if I weren't streaming this, they, they, they do have like nudity in this game. Like people can just sort of look like whatever. Um, We got the Slash Demis drop in. Six, 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 box, box, box. Thank you very much, Slash Demis. I appreciate Come you. On, also, love it. Saying, hey friend, with Gen Con under your belt, have you considered any other appearances at future cons outside of Smosh related appearances? You know what? Like I said, I was at a, um, ooh, you have honed your instincts. You have gained a plus three bonus to initiative as Barbarian. That's awesome. We love you, Carlac. We love you. Um, yeah, we, uh, I was actually just at that, uh, at brunch with my, my voice actor friend today, like I was talking about. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty curious about that. Um, you know, I don't, I don't tend to have a whole lot of time and I really have to make, you know, I really have to make the things I do worth it and count because my, my time at Smosh, it is a full-time job, right? So I have to be smart about when I'm missing things. And you know, when I book a voiceover job, it might be four hours out of the day. And so I sort of have to take half the day off and like, I just have to sort of pick my battles a bit, but I'm definitely open to doing cons. You know, I've got a couple more characters now um that i could like get artwork for and do signings i haven't done signings in a minute i just realized i'm in i'm kyokakuda uh kyokakudo excuse me in um my happy marriage and i still haven't gotten any artwork done for that and i'm like i should do signings for that too like i did for fire emblem and fortnite and all that stuff i just i just get you know, you know what i'm gonna add that to my list for things to do at least reach out about before this weekend i have to 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 um you're in my happy marriage. Yeah, I'm the male lead uh, by Lossoraptor. That's me. And again, see the fact I should I should be posting about it more. I just I'm just running it like things are really I'm really happy. Things are really really great right now. It makes me so happy. But I'm I'm not used to balancing this many things because usually I have one or two things going on at the same time. And even that is like ah that's awesome. Like I love that. Um, but like <laughs> you know so you know. Bad. Anyway, Astarian, so let's let's explore making him a monk. We can always go back, but I know we have a lot of good things for Astarian. So let's do a save, just in case we hate it. So, if I remember correctly, it is Way of Shadow Monk, which makes sense for Astarian. Um, right, Way of Shadow Monk, and then Thief. So... Right... Monk build, um, fearless martial artist, um, way of the open hand monk with three levels of thief. Interesting. We do have some fancy, fancy punch weapons. ADHD autism do be like that. Uh, yes, indeed. It's all DHD. It's all DHD that do indeed be me. Ah, another. Oh, that's right. We've never changed his class, so he's never even My spoken to Withers. So in Astarian's canon, there's just I been this be spooky zombie guy in camp, camp for like for weeks, and we've never talked about it. Hey, we got Kalo, or actually probably Kaloe. I don't know, though. Drop in five flippin' gift subs. Thank you so much. ADHD is an audio input, right? <laughs> that's funny, Gulio. Uh, Kaloe is gifting you Harps Cantina, Swagums, Ar uh, Anarchy 99, Brian Seawolf, and then Bro... Robama, O2, got it. Robama. I prefer if you leave. That's awful. I would not say that. Before. As thou desire. All right, so let's see here. So we have him as Rogue. Of course we love Rogue. Makes sense for him to be Rogue. But you know, this is the first time that he as a vampire has been, I've been able to be out in the light. 
So maybe let's maybe let's let him be a little bit of a monk. Oh, look at him. Oh, so smooth, so cool. Um, he's got better defense when he's not wearing armor. He's got good dexterity, his unarmed attacks scale with dexterity. That's cool. Um, monk weapons deal good damage. Um, bonus unarmed strike. If he's unarmed or you attack with a monk weapon, you can do another unarmed strike. And then you also have like key points, like key chakra. Um, I can't imagine monks really need much strength. I know we've already like min max dexterity. Uh, we need wisdom. I guess it's just for saving throws, huh? But constitution would probably be better for that. Yeah. Right? Does that make sense? One less wisdom. One more constitution. No, because he's already going to be dodging a lot. Strength. Three to saving throws plus three to constitution decision decision this is new runners this guy getting a reclass mid run he's getting reclassed i just for some of these characters once you get to like these middle um little sections it's just it, they don't they don't function in the way you would hope it's just it's just not great i feel like strength can just be a dump stat i'm just making decisions here okay dexterity constitution Still gonna drop one wisdom it doesn't need to be wise clerics druids and rangers yeah he's i mean he's still gonna be a um thief later so this is all this is all beneficial all right astarian let's go full monk mode class features is that a key blast i'm assuming unarmored movement so he has better movement speed while he's not wearing armor or using a shield um Sneaky little step dashes, sneaky little disengages. So he's already very similar to a thief. He's got that physical build aspect. Um, doesn't subclass way four elements. Nope, we're not going to do that. So for those of you that know this thief build, is it way of the open hand? I think it's way of the open hand, probably. And then way of the shadow is like hide, pass without trace, darkness, dark vision, teleport, silence. I don't think we need that. I think we can do way of the open hand. I think it's all about the poncho. It's flurry of blows. That's what we'll do. Who would you love to do, or what would you love to do voice acting for? I want to be in like Square Enix game. I want to be a, a major character in a Final Fantasy game. I want to be a major character in a, like a Kingdom Hearts game. That would be cool. Um, new feats available. Okay, so now we have new feats. So feats in... Dungeons and Dragons is um strength modifiers added twice to the damage and attack rolls. Okay, well I guess I could have had strength. Um in, in feats are really good things where you just add a, a nice little bonus to your character. For example, like you uh, you're always better at performing, you're always better at um jumping, um defensive duelist, uh finesse weapon. I am Curious, because I've never done, never done. Lucky is always cool. I've never done monk, so martial adept, battle master, no, maybe mobile. Movement speed increases. After making no resilient. Increase in ability by one to a maximum of twenty. In proficiency in that saving throw, savage attacker. When making melee weapon attacks, so it's not unarmed strikes. I think Tavern Brawler would make sense for a monk, but also, um, oh, uh, Ashes of Roses, when I found out you voiced the male Shaz, I was like, well, damn, now I need to play the male so I can hear Damien. I will say, Don does an incredible job as the femme version, um, but here's my, my Shaz sword, love it. Um, I would have said Tavern Brawler, but that relies on strength, and we just went full dexterity, right? So that doesn't make too much sense to me. Maybe I just boost my stats. With ability improvement. Maybe we just get a little more dexterity. Yeah, I think we get a little more dexterity. I think we do that. I think we're just gonna be super dexterous and sneaky and strong that way. And then I guess we don't need those dexterity gloves. Someone else got it. 
All right, so we got stunning strike and oh, stunning darling. Extra attack, that's great. Then we're gonna have level six monk, and then we multi class into I think. Sorry, they got so high. Um. Um. Sorry, give me one second because I just want to make sure I, I don't want to have to do this again. That would be very silly. Um, plenty of other items such as the mask can also do a little bit less damage. Oh god, amazing strength. Um, uh, the six levels in wave open hand with three levels of thief rogue. Then eventually you add tavern brawler, which doubles strength because we can get weapons and items that allow us to do strength. Got it. So that's. That's for later, but for right now, we're just going to do a bunch of punches. So six levels. We have open hand monk. That's cool. Now, here's my question. How do we multi-class? Because I've never had to do that before. And it just leveled us up in a monk. How do I do that? Character features. Oh, add class. Oh! Oh! Okay, and then we still get our sneak attacks and there we go. Wow, they really make that just a tiny little icon right there. Oh, ho, 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 don't they? They sure do. Um, okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. So now we get to boost up our boy. Um, let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. So, as a monk. We do a lot better if we are not wearing armor. Correct, correct. So, sorry. No, you know what? No, I'm not. Um, so what's the deal with, what's the deal with um, bonus unarmed strike? Unarmored movement. Your movement speed increases when you're not wearing armor or using a shield, and then your reflexes are effective while not wearing armor. You add your wisdom modifier fire to your armor class. That's why I was supposed to keep higher wisdom. God dang it. God dang it, I really botched that one, huh? Um, oops. Okay, so unarmed strike does 5 to 10 damage. We know that. Um. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Um, I really botched that one, huh? What are my stats right now? Wisdom is 13, whereas I made constitution plus 3. I didn't, I didn't need that at all. I didn't need that at all. I could have gone wisdom. I could have gone full wisdom. And then he could have been just a naked little guy. Also, I'm curious, like... I guess there are like clothes that aren't just light armor. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, hold on. There was one. Didn't you save right before though? Yeah, Indomitable Kitty, I did. I did. Let me really quickly check this though. Sorting options. I'm gonna look up. Uh, just like oops, no. Uh, I, that's right. I can't search. So cute. So cute. Um, I do just want to see what this looks like. I probably should remove that amount of constitution swap it over to wisdom Gosh, dang it i feel so silly i feel so silly um destitute clothes well we don't want we don't want the destitute clothes we do want but see here's the thing my here's my question a lot of armor like the sparkle sparkle hands right on a hit with an unarmed attack, the wearer gains two lightning charges. While imbued with lightning charges, attacks against things wearing metal gain advantage. Like, there's a lot of uh, weapons we have here that are better for rogues. Like, your unarmed attacks deal one to fire force scorching damage. But does that count as armor to have any gloves? Or is it just not? Rare clothing, the graceful cloth. Oh, okay. Actually, yup. Hold on. Clothing is not armor. Okay. Now I get it. Um, I am so sorry to do this. I'm going to do this really, really fast now that I know exactly what we're doing. But I have to... I have to redo that. Um... Wow, we literally spent 10 minutes in that thing. I have to I have to undo that wisdom thing that I did. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's so stupid of me. I need to boost down 
or uh drop down constitution a little bit we got pam gifting us up to awesome limited thank you very much pam oh, i shall be here oh, in my cap yes. great we are going monk at least we don't have to worry about all the other things involved in that so we are going to drop constitution and drop constitution and boost up wisdom strength we're going to keep a little bit higher because there is a feat later that will help us there. Constitution is just plus one to AC, which is fine. Wisdom modifier is that two. All right, great. And actually, wisdom, we're going to have this go here. Yeah, so now we have 16 wisdom. And that's pretty good. And constitution is like fine, I guess. Or 15 to 12. Yeah, that's actually... Is that any better than the thing I did already? No. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Nope. Nope. There we go. 15. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Wait, no, we still have one left. I did this in a stupid way. Hold on. 16. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Never played game monk like physical. Yeah, I've never played um monk here. Um I can also change his things. So acrobatics is gonna be important. Stealth is also probably important. Insight, very important. Ugh. I guess stealth isn't that important. All right. Okay, cool. Confirm. Now we level them up. We're going to do this as fast as possible. All right, great. I wish they would just sort of let you up all at once. There we go. Wait, the four elements? No, that's not what we want. We want the way of the open hand. There we go. Um, uh, We want the feet. That is still probably ability improvement for now, which means we're going to do... Oh my gosh, we have so much dexterity. Look at us go. So strong. Great. All right, level six, we're good to go. And then finally, level seven. Now we switch over to sneaky little thiefy little guy. Wait, they're doing the thing. Stillness of mind. God, I haven't done that in forever. Rogue. Yes. Rogue, you little sneaky little sneak thief. Oh, this is just, this is just dandy. This is just dandy. Oh, look at this. Okay, so now, again, quite naked, but not for long. Um, all right, we're gonna drop this. I think, I think we need to just drop all armor and then go from there here. Um, this is light armor, which is quite a shame because I do love that auto sneaky situation that we get. Um, jump helps. Longbow, I guess we can't do anymore. These swords we can't do anymore. All right, Astarian, we are gonna, we're gonna have a makeover. Now we're gonna quick save and now we're good to go. Yes, get a good look, everyone. You know what? Here, here's here's what we're gonna do. We need a, we need a thumbnail. You ready for this? You wish to speak? Oh, I put his clothes on. What? Hold on. No, we need a thumbnail. You wish to speak? Yeah. Hold on. No, you know what? No. Actually, it's even better. It's even better if he's talking to Shadowheart. May the darkness protect you. Oh, man. All right. Well, so it goes. All right, sorry, Ian. You can have your clothes back, I suppose. Um, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. I would like, I would never, I would never want to restart this game because we have found so many goodies like all over the place in this game that I, the idea of like searching for everything again, like there's so many items that I'm like, wow, like I really can't believe we have something this good. I don't know where I found like the special armor I want to use. I don't know at all. Um, oh, you know, it's a little bit of a bummer though. So when you click on these things, it shows you all the armor you can use, but it doesn't do it for this area, which is a real shame. It's a real shame. Um, all right. So we are going to be doing some housekeeping, just changing around people's classes and stuff like that. It's dust. Um, morning frost is a quarter staff. 
which I suppose is a monk weapon. But at the same time, I still think I would do better from just unarmed strike, right? In general? Um, is there a way to sword armor? I mean, yes. Yes. There is. And, we, and we've done it, basically. You can see all the little things here, but... Oh, just a nice little circlet. That's not armor. That's actually very pretty on him. That'd be, that'd be very pretty on him. Um, let's see. These are all light armor for the most part, except for old floppy hat. Um, Justicia armor. We don't need that. So we want... The robe of summer would be cool, but I think we obviously want this graceful cloth. It is just clothing. You gain... Oh, you increase your dexterity score by 2 to a maximum of 20. Oh, man. Wait, is 20 the maximum of any stat in this game? Or can you go above it? Noodle toodle, I will, Diet. Don't you, don't you get ahead of me. I'll do it. Don't you worry. I think so, yeah. Or 24, I'm not sure. Because I, I always thought people could get over 20 in this game. Without certain magic items. 20 is max without magic items. So me just taking that feat just now to make my dexterity 18 when this obviously get... You can possibly get that to 23. I think it's 20. So this adds 2 no matter what. And I just added... I just made my dexterity 19. Don't tell me I have to redo this again. Y'all, I envy the dead. <laughs> ah! All right, one last time. Quick as a bunny. Let's go. 18 AC, though. I know, but it's still maxed at 20. Like, ah! um. So anyway, this last time is to answer your question. Cons, I'm open to it. A lot of people have convention managers. I, I don't be, uh, like working with That's managers strong. or whatever. I really like uh, sort of being on my own. So that is one thing that does uh, act as a bit of a drawback for me. Um, because... Um, what did I do? Look at them. Oh, I can't get... Okay, so I can't get more than that right there. Okay, so this all, this all makes sense. This is good. I don't want to lose two just to get one in wisdom. Yes, I do. That's what I want. Constitution, it's fine. Everything's fine. Because I'll do one dexterity and one wisdom when I get the... Or constitution when I get the wisdom. Everything's fine. We got this. Yes. 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 Great. Confirm. Level up. Great. Level up. We want the way... Oh, shoot. Uh, we want the way of the open hand. Done. Oh, the rift in space time. Ghoulie Hubby, thank you very much. Appreciate that. I, I'm not a fan of the rift there. Ability improvement. So now this is up to 18. That's what we wanted. And then constitution plus one is probably a good idea. And eventually we'll get an item that boosts our strength. And then this is our good monk. Asteria not having high charisma feels wrong. Yeah, maybe he's stinky. That's what they don't tell you about vampires. Maybe they're stinky. Do you ever think about that? Do you ever think about maybe they're stinky? Stinky. Oh. There we go. Great. Amazing. Now we get to make our way over to here. We're saving again. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. If anything screws up again, that's just how it goes. That's the thing that happened, and that's what we're sticking with. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. Maybe one day we'll figure it out. But right now, this is the thing that happens. Um, taking off his weapons, too, which is also going to allow us to boost our other character's weapons. Um, everything is great. All right, Traveler's Chest. Ignore, open, ignore. Oh, you poor folks watching the VODs on YouTube. Skip to time code when I get things figured out. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm just saying skip the time code to sort of act like I know what I'm talking about. Uh, all right, Traveler's Chest over here. Sorry, over here. All right, let's play Dress Up. 
So we got the Graceful Cloth. I don't know where I got that, but I can't imagine a better item for Astarian as a monk. AC 18 is honestly incredible. Um, let's see. What are we working with here? So we're obviously going to have to get rid of all these arrows if we're not going to be using any ranged weaponry on him, which I actually I doubt we would be doing anyway. Um, he's got a nice little circlet he can wear. It's not armor, but maybe it's pretty. I don't know. Um, I wonder if there are any better little armor pieces for... <laughs> Let's have a special little hat. Um, I really, really wish that this was not a problem for him to wear. Because, God, it was so good. Um, so there's no hats for our boy right now. And guess what? That is okay. Because everything else is light armor. And we're... Ooh. Haste Helm. At the, at the start of combat, the wearer gains momentum for three turns. It doesn't list it as armor. Like, this lists this as medium armor, medium armor, medium armor. There's no armor listed here. Let's see. Yeah! Okay! I don't know why. But he can just sort of do that. That's really cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Did they... <laughs> they knew exactly what they were doing. They are just showing off his obliques. Look at him go. Oh, I'm so proud of him. Um, all right. So now that that's done, we get to look at gloves and boots. So gloves of Cinder and Sizzle, your unarmed attacks deal an additional one to four fire damage. That's a good place to start. We can see what else maybe there is. Um, Daredevil gloves, you gain a bonus to ranged attacks, but well, no. All right. Boots of Striding, when you... Okay, that's medium armor. That's a non-starter for us. Um, Horfrost Boots, you cannot fall prone while traversing icy terrain, whatever. Um, okay, so I guess our boot options are a bit limited, except for this one. When wear stands in water during com combat, it becomes electrified. That's what happened to that weird water. Um, if the wear starts their turn on an electrified surface, they gain three lightning charges. I mean, that, that looks most doable to me. So we'll go ahead and keep those. We obviously don't want any weapon strikes. When one of your cantrips deals, whatever. So currently we have key restoration, chi restoration basically with this amulet, which is good. We want that. Ring of jumping and ring of invisibility. These are all good. It's looking to me like we are about good to go with all of these. I might give him like a quarter staff um, just to hold on to, just in case, because clearly you know, it could come up that he would have to use something like that in battle. Um, on a melee hit, possibly inflict it, and then slide of hand plus one. I think, I think honestly, at this point, everything else can kind of just go back into storage. Um, send the camp. I'm gonna send all these arrows to camp too because he's not gonna need them someone else could later but not right now all right great i think i think he's doing pretty good i mean that's our boy right there he looks pretty strong to me um i always forget why he's able to have fireball and all that stuff but like all this all these chi attacks they seem damn good he's got a good jump and he does 7 to 15 with this, and he gets all these extra strikes. I think we're going to be doing... I think we're going to be sitting pretty with this character. Um, and so now, looking at our main boy... Wait, acidic surfaces don't affect you. Get Yankee crossbow, whatever. Um, oh, that's why hand crossbows are tough, because they have less range. Um... Yankee egg, examine. Yeah, I guess we'll hold on to that just forever. Um, <laughs> whoops. Um, send to camp. I've never once needed all of these scrolls. I know I should be using them, but I haven't used them. Send to camp. Um, look at all these potions. I've never really used them. Send to camp. Um, and then Larian's wrath is over. All right, so now here's what we're gonna do real quick before hopping back into the main stuff. So we have a bard right now, right? This is our main bard character, and he has... 
dueling. When you are wielding a melee weapon that is not two-handed or versatile in one hand, and no weapon in the other, you deal an additional two damage with that weapon. Oh, wait, this is versatile. So already we weren't getting the benefit we were supposed to get from this uh, weapon. That's awesome. That's super good to know. Um, so then let me really quickly see what the weapon was that Astarian had, because that might be a thousand times better for us. Um, sort of by type. All right. God, we have too many things. Um, this is a light and finesse weapon, right? It is not two-handed or versatile. It's a light or finesse weapon, short sword, and we would be dealing it with, we'd be holding it with one hand with the other hand not open. So, I just think this is overall just a way, 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 way better weapon. You have advantage on attack rolls against lightly hard wounds and your targets. Better enchanting, better piercing. I mean, that is, it is such, it is such a good weapon. My God. Um, can you replace that feat with dual wielder? If so, you can dual wield long swords. Yeah, so we wanted to do that CF, um, but the issue ended up being that every single weapon that I wanted to use, such as this one, wait, light finesse, light finesse. They're both light finesse. Oh, oh, this is what we do, y'all. Oh. Oh my God, we can finally guarantee that we do all the thing. So um, so now we are gonna really quickly undo Rogue. God, I don't wanna redo the spells, but I do wanna swap so that we get um, not dueling, but the other really cool one. Um, Cause these are both really good fancy weapons that like my, we are gonna, we're just gonna be gods. We're just gonna be gods, we're just gonna be gods. It's gonna be so good. Um, We got the chain shirt. I do wish we had better weapons in general but that's neither here nor there um oh my god okay oh my god um there we get it okay um that okay we're gonna do it with him too and i promise we're not about to do this with everyone else we're gonna be fine it's all gonna be good um everything's gonna be fine but we do have to talk to withers and get this redone for ourselves because holy mother of god this is about to be insane you got those two they're gonna be good together oh uh, yeah i bet i bet ligneus i bet uh justin long is gifting us up to con thank you very much i promise we're getting back into the proper game here soon y'all i'm so sorry um a resurrection instead um all right cool as thou desire I'm hoping that it just oh god does it actually make us like undo all of our spells and cantrips again i don't think i had anything no i think i think this stays as it was yes this looks like it stays as it was oh no we had bane we had bane and i don't think we had dissonant whisper and then abilities Tell you what, we can entirely dump intelligence now that we've got that headband. Let's boost our dexterity. Nice. Nice. Um, persuasion is good. Performance is good. Deception is good. Performance is good. I kind of want better sleight of hand, though we are going to be stealing as this character now and not a starion yeah that's the best of it also stealth is good persuasion and deception are good too i kind of i kind of think this is this mm, whatever cool all right so we're the way of the blade Bard level two I promise we're going to get back into the game so soon. So sorry. Jack of all trades, actions, gain a spell. Great. The spell that we want for this is... What did we get before? We got... What did we get before? It doesn't look like we... Whatever it is, I don't think we use it. I guess animal... Friendship? No, we have talked to animals. This guy's so... Maybe we did have this in it. 
Oh crap. Um Thunder Wave is fine. I just don't care. Um Alright, let's do this. College of Lord, no College of Swords. In the passive fighting style. Two weapon fighting. When you make an attack with your offhand weapon, you can add your ability modifier to the damage of the attack. That is actually so good. Um, what plot have I missed? I watched all the YouTube VODs so far. So you have not seen us. We took down the Githyanki Kresh. We went in and tried to do everything that Lazel wanted us to do, and we did it. Um, it turns out, though, it's not. It's not. Not great. It didn't it didn't really turn out how we were kind of hoping. Um, and that's sort of a oopsie doopsie, and that's on us. Um, I don't want better sleight of hand. I don't need to deceive so much. Persuasion is generally better for us. Sleight of hand, yeah, I want to steal stuff way easier. Um, so, uh, all right, so here's what we had. I know that we had heat metal. I do love me some good old heat metal. We're going to keep that for now. Now we had Crown of Madness later. We don't tend to do that. Swords, fine style, replace spell, change. What do we not need? We have... No, this all makes sense. Uh, just in Whispers, we don't need. We replace that with... What? With what? With what? We already have Heat Metal. We changed it to... Old person has not once worked for us. Um, Crown of Madness is fine. It's kind of weird though. Whatever, we did it. Hey, we got Zoebe91 dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you so very much for that, Zoebe. I appreciate you. Zoebe is gifting to. Uh, Becca Bug, Joe Way, uh, Susky Boy, Papa Bear, and then Reton0301. Thank you so much for doing that. I greatly appreciate you. That's very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, knock automatically opens a locked door, but at the same time, we're going to be such a sneaky little sneak thief. But we can already do that. Um, calm emotions, blindness, cloud of daggers, detect thoughts, enhance ability, enthrall, hold person. Hold person's probably. And then a feat. Aha! There's a feat! Um, we have actor, which boosts our charisma. And then we have double proficiency bonus for deception and performance. That's really good. We also previously had ability improvements, such as boosting a charisma anyway. And boosting dexterity anyway. We might, we might just want to do that. Because we don't have issues with performance. Performance usually and deception is whatever uh boost your charisma um, boost your probably actually maybe constitution yes plus five zero plus, uh, plus five zero plus five zero plus yeah mm. how, how survivable are we what, what's our HP now Serious. Whatever. Dexterity. Let's go. Elven trees. Last features. Gain spell. Thank you for your patience on all this, folks. Soon. Uh, bestow curse. That's one we wanted. I know that. I remember we had that. Great. Our level six. We get an extra attack. Pretty cool. Um, extra spell. What do we want now from the level six stuff? Rewarding hypnotic pattern. Thank you. Speak with the dead. That's one we wanted. Yeah, con would have been a good choice. That's okay. I'll just have to do it later. Whatever. Um, gain a spell. We got this one, which was Polymorph. We thought that was kind of funny. Finally, we're good. And now we have two weapons, damn it. Look at this go. 7 to 12 and then 6 to 11, or 6 to 11, 7 to 12. It doesn't matter. Cool. These are in... 
incredible weapons. I am so excited to wear these. Um, amazing. And the last, the very last thing that we need to do is drop this and drop this into um, camp things. Sort this by type. Wait, it took away my um spider's liar. I don't use the spider liar. Um, put it in the camp. And then we're gonna grab a die for Astarian. No. And that's the last thing. And then we get back into the battles. We gotta get back into the battles. Stabby stabs intensify. Oh, yes, they do. So there's one more room in the crash to take down, and then um and then I, I wanna I wanna take on that mystical tower we had seen before. Which means we cannot forget, we cannot forget the the susser. The susser leaf or whatever it is. Um Okay. Uh or the susser dagger, but I know there was like a susser plant as well. Um where are the dyes? So just want to make sure we're not missing out on any good necklaces. I think your cantrip steals cold fire, whatever damage. Yeah, well, that doesn't work for us because, yeah. Um, cool. Uh, die. Where is the die? Bloody plum die. Black and jade die. Red and black furnace die. That's so fancy. Drake general die. Green die. Okay. Indigo dye. I mean, what what is a star? Muddy red dye, light blue dye. A starian might look good in a light blue. Oh, like an ocean dye. Pale green, pink. Okay, yep. Pink and leaf green. That was our uniform before. I think we got to stick to it. I think we got to do the pink and leaf green. Yeah, I think we got to do the pink and leaf green, folks. Um, put item for one. Done. I guess we get to see how that is after we go to sleep. Wish to live in more interesting times. Like, let's go. All right. Let's see how Astarian looks. What? He's still not in his armor. That's weird to me. There we go. Um, you know what? I don't love it as much as I thought I would, but that, you know what? We're here. We're here. And I'd rather not go back, so we'll deal with that later, I suppose. Um, okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. No one be weird. Everything's fine. Not my favorite. Not great. Send to camp. Okay. Type... All right, cool. Time to do battle. Um, as a monk, is it okay to have a bow and arrow? Or a bow, I guess. Or am I even able to use those? Let's move. That's fine. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then I guess I will have that. Oh, then I guess I shouldn't have deposited all those arrows into the storage chest. But you know what? It's okay because I did it, Let's and that. It, yep. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Great, 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 great. Um, maybe I'll just keep pulling up some of these arrows here. One, two, three, four. Come up, pick them up. Um, all right, so this, he can't do a Githyanki bow, but he can do with the other bow go. There it is, two-handed longbow plus one, or light crossbow plus one. I guess it doesn't really matter which. Check that out. Why not? All right, Astarian, you got yourself a bow. But I want you to use nothing. Great. Fun, fun, fun. We're good. We did it. Zoebe, thank you again so much for, for the sub bombs. Um, I have realized I have missed um, a lot of tips. And I, as I, as I do, because I get very sidetracked. Thank you for your patience. Let's go do a murder. Um... 
suddenly feel cheerful. Oh, he has to redo cheerful. his. As if even the he has to redo his uh, checks on this on this amulet. Not thing. all is well with thee. Such is the price of my favors. <laughs> Saving throw. Think dark thoughts. So this we found this amulet right and there's like a little ghost trapped inside and he has a quest for us and we can't tell if he's good or bad but when we used insight it basically was like he doesn't mean you any harm but it doesn't mean he's not gonna harm you you know what i mean let's see if we can saving throw with dark thoughts add the bonus here of bless does she not have i Damn. Right, bless him, I guess. But it's only a 10. So. There we go. Nice. The moment is over. The awful. Yeah, I've got to stop using all his has passed. spells. It's not, it's not great that I got that. Um, notice to Voshkofi. Wardrobe. Mm. Oh, cozy blue shirt. Well, then that's a nice one for camp. You know what? We haven't had any nice camp outfits in a long time. I say, I say we've earned this. We're going to get a nice cozy blue shirt for camp. That's, that's very nice. Any more nice camp clothes for anyone? A mellow black shirt. You know what? Swarthy wayfarer in cream. Wow. These are all quite fancy. I kind of like Astarian's look. Maybe, maybe we're more of the the mellow black shirt type, or the swarthy wig. We'll try that for later. All right, one last room to completely take down. I'm gonna feel pretty bad if there's nothing good to be gained from it, but at least it will also let us take care of, um, you know, seeing what it's like for Astarian to be a monk. That's gonna be really interesting. Um, again. A lot, of, a lot of younglings in here, but this this guy who's an instructor, I do very much want to take him down. Kind of feel like I don't want to take down the, the younglings at all. That'd actually make me kind of sad to do. But I do want to take down these the, the jerk. Great. Great and barrel. So we got Noodle Toodle dropping 719. Thank you very much, Noodle Toodle. Saying Sword AF is my favorite thing on the internet right now. Thank you so much. And it has impacted my life in the best ways. Odd uh, Jacobs, Jacobson's art for the series inspired me to change my goals entirely to become a concept artist. There's even there's even more I wish I could tell you. That's so sweet, Noodle Toodle. That actually means so much to me. Um, I'll, you know, uh, that, I mean, that obviously means a lot to me. I'm sure that would mean a lot to Odd Jacobson as well, though I don't, you know, I can't speak for them, but um, that's a really beautiful thing to say, and I, I really appreciate you sharing that with me and with us. Thank you very much. Um, Sword AF is my baby, and it's a huge team effort, but I'm, I'm very proud of, you know, what I've been able to do with it so far. So truly, truly, truly thank you. Um, it, it really means the world to me that you said that. So thank you. Um, all right, Astarian. So for the first time, we get to see what it's like to do these here unarmed strikerinos. So let's see what we're cooking with here. So we have, we, these all take key points, but we get seven of them. Stunning strike, which stun a target, but I would need a melee weapon. Stunning strike unarmed, flurry of blows topple. You punch twice in quick succession and possibly knock the target down. Flurry of blows, you uh, stagger them to make them uh, drop down or you push them away, that could be good eventually. Um, step of the wind, disengage. This also all takes, you know, key points. Chi, a lot of people may, might know it as. Um, we have like a really defensive move there. That's really cool too. Um, this is using a chi point to heal yourself. And then we just have normal punches. So I guess it's not the most like fancy class here, but like still, still pretty good. Um, now, I don't think we can get to anyone quite yet in the way that we would want to so let's go ahead and just do a normal sneak attack here do we really not have advantage on anyone i'm always so confused by sneak attack it's so weird um well then i guess normal fire attack and i can hit a bunch of people with it seems kind of cool 
Starion is pretty powerful. I think when you make them right, yeah. I mean, I've had a hard time doing that, but that's kind of on me. Um, Arrow of Lightning. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Let's lightning it up, bros. Now, why are you not letting me go right with it? Oh, path's interrupted. That's why I can't hit all of them. Maybe if I go from the side a little bit, though. Maybe if I do. Um, all right. One last try here. Um, arrow of Zippy Zaps. Fine. I'm not going to be able to hit four people all at once. Whatever. Everything's chill. But I will do this. <laughs> Saved on the arrow of lightning. That's stupid like a fart and dumb as a butt. Fine. Then you get all fiery. Is an illicit practice dummy. Shock. Wow, very rude, Astarian. <laughs> it's like they don't have any toys to play with. Oh, we had so much more movement. I guess I could have used that. Um, alrighty. Mental instruction? So, dude, he's just supposed to be a normal old. Ooh, deflect missiles. Oh, I don't want to use a cheat point on that. No, 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 no. Um, that's fine. You can just get shot. Oh, but he's not prone. No, I wish I hadn't. That's actually so much damage. Damn, dude. We gave you so much dexterity. Aren't you supposed to dodge all this? My God. So stupid. Uh... All right, whatever. Whatever. Let's murder this man with our cool new weapons. Oh. That's so much murder damage. Defensive Flourish Melee. Luck of the Far Realms. Oh, even better. Um, And then one more Flourish. I mean, okay, so our new our new build here is um, ridiculous. So, um, anyway, here's Wonderwall. Yeah, this guy, we, we did, what is that? 61 damage in a turn? insane to crown of madness oh that's too bad well then we don't want any of our actual friendos getting too close because we don't want them to get hit um tell you what though there is a way maybe maybe if i aim this just right i can take down a lot of haters all at once Moving. because carlag has this super cool sunbeam move that you love to see and he still has the ability to hit me with crown of madness i am gonna hmm okay fine let's finish this got to press on i would like to have her help up astarian maybe but she doesn't have enough movement of course why because why would she why would she ever have enough movement? um all right fine I'll tell you what we can do is we can command I always love commanding people to just drop their weapons. Command him to... What's your weapon? What you got there? Some kind of blade? Oh man, I don't want to hurt the kids. Um, maybe in lieu of that, I just bless everyone. Yes, I will say hashtag bless. Um, up to three creatures, great. Then, yeah, I'll do the three useful ones. One, two, three. It's been great to have Shadowheart as a as a healer. Target can't be the enemy. Oh, Crown of Madness is not good for him right now. Okay. Um, then, I wonder how I can resist Crown of Madness for him. Is that a, um, I wonder if that's like a remove curse situation? Target isn't cursed. Okay, man. All right, I don't, I don't really know what to tell you at this point. Let's just make a big old spooky axe, I guess. Maybe I can do a really weak ranged attack to... No, you know what? I should be shooting this guy to make his um, crown of madness stop. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Ah, he still is... is this... Oh, his concentration is now broken. Great, 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 great. By my hand, 
I feel really bad that they added voice lines for the kids to like try to attack us. They're like, we're doing it. We're really doing it. I'm like, oh, that's not great. Oh, uh, I don't love that for me at all. Ah. Um, oh, that's a lot of younglings. So that's why, that's why I titled this that. So Noodle Toodle, thank you again for your very, very, very sweet words. Um, let's see here. Uh, lacerate. It's, um, oh God. All right, well, okay. Well, I guess I did choose the most dodgy one. That's fine for everyone. Um, all right, Astarian, get back. Oh, he's fine to get back up. That's great. So now we can finally see how uh, this looks. So let's do flurry of blows, stagger. I just want to try this out. Flurry of blows, stagger. Okay, well that was an immediate death on that character. That's actually great. Um, and then we also get an extra attack on this person. That's insane. We would also be able to do a stunning strike as our action instead. Oh, they, they dodged but we do get a second attack. So we, even before the build is complete, we are getting three, three attacks per turn. That's actually kind of sick. Oh God, I do need to start just, yeah, I need to start deflecting those missiles. <laughs> um, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and murder this guy because I'm really not stoked with how he's been sort of handling this whole situation. Nice. What do you got? What you got for me? A normal crossbow? Dude, did they even like you here? Can't reach this. All right, well. Um, flashing flourish rain. That's how you hit two guys. Two kinds of guys here. You did a one kind of guy. You did a two kinds of guys over here, huh? Nice, nice. Fancy, fancy. Um, sure wish I could check his pockets. We fire, baby. Um, all right. So I guess first things first. Um, God, I do want to do a murder. I really do. But I think I got to You know what? Hold on. I got a good idea. We'll do that. And then here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw healing potion over nope hold on bro a healing potion right here that's a sneaky little thing oh you don't have enough resources to to help him up well how about throwing a healing potion how about pushing this person for fun yeah nice get out of here you chump hell yeah now we're doing better all right is this the point where she shows exactly how super useful she is? I need to start doing way better. You know what? She needs to have a warding bond with a star on the whole time. That's what needs to happen because it's going to boost him. It's going to give him a higher chance to dodge. She's here as support anyway, so maybe she just needs to be here to literally support. Maybe she doesn't get to damage. Maybe she doesn't even do a bless. You sound like the English VA for Baki. Oh, I'll take it. It's a popular anime. I'm assuming that's pretty good. Emma Dockers is dropping five flipping bucks. Thank you very much, Emma Dockers. Appreciate you saying, I'm so happy you exist and we get to wave our pom-poms for you. That's really sweet. Thank you very, very, very much. I'm I'm a happy lad. I'm, I'm very much, I don't know. I just feel lucky to get to do what I do. Um, and that's never lost on me, and I, I certainly wouldn't be able to without y'all. So truly, thank you. Um, and I, I hope I keep getting to show y'all cool stuff and doing things that make you proud. That's very much my goal. So thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I have to get part the, past the part of myself that feels sometimes a little guilty because y'all are so supportive and kind. I'm like. It's not even imposter syndrome at that point. It's just like you do so much and support so much. And it's it's a lot, but like in a good way. But still, it's just like it's very nice. Um, thank you. Yes, even the younglings. 
that's what you get for being githyanki i mean evil it has nothing to do with the fact that you're an invasive species that chose absolutely not to live peacefully with everyone else but literally murder entire monasteries of monks and then um you know it's a whole thing um anyway here's uh wonder Woman. there we go so i guess this melee weapon since it's not versatile we do need a shield for her and I guess this also could have been the type of weapon where she would have benefited from, like, maybe maybe my other character could have had it. But I guess maces wouldn't have worked anyway. So what are you going to do? Oh, this guy is prone. So we kind of just have to take him down, huh? Um, all right. Well, that's that's a bummer for them. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right. It's okay to murder since you're the good guy. Exa See, I'm saying, Faustian. I'm saying. Farlock is so strong. We love our waifu. So powerful. Look at her go. We're just playing her on like, you go get him, baby. We're playing our music for you because we know you can do it. Man, there really wasn't anything good in here. And I do feel mm, kind of bad about the, um, you know, like the, just generally the murders. Um, and I could I can probably call them murders at this point for sure just because we didn't have to do any of these um yeah I mean they, we didn't we definitely didn't have to do any of these uh for sure um but flurry of blows there we go nice we did it wait are there more oh the youth that's right I always forget about the youth despite everything well Blood patooey. All right, but we got experience. That's important. And hey, you know what? You got you gotta get experience. You know what I'm saying? Because if you didn't, then what are you even doing here? What, what was this all for if you didn't learn? All right, time to send literally all of this back to camp. too many i have too many you know here, here's one because anybody can hold anything here right shadow heart has like nothing we're gonna go ahead and go hey shadow heart you hold all of these we're gonna go ahead and go hey carlac you hold all of these we love you dearly you hold everything um we're gonna go hey also uh, shadow heart you hold all of these um great i guess it's clearly from the alchemy pouch that everything is so heavy but still wow okay quinby you're you're mad at me because you can't stop saying anyway here's wonderwall uh, you know what some would say it's it's a boon it's a blessing some would say that that maybe you're one of them i don't know um all right we didn't get any benefits from murdering that entire let's be on my way training center i'm gonna call it a training center because calling it a school makes me sad all right, so you know what? We did succeed in taking down this crèche. That I mean, that's an entire quest, and there's truly nothing left to do here. And you know what that means? We do get to we get to travel through. So we didn't travel through the mountain pass before, and people said something about starting that and yada yada yada. Am I able to now go back to that spooky, spooky um? tower that ancient spooky tower in the underdark this i think it was close to this the sister tree you're entering a different region am i able to do that or is this going to screw me up arcane tower yes oh man thank you did you just commit genocide no did we finish the seller quest from the blighted village you'll be fine it's fine was there other stuff around the temple definitely nothing else around the temple except for that laser on top that we didn't do anything with Am I supposed to go back to that laser on top? I think you should be fine. Was there other stuff around temple? Do I need to go back to that laser on top? And no, we didn't finish the seller quest. I know there's a little guy I can summon if I do. To yeet them at people. Uh, uh, laser was tied to the artifact if you didn't have it, have the key. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Then, yeah, I mean, let's, I guess, good point. Let's go back to the Blighted Village just to 
do the quick seller quest because it's there. You might as well do it. This TikTok very much made sure to show me, like, here's what you didn't do. And I was like, okay, cool. Wait, I said Blighted Village, not Campsite. Right? It's not fast travel right now. No, I'm trying to... What? Did I... Oh, when it said you're leaving a different region, it made me go to sleep. Is this going to be a big storyline shift thing? Also, how do we like our new black shirt? Other than the blood. Is it story? It says story time stuff, but did I screw anything up? Is it a jump in time? This is okay. Okay, good. Okay. Story time. Story time. Ah, uh, Thomas Sanders. Everyone said we, everyone used to say we looked alike. I don't think we do anymore. Anyway, talk to Carlac just to make sure our storyline with her is good. Looks like we're done here. Pity. This place has been a Is this going to move me on to Act 2? No. Okay, God. I don't know. I'm just so paranoid. I just don't want to miss anything. Starian, how you doing being a monk? You like it? It's pretty cool. The sooner we get out of this Git Warren, the better. Um, oh yeah, he's a vampire, so you do have the option to say, hey, you can feed on me if you want. I want to give Gale different camp clothes. I just don't like the I just don't like the purple on him is what it is. Walking freely out of a gift Yankee crash. A miracle if ever I've seen one. And trust me, I've seen quite a few. Alright. Go to Betty back. We also haven't checked in with Will in a minute. I'll check in with Will just to make sure he's not gonna tell us, like, oh yeah, we definitely should have been like killing the thing. Um Hey Toki Pow, I appreciate you being here. Thank you crash. for hanging out. I'm glad you're joining me. Thank you. If you watched the other stream with Amanda, then you'll understand what's going on here. Um, we got Curvrito dropping three dollars. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Curvrito says, hey, Damien, I'm not sure. Ooh, storyline stuff. Curve, I'll get back to you in a second. Ooh, ah. Oh, they're probably mad on account of we murdered Supreme everyone, huh? Kithrak. Has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakek Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. I am glad we changed shirts. It looks very nice. Um, I'm going to nod to Lazel. Lazel has had a hard time. I don't... She wasn't in our party. We might not have told her that we um, killed everyone she's ever known and stole a baby. So it's probably a good idea to just let uh, maybe let, let her take the lead. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry Who the does he look prism, like? Lazel. Within it oh. lies the seed of Vlacketh's demise. And I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlacketh's demise? Skaketh. I should run you through Whoa. for suggesting it. All right. Anyone who's confused. We have been holding this artifact since the beginning of the game. It came from this character, Shadowheart. We don't know what its deal is. But when we went to go visit Lazel, her people, they were like, that is the astral plane. There's a spirit that lives inside of it. You got to go kill it. It's the spirit that's been helping us not turn into a mind flayer, supposedly. So in, our, in my playthrough, I chose not to kill it or anything. But they're like, God Queen Lich was like, you're the one who has to do it. And that they're all like sort of, you know, very um, beholden to. And so either way, when we got out of this situation, they were going to try to kill us. And apparently the reason is their god queen doesn't actually really know what she's doing at all and can't really save anybody and doesn't have the power to do so. Um, she's just there. Um, and so the fact that he's sort of like, Bill Nighy, that yes. Yeah, and David Bowie, yes, thank you, God. David Bowie, Bowie is, I think, much more it for me. But yes. Um, um, what are you asking of us, boss? I'm asking for your help and your trust. I've heard Am I going to roll insight? Because he does look honest. You are infected. 
Yet the one in the prism has chosen you. Right. Protects you with their power. The prism's tenant alone has the power to end Blackith's tyranny. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Oh, Instead, now I feel bad for slaying the, the entire group so he was with. Awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Boulder's gate. I'll be waiting in a tap room okay. called Shares's Caress. Jervest's that is where caress. we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlakith's slaves no longer. Here's... I am no slave, she's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel. Every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the that infected. Does Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the ascended. She feeds on most all of them. That would also track if she's a, a Lich. Godhood. Madness. He flood me with this. This heresy. I. I will hear no more of it. Lazelle's been having a rough time because she sort of like lost her faith for a bit, especially when we were like, hey, your queen god was about to kill you. She was like, oh my god, that would mean everything I am is a lie. No, this must be a test from queen god. Everything is fine. So here's, here's my guess. Don't confirm, obviously, but at this point in the game, Anonymous is gifting a sub to Lobzon. Thank you very much for doing that. I appreciate you. Here's, here is my guess. I think he's earnest in wanting to take down that queen and free his people. But I also get the vibe from him that he's the type of guy that he's like, I have freed our people. I, our new ruler, bringing us into a glorious new dawn of the new age of me. Like that's, that's sort of what I think would be going on here. So like, do our, you know, needs align right now? Like, kinda. But also, you know, and, and in my mind, like, obviously, I'm Team Lazelle, but I'm like, she's too young and inexperienced. She's such a young go-getter. I don't know. Hey, also, speaking of new subscribers, everybody, please give a sparsely. Clever Coop, welcome to Stockbot, Live Lush, Young Sticks, um, Lavender Waffles On, gifted by Owen Wilson. Thank you very much. Esper Vexes, Fire Fury Rose, uh, Tina Malene, or Tina Maline, uh, Namely Nex, and then, uh, there we, there we got, uh, the all. There we go. Okay, we're good. So Curvrito, I'd also missed out on speaking to you. Sorry for the interlude here. Hey Damien, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be on stream slash active since I've been having a rough weekend. Well, it's been two hours since you tipped, so I'm sorry, and I'm also sorry to hear that you are having a rough weekend. I know the feels. Um, typing with one hand is not fun. Oh, that's right. Um, I think you mentioned in a previous stream you would hurt your hand, but if not, and I'm mixing that up with something else, I'm sorry to hear that. Anywho, some good stuff is happening though. Officially going to New York Comic Con. That's so cool. Cosplay suggestions, sending good vibes. Ooh, Curvrito. I, I mean, obviously, I don't know you. I don't know your general vibe. I would say in terms of cosplay suggestions, do something that's going to be kind of easy to move around in. Like, look at Astari in here. Like, here's here's my thought. I'm supposed to do the cosplay for um, romance novel Leon from Resident Evil 4, right? Seems awfully applicable to this, too. I might end up doing both. Um, but look how easy to move around that would be. Wouldn't that be great? So I'd say maybe something from Baldur's Gate, something more current, but just don't do anything that's like gonna ruin your day because you're worried about people running into you and stuff like that, you know? Pick an anime, pick a game, and do something low touch. Um, Blackett's led you astray. I believe him, and so should you. Everyone approves. Everyone approves, because I'm being honest to her. Ooh. Bro Stay frosty and get things up to El Dark Star. Thank you life. very much. Appreciate it. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sherlock. Your words. They basically truth. called her a heretic. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. I will say. Since he Lazel, hmm. I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. 
Together, we will be our people's light. Yeah, again, I'm getting the vibe of like... Take this. It is a Quanif, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanif will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlakit's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. That's new and awesome. Oh, Big Chuns, thank you for the bits, and that's very, very sweet of you to, to just drop that message. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Um, thank you, thank you. So here's, here's my thought. Wait, no, what were we just talking about? I had a thought on this. About the Githyanki, the Kresh. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's just, he's definitely up to something. Oh, well. We'll get it later. We'll get it later. Um, all right, time for our characters to sleep a little bit. Somebody can't still speak with you. Oh, okay. Well, then where's the. Is it Shadow? Or is it. Oh, it's probably Lazel. Yeah, Lazel would probably want to have things to say. <laughs> yeah, Lazel might be thinking some things. Oh, yeah. What I want to say was like the way he showed up when we opened our eyes and he had his sword out and he's just standing there in all black with like the mask and then he's like Wait, I come in peace. It's like why even have the sword like already be out being like whoo here you go like excuse me Excuse me. Sorry to be next to your bed while you sleep out in the open. I'm sorry Vlakith cost seven hearth crash at Only in Vlakith may we find light Yes, it does sound culty. Do you hear it though? Do you hear you? On slate. Mm -hmm. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Mm -hmm. Forsake one protocol and forsake black. It does sound culty. Forsake Everybody in this game is in a cult. And be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. No, we did, however, kill she a bunch has of people. sinned against me. Oh, there you go. You're getting rid of your religious trauma. Look at you go. What does ascension entail, exactly? Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war. Until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our Yeah, bombs. it kind of sounds like you replaced one From tyrant with another, Arch, though. Young Gith have one purpose. To train hard enough to slay a Gith and take its head. Then, we um, speak Gith the right is of their word for Mind Flayer, the things that put the parasites in our brain. fly us to Vlakith in Tunarath, City of Death. We Tunarath, are with an City of Fish Anger. Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. So basically, it's like, you get to go to Valhalla heaven. If you're good. And it's like, ah. Uh. Um, are you going to do a serial killer run? Asks Wads. Uh, that's not the general plan. We're playing this as good guys. And as we go, that's becoming more and more gray. Um, I'll steal anything from anyone because I feel like it. And that's the way to go. But also very much at the same time, like, Doing the Gith Yankee Kresh, it was like, okay, you know, obviously the entire leadership turned against me. I'm gonna take them down too. But then there was also like, oh, the Dark Urge character. I might stream that after this, but we have so much content left in this. I, I might, I might hold off on that. But yeah, Dark Urge character sounds kind of rough. Like from what I've seen, okay, anyone who's you know confused by this. When you're picking the characters at the beginning, you can choose to be a Starian or whoever is your main character. You can also choose to make your own character, which is what most people do, and then you make your own choices. But there's one character called the Dark Urge, and they start out the game differently. 
where they have lost their memory and they don't know what's going on, but they do have a voice in their head and the voice is telling them to do very bad things. Not like, you should push that guy, but it's literally like, you should rip his hand off and beat him with it and throw him in the river. It's like, good God. Um, and that is an option. So I'm like curious what that has in store. But like, I don't know. Um, all right, Brightheart uh, dropping $5. Um, let's see here. Uh, thank you very much for the tip and for the kind words. Again, that is not me, but I do appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much. Um, very nice. Of you. Very nice of you. Um, boss called Vlakith a tyrant. Does this mean you agree? I never thought Vlakith a tyrant or me as a vassal. She was the source of my well, yeah, you don't usually think I, about yourself as being super culty. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I'm gonna text my mom really I quick. am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. Sorry, one second. It is mama's birthday tomorrow. I'm seeing her tonight, so I gotta text her to make sure she knows. Yeah, the reason I'm doing it this way is like, if I ever leave super early in the morning to get to her to avoid traffic, it's like, yeah, I'm there, but I'm exhausted. And I'm like immediately tired from like a multiple hour drive and I woke up early and was like, hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh, here's everything about my life. So I'm like, if I just get there tonight around bedtime and then sleep, then I get like a full day of her birthday with her. Um, it's going to be lovely. Um, who is the one in the prism? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. Mm. First, it drives me angry. It drives me so angry. You're a night creature anyway, Dan. I was Elena. God, I sleep like ass, but I get so much energy at like 11 p.m. They are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. And if Voss is wrong, if his claims are wrong and Vlakith's are real, then when the Kithraki come for me. And come they will. I will submit to their blades. Oh, I respect the hell they out of her. Feed me to their See, dragons, I like Lazella a lot. It's no a better. bad rap from people. Like at the beginning of the game, I was like, she sucks. I don't like her. I'm like, yeah, she's mean. Like culturally, yes. it's like how she was raised like by a cult. Think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. Now I remember when you broke up with her, says Mardol. You know what? I'll say this. You don't have to be in a relationship with someone to respect them. And I respect the hell out of Lazo. Hatchery with a single egg. How many does a clutch usually contain? Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. If Yankee look quite humanoid. Evolve to lay eggs. Humanoid. How I despise the term. I guess it is kind of messed up being like, you're almost as good humans. as the the normal and Our correct. Our slate state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process, a favorable change oh. by any estimation. Interesting. Hideous to imagine a life where they really can partake in the but also of sex they have the ability the looming threat of bearing children. Got it. <laughs> That's some commentary right there. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself. Shakshuka, to bear everyone's favorite. The Ramsh queen assigns when and where they must lay and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral. Time I love how they were like, it is do you want to progress the story? Process. Someone still wants to talk to you. And I'm like, Carefully oh, about what? They're like, so the, the logistics of laying eggs. Go on, 
Len. All right. I do, I do really love that. It's so funny. Mugwort. Hey, we got more mugwort. Nice. Let's really quickly see if there's any. Oh my god, there's so much alchemy we can do. Okay. Um, let's see. Craftable only. What do we got here? What can we make? Grenades. We can't do grenades. We got elixirs. Elixir of vigilance. Uncommon potion. Elixir of resistance universe. Oh my god. What is that? Divine miasma. Any sublimate. This is incredible. You get universal resistance to things? That's... I mean, of course we kind of have to do that. Loth's candle. Um, oil of combustion. Wizard's vein oil. I mean, malice is really good, too. Um, all right, yeah. Let's, let's do that. For these. Um, elixir of the Colossus. Done. Malice, done. Total combustion, done. Easy. <laughs> Everyone joking about my asthma. Love it. Um, okay. Time for us to go to sleep. Time for us to go to sleep. Again. <laughs> Another group of people like, We are the druids! We are sorry too! We are also really sorry about that. Um, Astarian, you should not. Yeah, let's go back to default. That's pretty cool. Can't See, we got those out. uniforms. I don't hate it. I don't hate it when we're all together. And God, Karlak looks great. You show him, baby. You show him what you're made of. You got it, hun. All right, so now let's finally explore. Let's leave camp. We're gonna leave camp and then we're gonna go do that really quick uh cellar quest have we had any scenes with fire mommy oh yeah fire fury rose it's been great we had a little smooch so anyone who hasn't joined us for a stream before um carlac is the one that we love um but uh she is uh she was under the servitude of a devil for 10 years and so her heart was replaced with this infernal engine right um and so her body is so hot <laughs> Am I right? Her body is so hot that she can't touch anyone. Um, and that's no good for her. It sucks. Uh, and it also sucks for us because we love her and we want to be able to do smooches. So um, the one thing we've ever been able to do is uh, sort of get some work done on her uh, engine one time and then we threw water at her. And that was just enough for us to be able to have a smooch. Um, but then that's it. That's entirely it. And so we got to be super duper duper careful. Um, and so her main storyline, in addition to probably, I'm guessing like getting revenge on the devil that, you know, captured her for 10 years. Um, but I mean, I don't know, but probably it's it's something I would probably want to do. Um, is getting this engine fixed or cooled down or whatever so she can just live like a normal life, quote unquote. She deserves it. She works so hard. She's a single mom who works too down. She loves her kids and never stops. Um, any goodies over here? No, 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 no. Um, garlic. There we go. Let's feed it to a star end. It'll be funny as a joke. Herbs, no herbs. Um, this is like the the alchemist cellar, so we definitely want to snag what we can. So good for her. I love, I love Astarian. He's literally just like, oh, you're going to take down a god. A suspicious potion. Interesting. Healer's log. Perception failed. Who's perceiving? Who's perceiving? Also, what is the sus healer's log? Uh, it's the whole thing. Um, Where's the suspicious potion I want? 
Suspicious. Don't be fooled. This potion will leave you worse for wear. Interesting. I'm very curious about that. Um, God, also, sometimes the camera in this just goes full tilt boogie woogie crazy mode. So, we are looking for something successful. Where, who's, who's perceiving? Hit that lever. We got a moving bookcase. This is the story of a girl. This is um, exactly what we were looking for in terms of that extra little quest. Bone cat and honey. Boy, oh boy, I sure hope there's nothing crazy over here. It sure would suck if there's something crazy over here. Bunch of caskets. Uh-oh. Hope there's nothing spooky. Oh, a single summoning quasit item. That's interesting. It's a familiar with a form of a quasit that can turn invisible and scare enemies. Oh, interesting. I wonder if it's the start of a quest. It is. Okay, well. Agile Guardian. Hey, man. What you up to? Um, hate, hate that you did that. You're also level three, which means you're about to... You're in, the, you're in for it. I didn't know there'd be a fight down here. That's quite silly. Um, to tell you what, I'll just murder you both at once. Oh, we got Karlak doing this. Well, that's neat. That's uh, good for her. Honestly, good for her. Blinded. Nice. She's got this fancy old weapon. Oh, she can't do a cleaving strike anymore because of this weapon either. That actually does. That is kind of a bummer. Nice. Well, it's a shame we can't do flurry of blows here, but so it goes. Nice. Okay, we did it. I'm assuming if I try to open up all those other chests, there's just going to be guys in there. And we don't really want that. I don't need that longbow. I just don't. Um, so instead of that, what if I just... Just do the damn quest here. Ooh, except for that dirt mound where we get to dig. Hopefully there's not another dead dude. Nope, wooden chest. Nice. Um, I do... Where's that... Where's the dark journal? It shows that I can... There we go, dark journal. Sometimes it's so hard to grab the things that are just in front of you. What's up, dark journal? What are you trying to tell me on this day? Um, scroll Where's the dark journal? Where's the dark journal? There it is. Uh, I don't. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, cool. Hey, we got Cosmic Keyframe Productions dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate you. Uh, Cosmic Keyframe Productions is giving you Kiki Online Absolute Garbage, um, Nershquin, uh, Mar Mirasol of Mirasol the Chalice, and then Isacult. Um, Cosmic Keyframe Productions, I really appreciate you. That's very, very nice of you. Very, very kind of you and greatly appreciate you. Um, truly, thank you. Truly, 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 thank you. Very nice of you. Um, all right. Search the cellar. Uh, the owner of the cellar is more than a doctor who's a necromancer and he's obsessed with a particular book. All right. Well, then, like, who cares? What else? Am I truly not done yet? Um, oh, maybe I do have to just summon summon this crit. Oh, A is for as of the of other gods. All right. You is for you and me. What's up, Electric? Welcome on in. Thanks for popping in and using the sub on the Um, We also got a new subscriber here. Everybody, please give a right, clever coop. Welcome to the Gold Sheep 7. Thank you so much. Um, All right, y'all. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and summon this familiar. Because Of course, we're going to do this on our character. I just want to do this. Scroll of summon the closet. <laughs> Recognize the tiny fiend, a quasit. Wicked creatures often used as familiars. Wait, you're not Illy. I feel like you'd be so pettable if you weren't that. Um, your scroll was in an undead's casket. Who were they? The blacksmith, the teacher, the 
Rosa the baker, little piggies to the butcher. So okay. you're Shovel's master now. Fine. I love ugly creatures. Well, I mean, me too. Very much so. I, I find cuteness in the things that other people shun. It's just like, it's just the spikes. I feel like it'd be a hard time to... His name is Shovel, probably because it's a grave robber. Your name is Shovel. Master Illy calls me Shovel. Don't like it? Change it. Spade. Um, Orc? What would you like to be called? Don't care. Why does it have to be an object? Spoon is better than all the... I guess shovel is fine. So, what well, first, Master? Gutting locals? Raising the dead? Making them walk? Making them scream? I want none of those things. Um... No, you'll not commit such deeds in my name either. Wait, wait a second. Are you horny? Hold on. Wait a minute. Are you horny? Okay. That's what this is. Um. Oh, look. oh. Master should go see. Talk to the mirror. And remember, balsam, good for burns. Oh, so we're going to talk to the mirror and it's going to light us on fire maybe, but we're a tiefling, so that's not a big deal. Um, Cosmic Keyframe Productions, thank you again. That was very, very nice of you. Um, it was a moldering casket. Was it? Ooh, weave moss is a good idea to pick up. Um, okay. So there's a talk to the mirror. Ornate mirror. That's that's probably the mirror they mean. I'm gonna hazard a wild little guess. Um, oh, wait a minute. Quick question. You horny? That's so funny. Um, Electric is gifting us up to Wads. Thank you very much, Electric. I appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Appreciate you. Um, let's see here. We have got, um, Giddy Glaistig dropping 503. Thank you very much, Giddy Glaistig. And I'm, I am, I am two hours behind on pips. It's not two hours worth of pips rolling in, but I'm like, I'm, I'm just two hours behind on when people did it. So I, I'm very sorry. I get so focused on this game. Um, uh, Giddy Glaistig says, hi, Damien. And thank you very much for the tip. Sorry if this is odd, but I saw a video a while ago of you freeing a small bird and wanted to say thank you. Oh, that's not odd. That's very sweet. Thank you. I work at a wildlife recovery center, so seeing such a kind-hearted person looking out for wildlife brought a huge smile to my face. Well, it was very sweet. Thank you very much. It was it was lucky because um, I was at my friend's place, and his dog apparently had noticed the bird, and we had just been talking about birds, um, and I, I grew up with birds, and I took care of them quite a bit. Um, but they were like parrots and stuff, right? And so, uh, hey, Jasmine, keep papa. Thank you for dropping six, six, six. Bah, bah, bah. Appreciate you. Um, thank you very much. So, um, yeah, it was, it was wild because he was like, hey, my dog just noticed a bird and like didn't go for it or anything. But I, I don't know. Can you maybe tell what's up with it? And I was like, I'll try. So I walk over and I was like, yeah, give me gloves and we need scissors and you know, tried to very gently pick it up and it was just a couple of um, uh. It was something, something in the grass that had snagged it that I think it was like maybe a leftover, like some kind of like man-made material. I can't think of it. It was like maybe like a, a thread of a tarp or something like that. Um, it was weird. But anyway, I don't know if I could fully get the thing off of the bird itself, but we got it at least unattached from the ground. So um, it, it did fly off into the bushes for a second and then after that it flew off into the tree line so we're good to go speak your name tommy sire i'm a memon thrace that's a tiefling thing i guess or bard i know how this goes magic mirror tell me true um i might just be sassy to it because i'm a bard what is your name okay it's not feeling it um, Memon Thrace, Memnon Thrace, I don't think they want me to do that. Um, repeat the name from the book you read, Ilin Tav. I'm gonna quick save, and then that actually sounds, sounds good to me. My master was human, pure, and true. 
You are not an intern. No, I'm a tiefling, you're right. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. I am an ally. Or I can intimidate. Open or I'll smash you to pieces. Bad luck be damned. That's a bit of a choice, but let's try it. Um, difficulty class 15. We could. We did it! Exactly. Ah, oh, that's so funny. There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then. Okay. A well guarded <laughs> laboratory. What were they hiding down here? Oh, uh, there's probably going to be a fight of some kind in here. But there's a log book, a bunch of. Wait, 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 wait. I just saw something fancy. Where was that in my perifs? There was some kind of fancy special golden whatever moonhaven logbook collectibles of some kind uh, transmuting metals Ooh, bottle service so expensive um okay uh where i literally just saw something fancy you can always tell when there's something like orange on screen and i'm holding down alt so that i can like see things but damn i'm sure i'll find it in a second Nope. I don't think I've ever once gone to one of these bottle racks and had it have something in it, which is just such a shame. Um, shovel, how you feeling, my guy? Um, anything over here? Stopped concentrating on guidance. That's fine. Um, could be you. Could be somewhere over here. Oh, there's a skeleton. Like zoinks, a skeleton. A rotten tomate. All right. Empty condensers and alembics. Last distillation set, empty potion bottle. I wonder if that'll come up. I'll figure out this room. Don't you all worry. I'm just gonna look at these here. Research notes. The the evil eye. That sounds like a big deal. Um, hammer, which of course you need to fix your skeleton. Magnifying glass. Yep, that too. Um, okay. <gasps> the necromancy of Fay. Oh. Oh, wait, I know what this... Oh, I cannot believe we have done this so late in the game. I recognize this from the TikToks. Did we all fail perception? Are we all going to fail it now? Successful, there we go. Obviously, this is a trap. We're going to disarm this. Sleight of hand and twist of fate. Boom, nice. So now we lock pick. Watch how you go. There's a trap. So more traps. 32. Damn. Wide open door. So I saw someone do something mm, pretty neat on them their TikToks. So usually Mage Hand, super useless. Not a single damn thing good that it's ever done for me or anyone ever, right? But check this out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this over to new. Uh oh, two gargoyles. Hope they don't murder me. Dismissed. Bye bye. Um, all right. So, isn't that neat? Uh, so this, I don't know if y'all remember when we were fighting a giant spider back in the day, and we found a purple gem. At the bottom of this chasm, we were like, I wonder what the gem is for. Oh, well. But that was me because you guys weren't talking. I talked and I was stupid about it. Um, That's supposed to be inserted into that book. And that's on me. And I feel like a silly beans because I never did that. Um, But now we can. Unless, unless I sold it. The one that fell to the underdark. The very same. The self same. All right, um, let's see. We got Tiana gifting two gift subs here to Chunker Squid and then 1015 Elvis. Thank you very much for doing that. Appreciate you. I'm also gonna grab this evil eye book real quick while we're while we're at it. Oh, um, we can just exit time base mode here. Yeah, y'all aren't gonna be able to. Yeah, go ahead and do your do your burning. If that's what you're trying to do, uh, do do your little burning. Braces of defense. Oh. Plus two as long as you're not wearing armor or holding a shield. I mean, if we cared about, um, you know, if we didn't want 
already that like little boost that we get from a star and we could have done that many rainbows is also dropping five flipping gift subs thank you so much many rainbows i appreciate you oodles and many rainbows is gifting to raccoon tail a la michelle fresh pickle josh mayberry 0714 and then moon bun 333 thank you so much wow these gargoyles are like they are just not relenting they are just so busy all right let's check this out also a little gargoyle fact for you those are not gargoyles they are grotesques or grotesqueries if it does not involve a water feature it is not a gargoyle if you think about the word gargle same root word now you can drop a bunch of facts for your friends and it's gonna make you the coolest person at the party um all right so uh giddy i appreciate that tip from before thank you very much i'm gonna continue reading them out after i read this necromancy book i'm sure i'll be normal and everything after this the book is locked tight with an invisible keyhole only an oval recess in the cover's mouth <laughs> Gave my boy you try high to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you God, if, I hope we didn't already sell the amethyst. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. Okay, Shadow Heart, Please with your dead crows book. around your neck. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? <laughs> um... Tuck the book into your pack. I am holding on to it. Um, I do so love Carlac. She's so wholesome and sweet. Um, I think I need to go get that spooky old amethyst um, in order to actually open it up and do a good old reading. Um, okay. Anything else good over here? <gasps> a crystal ball! Uh, I see what your future is. Getting stolen. Ooh, got him. Um, that... Man, I wish we would have actually found a necromancer down here because it would be nice to give them what for. You know, there's some nice ways to be a necromancer. There's some bad ways. I think this guy... Sorry for cussing. Just pretty rude. Sorry. Uh, for cussing. But yeah, he's, he's not particularly nice. A big old bone. You know what? We're giving that to our dog. I'm just going to say it. We're giving it to our dog. Um, This isn't the door from which we came. So let's see. What's in here? What's in your wallet? Necromancers are misunderstood. Well, that's what I'm saying, Electric. You know, there are good guys and bad guys in terms of necromancers and i think this one was pretty not great um i did hear a really interesting concept for a D, &D character one time um between the player of the game and their dm they had sort of a secret going that the rest of the like uh players did not know and that was that they ooh, a rest of the you say the shreds you say um, they, to their party, acted like a cleric. They were a healer, all these different things. In reality, um, they played it that they were actually a necromancer. So when they were, like, healing someone, they were actually just bringing them back from the dead. And I'm like, that's so cool. Um, who wants to bet that that actually... Oh, it actually does go back to the place where we kind of need to be. To color me surprised, I thought that was about to be a nasty little situation. All right, let us go back to camp. That video popped up on my For You page too. Oh, wait a minute. Was that from the guy that just brings up really interesting D&D concepts? If so, I really like their stuff. And they stopped popping up on my page. Well, I haven't really been on TikTok in like two days. And also, y'all, I promise I'll start making TikToks again soon. It's been a month. It's been a month. I've been a little burnt out. And I have so many ideas. I do. I, I want to be a cool TikTok boy again. Look, I'm young. I'm an e-boy. I'm just like the rest of you. I haven't reached my prime yet. I'm just a normal old e-boy. And I'm not old. I mean, not old. Um, all right. Let's go back to camp and see if... I really hope I didn't sell that gem. Oh, fuck. We... 
We got a tip rolling in from butts and stuff. 10 out of 10 name. We got some we got some banger names today. Um, butts and stuff. Thank you very much for the tip. Um, and butts and stuff says, where's the, where's the, I can never find the storage chest over here. Here it is. The amulet of Sylvanas just sticking out of it. Um, uh, butts and stuff says, a big part of my enjoyment of Baldur's Gate has been interacting with the animals. Do you have a favorite animal you've met in game? Oh man, the owl bear for sure. And I know that's, that's probably an easy answer, but it's a great question. First of all, I feel like the owl bear is an easy answer, but oh wait, did I finish the, the oh, did I leave the closet? Oh, I needed to talk to that closet, huh? Oh no, did I screw up the closet thing? Does anyone know? Because I'm supposed to be able to summon that thing still. I think it's with you still. Oh, it's with me. Oh, good. Can I talk to Qua? Okay, no. Oh, I can control. Talk to that's so weird. Okay, I'm gonna talk to him real quick. Um, shovel. That's right, shovel. We got shovel. Um, the owl bear is an easy answer, but he's just so sweet, and I love him. And I want to pet him, even though I'm sure he would rip me to shreds. So he is just still sort of with us, and there's nothing else. Is there anything else I need to do to finish this? Um, but other than that, animals I like, I did think the, like, the cow or the ox that was, like, clearly there was something off about him where it's like, hey, dog, I'm sure you get this all the time. Are you human? There's, there's something about you. Is it that you're human? Send to camp. Uh, send to camp. I do think we need to grab a shield for Karlak if we're going to be using the build that, that we've done. I should read this. Yeah, I've read it. Um, the Necromancy of Fae. I should also read this. I want to make sure I like everything that Quasit is going to want me to read. I'm good to go. Healer's Log. Yeah, I don't... Oh, see, that's the thing, too. He he did act clearly as a, as a healer for his community, which, like, great. Good for him. But if he was actually being just kind of a rude little guy... Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. If he's being a sneaky little snake... We don't love that. We do not stand a sneak. Um, you failed the cow thing. You know what, um, Electric? We didn't end up failing the cow thing, but at the same time, we have been save scumming like a fair amount, and I don't really feel bad about it because, you know, if I if I lose out on like finding a cool thing, like sure, whatever. But I just don't want to lose out on like a cool storyline thing. You know, I'm like, I wanna. Uh, experience all this game has to offer you know? yeah, let's sort of by type so we are looking for this spooky purple amethyst and i honestly all i'm a little worried i feel like we might have sold it and if we did sell it i don't know to whom we would have sold it. um ooh, like that for um Carlac. um oh geez because it was pretty valuable at the time. Is it possible to sell quest items? Oh yeah. yeah. Ooh. No, that's a normal amethyst. We're looking for like a dark, purple, spooky amethyst. So nervous. I'm really nervous the more I scroll. The more I scroll, the, the more I feel like this is not a thing we kept. Y'all, I don't think we kept it. I don't think we did. Oh no. I Maybe it's possible another one of the characters could have it. I sure wish you could just search. In this, I mean, cool. And of course we have this from like the tutorial of the game. Good God. Um, Ruby. There's only a couple different. I think you sold it to the Druid Camp Merchant. I was thinking that too, Demon Kitten. And I know they refresh their stock like once a once a long rest but maybe just maybe maybe we'd be able to get it back precisely because it is a quest item i think it is worth a shot so let's go back to the druid camp real quick and again who we did or did not murder i i don't want to hear it it's it's so much work to even think about we're gonna bring so many different rings to sell to them, and they're gonna be pretty stoked that we did that. Pick them up and sell to wear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I was gonna have Carlac do that. No, we could just sell the ring. No one stop me yet. Um, I am just gonna see if maybe, maybe, maybe they held on to it, which would make sense to me. Thank you again, butts and stuff. Um, I also I will say I miss I do wish um the rats. I wish the rats had better um dialogue in this game. If you sold it, the merchant shouldn't delete the item unless you killed them. Okay, that's great to know, Chasm on 916. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, you know, there's any number of merchants, but I think it was like the 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 halfling. Um, Raspberry Love dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Raspberry Love. Gifting to a uh, Spalatum, and now the and now the weather. Uh, Ghost Ghosty 1995, Synaptic Twitch, and then Ecto Geranium. Thank you. Yeah, who knows what happened here? Some kind of really corrupted druid probably d died of natural causes, uh, considering, you know, blades and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm assuming and I'm hoping that it was this person. Because this is the person we sold to the most. It'll take a while for us all to recover. Yeah, yeah, recover, yeah, yeah. Of course. Come on, come on, come on, please. Oh, Topaz, normal amethyst, onyx. So what this means is, it's somewhere, I just don't think this person has it. Which, like, that sucks. Tell you what, please, 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 nobody go out of your way to look for anything. Oh, actually. Oh, disadvantage on stealth checks. That's too bad. Um, nobody go out of your way to look for this. But that being said, if somebody ended up finding where it is in the VODs, I wouldn't be mad at it. Again, for the love of God, don't go out of your way to look for it. Live your life. You have things to do. Please don't do that. Um, Dame, you play this game like a QA tester. That's very funny to me. Um, hold on. Is there a button to sell to send all wares all over? Uh is there a button just to send all my wares so I don't have to like Drag these one by one. Did you sell it to Mattis? Which one is Mattis? Go to the top where it says barter. Oh. So where is, aha, thank you so much. Amazing. Um. Okay, we definitely want dyes. Sea green, yellow, pale orange, orange dye, ocean dye, studded leather armor. I just feel like there could be better armor here too. So let's check this out. Um, fancy armor, potted light armor, light armor. Are there other, by the way, are there other, um, merchants I should be chatting with? Because, like, these are clearly really good items that he didn't have before. Um, oh no, did you sell it to Damon? Uh, we will be the die master. Uh, should be by the cows. All right, so there's another person by the cows. I won't spend too long looking for it, y'all. Maybe we'll just find it in our in our travels here. But for now, I'm just gonna check for a minute just to see, just to see what's possible here. Um, amulet of branding, that great. Starry, oh yes, he's so. What did he sell? Two thirty-four. Um, okay, is there anything we want to get from him then? If that's Spell Thief, the Thief of Joy, Longbow plus one. Um, um yeah, let's get all let's get all his dies. Let's get all his dies just cause. We should just have them completely. Starion, tell me what oh yeah, no, we found a good see what's funny is um electric, we were literally just talking about this. I guess I was earlier. Um we're like, I don't ever want to restart this game because when we switched Astarian to Monk just now, I was like, oh man, we have so many cool random items that I don't know where I got them. And I had such a, a desire to explore on my way to like, you know, find all these things. I can't imagine restarting because, you know, wouldn't it, wouldn't it suck to have to restart because I, I wouldn't be able to find any of these things. And so now that you say that, I'm like, I mean, all I can tell you is it's called the Graceful Cloth. It gives you plus two to dexterity, and you also get dexterity saving throws and throws and increases your jump. But that's kind of all I can give you about that. So sorry, I wish I had more for you. You look spectacular. 
but I think we I think we do want to change up the color scheme but in general I would agree I think he's looking quite sharp our boy here um, another gift Yankee sword you have so many gift Yankee swords to sell when you inflict a condition gain arcane synergy or once when you dash you gain wrath okay cool I think we're good I think we're good barter 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 we're good nice all right may you keep the now he's selling to a town of no people um i wonder if there's anyone else down here as a merchant probably not right i'm assuming it's all been taken care of i mean y'all we could have sold that to literally anybody you know what i mean there are druid merchants i just there's no way of knowing who we sold this to so i think we're probably just gonna have to cut our losses for now I'll, I'll ch we wouldn't have made it to the underdark there are two merchants near the near each other says dichotic yes but i think if we had sold if we sold this anywhere even remotely near here it would not have um like when we got this we were near all those spooky spiders so we would not have done it all right, well, anywhere now. but like here pretty much considering how much you haven't sold wares it's uh Hard to imagine you would have bartered away. Yeah, I know, but like, you know, and I guess it wasn't until late game too that I figured out like, oh, you can just trade with anyone. That's cool. I think maybe, maybe I'll go into the Druid camp for anyone I didn't merc. I, I did merc a lot of people though. Um, just to see really quick, metallic gloves, we deserve these, whatever they are. The magic ring, once again, that we don't need. Um, uh, at, uh, camp. All right. I just want to see if there... Will might have it. Oh, actually, Dino Raptor and Fire Fury Rose, you're right. Because Will did pick it up. Will was holding it at one point, says I am Bradical, looking through the VODs. W I am Bradical, you might be the hero we both need and deserve. To camp we go! Raspberry Love, thank you again for the sub bump. Jepperhead, I always miss yours by so long. I am so sorry. Y'all, Jepperhead just dropped a bonkers generous tip. Can we please? So we're going to meet Voss in the city, can we? Are please we? get a Second very generous Mother Goose swarm free. for Jepperhead. This is all very Dropping 143.69. First of all, nice. Jepperhead, thank you so again. much. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, what is she saying? Okay, um, Jepperhead, you are so generous. It is so sweet. You never have to do that, and you do it so often, and it's very, very, very nice that you do. It is always appreciated. There's never a message attached, so I'm assuming you're always fine and free to do this. Um, Jepperhead is now our tip-top tipper of the month so far, very beginning of September, as they were last month as well. Um, truly, thank you so much. I really appreciate it really? a lot. Really? Also, I just really? had... Oh, correct. You oh, heard me. Fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. Practice smooching me later. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, okay, it's gotta be in Will's inventory. Or Gale's, but probably Will's? Is Will still over here being a little mopey, mopey little lad? No? Okay. Where are you, Will? Will? Will! My boy! Or is he still over here? No. God, it is always so hard to find people here. And I know it's a me thing. I'm sure there's a way easier way to go about this. That's on me. Oh, that's why. I was looking for the horns and they always put that stupid hat back on him. Okay, so he's gonna join our crew and I'm finally gonna take that hat off. I'm just done. I'm done having him wear that hat. I don't want him to wear that hat. There's a schism growing among the Gif Yankee people. And Lazel just took one step towards choosing a side. I'm gonna be a schism for very long. We just uh, killed that's half of them. That's the spirit. Oh, and he leveled up. That's so cool. Um, all right, Will, how you feeling? What do you got? <gasps> Y'all were right. I, I'm so lucky. Thank you so much. Oh, and there's a better shield. Okay, well we're just we're doing all this. Um, we gotta give this to our girl, Carla, when she's around. Um, all right. Well, first of all, boop 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 and a boop 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 and a boop boop boop. We don't need the keys. We don't need the keys. We don't need the keys. Sending those to camp up up. Um, we are going to drop you, and you, and you, and you, 
You go back to camp. Speak with the dead. All right. Yeah, Will, you're doing great and all, buddy, but uh, you don't need that. You don't need the mask of the shapeshifter. Someone else does. You don't need boots of speed. Someone else does. You don't need that wood woad, which is actually just a funny thing for them to say. Someone else does. Um, bronze ring. Um, poisoner's robe. Pretty good, but we don't really need it. All right. Y'all are so smart. Thank you so much for doing that. That was a, a brilliant remembrance on your end. And I even thought, like, what if it's in someone's inventory? I'm like, there's no way. Why would it be? But the fact that you knew, you knew right away. Also, I am curious about Will. Now, with everybody else, we've been able to multi-class, change things. I guess he can multi-class. He's a warlock. He's a warlock, right? He's bound in servitude to this spooky old monster that we met. Um, so it stands to reason to me that it, he wouldn't be able to change class. Can he ever not be? Well, don't say ever. As he is now, can he not be a warlock? Or can we only multi-class? I say, I guess, counter spell. I, I do wish Drew, uh, warlock spell slots worked a little bit different. What you gonna do? Counterspell's probably important. You gonna change anyone's class? Okay, Tim, sir, that makes sense. God. Gonna be such a slap in the face if we made Will our um our wizard, and then Gale is just like, weird. Or we make him a paladin. We just make him a straight up paladin, and he's like, yeah, I guess I'm sort of. I swore an oath, kind of, but also, fire shield. That's cool. Dimension door. Uh wall of fire that's cool too but like fireball already does more i mean this is this is kind of cool though it's literally a shield for 10 turns and so, you know what this would be good as we like do pure melee on him i say i say let's do it it doesn't matter it doesn't matter we're already doing the things Ooh, more eldritch invocations where we get to boost its eldritch blast uh thief of five fates um nope one of the shadows nope Mask of many faces. Nope. Fetish figure. Uh, you can cast plus one. Nope. Devil sight. Uh, nope. Beast speech. Speak with animals. Armor shadows. Cast mage armor. Bonneville omen. Come on. I just want things to boost my flippant. Oh, polymorph is good. Book of ancient secrets. Gain ray of sickness, chromatic orb, and silence. I mean, I guess we already did the ones that currently boost his eldritch blast. So I, I, I suppose, I suppose, polymorph sounds kind of good. Hmm, I had to kill his my playthrough. Electric, no! Oh, that's a huge bummer. Oh, no. I guess maybe one of the shadows is even better. Than that. Is one of the shadows like a cantrip? A class action until long rest. Or, or this would be an action that uses a spell saw. Oh, well, I guess one with shadows is better because it allows me to do a class action and I wouldn't have to use yeah i wouldn't have to use a spell slot okay there we go all right will hey that was great bud thanks for joining the party hey listen uh the gang and i were kind of talking i'd like for you to wait in camp for now yeah you know it's, it's just sort of a ah, it's a logistical thing eh. i am going to also talk to gail and see if he has anything in his inventory that i need what will boss up his intelligence may yet prove the key why don't you join me talker man uh, he's like, oh man, time to do my favorite thing. I'm like, ah, ah. Um, all right. So helmets look so dumb. I know. Every time I go back to camp, it automatically gives them helmet again, and I don't want it. Um. Okay, so we have animate dead. He's got all sorts of animate dead stuff. That's pretty great. Blink is good, because he can blink out of this plane and be safe. Fireball! Ooh, we want that, don't we? Protection from energy. Resistance to all these things. Haste? Gain an action? Oh, man. Okay. Um, Maybe not blink, then. Maybe haste and maybe fireball. Maybe blink comes later. 
Oh, wait. We already have the electric one, and that's why we didn't have fireball before. We might have to replace fireball. Well, screw it. Um, we have Conjure Minor Elemental. Black Tentacles. That's so sick. Ice Storm. That's so sick. Um, Phantasmal Killer. Don't fall in love with me. I'm a Phantasmal Killer. Uh, Dimension Door is cool. I say Minor Elemental. And then, honestly, Blink might be kind of cool. Dimension Door is cool, but like... I don't know, man. Tentacles sound cool and all, but like... I think, honestly, for most of our stuff, we're going to be... Re we're really just going to be... If we're already summoning the undead and summoning elementals, I think we're just going to be having a lot of people, like, fighting for us. You know? All right, Gail, you got anything in your inventory? Because it looks pretty normal. Send to camp. Send to camp. We don't need a single... Oh, scroll over the device in the camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think you're good. I think you're good. All right, goodbye, Gail. Hey, listen, uh, we had a great time, but we gotta have you uh, waiting in camp. So sorry, bud. So sorry, bud. Go ahead. I'm listening. I need you to remain in camp for a while. I question the wisdom. Oh, yep, goodbye. I just, man, I want everybody in my crew. They're all so cool. Um, hey, El Doodles, dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, El Doodles. Appreciate you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Oh, God, I love her. Hey, you. <laughs> Heart just explodes. Um, come on, we're heading out. Let's go, go, go. All right. I also think it might be time to give one of the tadpole powers to um, Astarian. El Doodles, thank you so much for giving to Leo Witch, J Man, Shiny Gumi, Lacan, and then Liquid Snake. I appreciate you. Uh, very nice of you to do that. Um, simp? Yeah, yeah. I'm a simp. Sniper monkey. One of my favorite memes. God. Sniper monkey. Is so fun. Is there anything else I have to do with the closet? Or am I just, am I just done now? Do I just have the closet? Is it just here? Um, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, um, illithid powers. So... Favorable beginnings. I mean, I feel like that would be really good for Astarian. And then Luck of the Far Realms. This would be good. Chronic Overload, Force Tunnel. What was the one that was displaced? Falling damage. Repulsor. The Call of the Weak. Sonic Backlash. I just feel like Astarian would, like, really benefit from, um... He drained. I think he'd really benefit from favorable beginnings. People know what I'm talking about, right? With sniper. Right? Or am I crazier? I can I can also be crazy. Do you know what I'm talking about? A brain says Nakoko. Yeah, this there's a whole level up system that I was ignoring for a very long time. It has to do with um the the uh the thing that was implanted in our brain at the very beginning of the game. Because like every NPC is like, whatever you do, listen to me. You listening? Don't use this, okay? Don't use this. And then I was like, all right, bet. I'm not going to use that. And then the moment I told my friends that, they're like, oh, you're not using it? Everybody uses it. It's great. Uh, it's the best thing in the uh, world. And I'm just like, well, okay. Cool. Um, all right. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, this could... See, this could be so good for someone... Just not a starian because he can't wear light armor anymore. Oh, and I hate it. Um, we need to find some better merchants too. Literally, what was I grabbing? Oh, have I already used all of my my little guys? Oh, I've already used all of my little guys. My little my little specimens. I guess I need to figure out where to get more. But that's okay. All right, last thing I'll do right now before hopping back in. Um, is we gave, um, okay, so we got to do this book thing, right? And then we also got this wood woad shield. And now she has AC 19, I mean, my girl, um, versus this spike shield, which looks stupid, but we also need better shields. We really do need some better shields, huh? Um, uh, we, we really do. 
Uh, I should sort by type for everyone. There we go. Great. Nice. Awesome. Um, and what does this do again? When you apply one of your smites, which we barely do, it adds temporary hit points due to your charisma modifier. I feel like there's probably something better we can get out of that. Um, what, what do we got here? When you inflict a condition, gain arcane synergy. What does that mean? Weapon attacks deal additional damage equal to effect of the spellcasting ability modifier. Okay, and then this does what? Uh, grants resistance to fire damage and uh, attackers can't land critical hits on... Oh, but it's heavy armor, so no one else can wear it. Okay, fine. Fine. Everything's fine. Let's go. Cool. There we go. Book time, baby. Shepherdhead, thank you again for that very generous tip. I really do appreciate it. Um, let us and tomato. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Um, we got Otome Cafe dropping five thousand dollars. Thank you very much, Otome Cafe. Saying best stream to listen to slash watch while playing rhythm games, one hundred percent. Oh, really? Rhythm games with this? That's book, actually very interesting. Um, I've been a big fan of your work for a few years now. I'm so excited to finally be able to support you through your streams. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Well, thanks for popping in. I I'm glad you're having an okay time, and the fact that you're playing rhythm games is wild to me. Through this, um, goodness gracious. Well, thank you. God. Okay, so I want to do this. I just I want to play this game for hours and hours. Uh. Okay, so here we go. I think there's gonna be a lot of ability checks for this one, if I remember correctly. And I do need to upload a YouTube video after this. What act is this? We're still in one, uh, K K Dragon or K Dragon, uh, or Sadragon. I'm not sure. Um, give the book to Astarian. Now, why Astarian? No, I want to open it up. I want to open it up. Um, still, yeah, Shibugi alarm pants. I'm playing the hell out of this game. I'm not rushing through a single thing. I've gotten through parts of this and people in chat have been like, oh, I, I skipped this part. And I'm like, why? We found incredible weapons and stuff. Like, I just want to play and explore. I'm not I'm not trying to finish this game anytime soon. You know what I mean? Now, I will say when I'm back from my mom's place and maybe I just have like a free day on Tuesday, maybe I play this all day. Maybe I do an all day stream one of the days this week. Harlack and Astarian both disapprove? Really? Why? Was irresistible. But you Harlack feel loves changed, me. bettered for having opened it. Suddenly you are capable of anything. Felling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words What's Harlack slip matter? into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. You can either do a saving throw or a bard performance. Drown the book's voice with verse. There was a young hero called Barry. It was the show on HBO. Difficulty class five, easy. We have guidance. Unless we roll in at one, we're fine. Good, we're great. Continue. The glyphs swarm impatiently. The book wants you to turn the page, to delve deeper. It's hungry. Um, what a best, who had the best, a tough quest on our Terry. It was going quite well till he fell under a spell. Total bonus of six to a nine. Ooh, that was close. Okay, that wasn't great. The glyphs seem to burn your inner eye, outraged at your denial. Within the pages, you feel a feral thrashing living magic driven mad by what it was used for necromancy the magical energies of all living things were stolen corrupted and sealed in this vile book also can we just shout out the narrator's voice acting so good and in its insanity um okay just a normal saving throw on wisdom let go, let God. Oh, difficulty class 15. That's gonna be... Okay, your allies, begin. they also have advantage on wisdom saving throws. So having advantage on this is actually gonna be huge for us. Um, an upcast doesn't do anything. Right, no, we're just gonna do this. I guess it's a three. 
All right. Oh, that's crazy that it wouldn't work. I am going to save scum that because I know, I know the result this book can have and it's good. It's good, buddy. Oh yeah, Hannah G, I have seen the outtakes. Um, oh, I don't know if you guys know, uh, Xander Genere, um, he's a, a wonderful, uh, <laughs> baby magic just sent me something very funny. Um, he's a wonderful individual, often seen in the game these days. It is his birthday today. Birthday today! Um, so anyway, he sent me one of the outtakes this morning on TikTok. It was living lovely. Magic, what lovely of him. Yeah, turn another page. Of all things were stolen, corrupted, 14 again! Son of a bastard! Book. F8, here we go. Um, we got Kaloe dropping 10 flipping dollars. Thank you very much, Kaloe. Kaloe says, are you doing an evil or good run or going neutral? <laughs> that's, a, that's a very complicated question, Chloe. Uh, I've been struggling a lot with choices in this game, a lot myself, but how I, but somehow I made it to Act 3. To burn your when it comes to like choices of what denial. to do, we're definitely Within doing the thing the where it's like we are helping people a lot. I am thrashing. choosing not to, um, magic. Driven mad you know, accept by rewards when for. you just do a good deed and all that stuff. I'm not like extorting anyone. But I'll steal the I'll steal from anyone for any any reason that I sort of feel like it. Corrupted um, and sealed in this vile book. <laughs> it wants someone so to any share usual. Um, its insanity. And then like when we got to the get Yankee creation, they all tried to kill us. Like there were ones that weren't trying to kill us, but we were like in for a penny, in for the pound. Um, so that's a great question. But thank you very much for the tip, Chloe. Um, we got a first time chat from Hope Child saying, I found your Baldur's Gate 3 VODs on YouTube on Thursday. I'm so glad to hear it. Thank you. I did upload them out of order. I realized I am going to, I think before I leave uh, to go visit my mom for her birthday after the stream, I'm going to upload one and make sure it's in the proper order. And some of them will just be shifted. I think I skipped like two. I'm very embarrassed. Um, but thank you for finding them there. Uh, so I do stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Uh, around Tuesday, Thursday are usually around 6 p.m. my time, which is Pacific, uh, California. And uh, Sunday is around noon or one. Um, I do often add other streams. Sometimes I'm a half hour late. Sometimes I start a little bit early if I can. You know, I, I don't have the most rigid schedule, but you can usually bet on Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. If you're curious, uh, I usually announce on Twitter or Instagram or the Discord whether or not uh, I'm following through on that little, that little. Dog, are you kidding me? Must be the karmic dice. Uh, so my character doesn't have nail polish. He's a tiefling. He's the half fiend. So I think, um, I think he's just got, I think that's just how his nails are. I think that's just his nails, dog. Or you can have notifications on for Twitch. But first of all, but you know, thank you for finding the stream. I appreciate it. Seem to burn within yep, yep. Uh, magic. Uh, everything's crazy. Everything's the awesome. It's so crazy that the magic. Um, dog, to have every time failed book. that with advantage. Baby magic, I just got your text. It was very funny um thank you very much um this is actually like the odds are wild it's got to be the karmic dice thing spacey sev is dropping 15 dollars thank you so much spacey sev generous love of you saying wondering if you ever experienced rejection sensitive dysphoria Magical as a fellow adhd slash neurodivergent and if you have any tricks that help you cope if so i've been struggling with that something wicked lately book. also you had me crying in my I happy marriage this week thank you i'm really glad you're enjoying the book um yes Yes, I do. Um, I mean, that's a big question. Um, let me see if we pass this first and I'll... There we go. I just want... I'm assuming there's going to be some conversation. Oh, no. I have the choice to wait to continue. Okay, so... Um, no, you're not... Don't be sorry to... Uh, not, not, you're not sorry, baby magic. Don't be, don't be sorry. Everything's good. No problem. Um, so rejection-sensitive dysphoria is something that um, people who are neurodivergent, most commonly people who are ADHD, and it's not everyone who's ADHD, but a lot of times it's experienced by people who have ADHD, experience this level of hurt and fear and anguish and sadness that comes along with rejection. And it's not like, I love this person and they don't love me back. It can, but literally it can be rejection of um, like your vibe. Like, if you start crying because something's sad and people go like, oh, you're crying again? Like, it, it crushes you. Like, it, it it doesn't just hurt. It, like, hurts. Um, so, yes, I do experience that in my own way. Um, and I used to experience it a lot more. I think, I, while I don't have any specific tips for that and, like, fixing that, I think working on yourself in general, like, I go to therapy every other week. 
and the tools that I've learned there have been extremely helpful for just getting comfortable with being uncomfortable and knowing how little you can control someone else and someone else's reactions. Like you're just not in charge of those things. And I know it doesn't necessarily help with the rejection sensitive dysphoria, but similar to like how working out makes you a little stronger each time, each time you experience that kind of thing, you get a little better at being like, yeah, it sucks. Like, man, there was a bunch of people that got to go to this thing. I didn't even hear that there was an event going on. I know all those people. <sighs> well, either they forgot to invite me and it wasn't important enough or they didn't want me there or whatever. Like, I guess at a certain point, that's not up to me. I'll choose to spend my night how I choose to spend my night. It's, uh, and the goddess of death bringing up a good point. It is also perceived rejection. And a lot of the time it's not even real, but it still hurts like hell. It's, it's a big, it's a big thing for sure. So I wish I had specific tips for that for you, but I don't. All I can say is everything that I've worked on in other parts of my life has definitely benefited those. So I, I hope you feel better soon. The world around you is gone. You can only see those But my waifu is behind me. hear those voices. You feel claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. Saving throw, urge your hand to turn another page. I'm gonna urge my hand to turn another page. Why not? Or force the book closed. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Who cares? I already have Beacon of Hope cast on me. Now, is Beacon of Hope concentration? Bless is concentration. It doesn't say Beacon of Hope is concentration. It's just a condition. Which means... Plus one to saving throws or plus one to four with saving throws. Oh, but it would cancel Beacon of Hope. Nope. Okay, so I don't want to cancel Beacon of Hope. Let's do it. Yeah, baby! Natural 20! We did it! Very lucky to have done that. The glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten. So glad Fate we didn't have to reload undone. another hundred times. Your future thrumming with power. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you, you should never have known. So, I don't think it tells you exactly what happens to you, but I think we get a plus... Plus something to something forever. Right? Forbidden knowledge. Um, plus one to wisdom saving throws and ability checks. That's huge, right? Kind of a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, oh, I can't send it to camp anymore. Oh, I just have to hold it forever. Interesting. Uh, I'll just put it in the book. So I don't think about it. I, I just want to think about the little spooky little fuck. Um, let's see. The will of bears the absolute no. Send to camp. Three times. So now I can finally get rid of these journals, I think. Mm, I'm going to hold on to them for a minute. All right, great. Now back to the game. Now back to the game. I'm so stoked that we did that. All right, so we get to leave camp now. We did the closet quest. Okay, so again, is there anything else I need to do with the closet? Or am I just done with their quest? Excuse me. Um, Destroy the ancient tome. Or find a way to finish the necromancy of Thay. We managed to read most of the book, absorbing some of its necromantic power, but it snapped shut before we could finish it. There must be a way to reach the end. Okay, I guess I'm just going to hold on to it now. Search the cellar. He's just your buddy now? No, but I think you can, like, summon him, right? Finish the book. I see. The closet is going to go away soon. You missed out on keeping it. Oh, all right. Well, oops. Whatever. I guess I probably had to do something different with the mirror. Too bad. Too bad. Well, goodbye, little shovel. See? Sorry, Quasi. Goodbye. All right. So we did all these things. There's a hidden cache that, or cache that we could have found. Don't really care. Um, travel through the Underdark and the Grimforge. There's all these other things around here that we never even looked for. 
but for now i do think it's a good idea to go to the underdark um oh only wizards and warlocks can keep shovel oh interesting i didn't know that well now i do um let's go to the mic and colony first to see if there's anything else to, to purchase um from these two little uh merchants over here and then we're gonna go to that spooky little mystic tower Oh, well, perhaps after I finish my research here, welcome back. Have you made new discoveries? Oh, he's got a lot of money. I forgot about that. When they gain lightning charges, they also get hit points, scorching rays, whatever. The baneful's cool, but you've got to be a warlock's packed weapon, magic missile. See in the dark. None of these are that big of a deal. Melf's first staff. Oh, baby's first staff. Mel's first step, but we could sell a bunch to him. That's the difference. Can you fast travel when you're encumbered? I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the lost? You can fast travel. Okay, great. Well, then let's quickly. Go. I'm gonna quickly go to camp, and I'm going to sell so much stuff. Um, Faustian says, my biggest concern with this game is not having a great knowledge or understanding of D&D, so I feel like I'd miss out on a lot of things. So, while you would definitely miss out on some things, you know, it is a game like any other, you would figure things out as you go, you know? It's, there's, there's stuff to miss. There's stuff I've missed, and I've, I obviously play a fair amount of D&D, and there's no way for me to get it all right all the time. It's, it's just how it goes. Um, heavily encumbered. All right, leave camp. There's just no, there's just no way to do it, you know. So, welcome back. I think it's more about making peace with the fact that you're like not gonna 100% this game right off the bat, and that's okay. There we go. We're gonna start it for now. We go there. Ooh, roll of revivify is good, but that's expensive. Um, Sunwalker's gift, Cinder Shoes. Yeah, we don't need any of these, do we? But, uh, great, great, we're good. Um, all right. So now, here's the deal we found this spooky old arcane tower, and I sure would like to. Oh, something to do. I marked that before. Oh, well. Sure would like to know what's up with this arcane tower. It's kind of a big deal. I'm gonna go to the Underdark Beach. Go to the beach, beach. Um, and where we need to go is south. I am more or less going to just go click over to here. Can't get, what do you mean can't get there? What do you mean can't get there? Why not? Where do I gotta go from? From where do I gotta go from at? Gotta go up there first. That's stupid, like a fart in someone's butt. There we go, I can get up there. Great. Still alive. So that's progress. Mm. Um, Jasmine K is dropping 20 flippin' bucks. Thank you very much, Jasmine K. I greatly appreciate you. Saying hello, Damien. Thanks to your Baldur's Gate streams and Sword AF, I finally have enough courage to join my first D&D campaign. That's so awesome, Jasmine. Yay! I'll be playing tonight at a local game shop, and while I'm super nervous, I'm also really excited. Jasmine, that's awesome. I am so excited for you, and I'll tell you what. I understand why you feel nervous. I fully acknowledge that it can be nerve-wracking when you're trying something new, and you want to do the right thing. You don't want to screw anything up. But like at the end of the day, you're you're just you're playing a game, and you're all sort of supposed to be on the same team, you know? Like if someone gets mad at you because you didn't do quote unquote the right thing, like dog, that's on them. Like that that really sucks that they did that, and that's not your fault. Damn it! I think I did the wrong thing. Um, why is it so hard to navigate this area? Oh, is this what we need? Yeah, that's we, no, no. We go down here and then and then through there. Yeah, that's all we need. The underdark through the beach. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, again, like D and D, it takes a while to understand it. So if you're at like a table that is gonna feel right to you, then people are going to understand that you need time to learn. 
Um, and that's only, that's, that's the most reasonable thing in the world to ask. You know, if someone's like, oh, you don't know it right away, then it's, it's a them problem and maybe they're not the people for you. You know what I mean? I think you're going to do a great job and you're going to have fun. It's always okay to ask for help. It's always okay to want to figure things out on your own as well. You're going to be indifferent. That is not, hey, this is not where we want to go. I know that right now. That is not where I wanted to go. Up here is where we want to go. Okay. okay, so we get up there and then we can jump. We can jump to the other location. That's what we want to do. We're going to stay right here. This is driving me nuts. There we go. There we go. Finally. Golly, that shouldn't be that hard at all. Okay, so magic tower time. It's going to be a super cool thing. Um, Faustian is dropping $5. Um, thank you very much. Saying, hey, Damien, this is coming from a very hetero place, but I love you, man. Never fail to make me laugh. Faustian, I definitely appreciate the sentiment, and that's very sweet. Thank you so much, and I do... I am certainly glad I can make you laugh. That being said, you don't have to specify hetero, non-hetero, or whatever. Something I really like to uh, challenge people to do is, like, Tell your friends you love them. You know, I know we're not like, like I don't know you, but I'm just saying in general, like, you don't have to be so afraid of, you know, uh-oh, uh-oh, someone's gonna think I'm romantically attracted or even that I'm gay. Like, you know what I mean? Just, you can just say like, you can just say the love thing. But the sentiment is very appreciated. Um, and I'm glad that I can help make you laugh. Same for me, but from the gay place. Well, that's fair, baby magic. And that's also great too. <laughs> but you know i tell my friends i love them all the time um now i it, it is clear that i could jump there from somewhere and that's kind of cool maybe i could even misty step but no i'll go i'll go here normal i mean i wouldn't be opposed to being friends with you in the future no i appreciate that faustian you're, you're very very you're very very sweet and i i understood the sentiment i'm just saying this more for the general place of people of like hey eh, you don't have to you don't have to do it you don't have to say the things no way to ignite these strange Ooh, arcane power no way to now I did I did hear that the the Susser tree that we had opened or that we had gotten a long time ago is potentially beneficial here. Oh, Nat one, that sucks. Well, let's try it again. We have so many thief tools. There we go, thirty one. I am so curious as to what this magical little place does, and I hope we have some cool battles. Two open chests right away. Definitely no traps. Let's go. No one's going to stab me on this day in this dungeon with these dragons. Oh. Okay, we got two lasers. Yep, that's the whole thing, huh? Great. Awesome. I love that for me. Um, I guess uh, enter turn base mode is the move then. Um, all right. So... How much health? How much health you got? All right, I'm going to do just the normal uh, murder attack on you. Cause that's disadvantage. Think you can take me on? Oh, that's right. It has to do a certain amount of damage to even, even count as hitting. I completely forgot about that. Sturdy that sucks okay so we'll keep him right there and turn work to do. but shadow heart also probably isn't gonna help us very much um <laughs> but mm, mm, maybe i think at a certain point we might just have to say goodbye to shadow heart for a bit she's great as a healer but like maybe we don't need a healer right now maybe we don't always need a healer isn't that a possibility? Couldn't that be a thing? All right, Astarian. Time for you to do your special little punchos. Don't linger. Don't Time to speak. die. Critical miss. I love that. I love that that happened to me. Uh... Okay, another sturdy miss. All right, that's great. Carlac, why don't you show these little chumps how it's done? I guess we could use her light spell if Astarian weren't right there. 
There we go. That's a strong attack. That wasn't, though. Oh, God, poor thing. No, not Karlak. I love you. Oh, poor thing. Okay, so by doing that, it turned it off, and we have to do it again, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we just have to keep blowing this thing up. Um... Great weapon master bonus attack. Great. Oh, but it keeps it keeps popping back up. I always forget about that. Okay, great. Um despite everything. But this thing wants to hurt Carlac, and I can't let that happen. I'm not gonna let that happen right there. Um I'm gonna do mobile flourish ranged. Because if I hit it, I can teleport to it. There we go. God, it's just never close enough. Why is that even an attack? It's never close enough. Never once has it been close enough. God dang it. Way to go still. Way to so silly. Delicious. Ooh, a cool little... Uh... See, this is very Dark Souls. You're like, you got an elevator right there in the middle of the flipping... On the middle of the flipping... Killing me. Um. All right, I'm just gonna. Can I even dash? No. Do it one more time, maybe. All right. Nope. That was silly. We're on the same side. Last time I. Science turn again. Okay. This is how Stella got her groove back. Again. Um, how did it do none of the damage? That's so silly to me. I just don't get it. What is sturdy? Uh, sturdy as it has to do with least 10, right? Ah, Lee. I could go for a good meal. Yeah, you and me both, dog. Sturdy needs a 22 to hit. I thought it was in terms... I thought it was a damage thing. All right. I didn't... I thought it was... Um, you have to damage it a certain amount. Not like... Roll a certain amount. Sturdy. Uh, only a hit that deals 10 damage can actually damage it. You're telling me none of these hits have done 10 damage? 10 damage is not that crazy. My ranged attack does anywhere from... Oh, it's 1d6 plus 4. That's the problem. Okay, so they've all been like... Got it. They've all been smaller hits just like together. Because it's 1d6 plus 6. So I'm assuming it's not like 10. It's like, oh, you didn't do enough. Got it. Got it. Yep. Okay. Well, we're going to get right back to it in a second here. Sacred Flame. We'll try it. There we go. 10 damage. That counts. Look at you actually being super useful. Look at you go. Um, okay. Try it again. There we go. 10 damage. You did it. Amazing. Now are we out of turn basement? We are. Cool. Great. They've all been knocked down. You love to see it. A platinum Meg raiding with a party of six. Party of six. Please you right this way. Thank you so much. Nice. Appreciate you. Whoops, they all failed Arcana. That's awesome. I love that for them. Love that for them. No way to ignite these. Um well welcome on in. Thank you for being here. Chest of the mundane! Oh, I remember reading about this. This is a whole thing. This is a whole thing for us. Anything you put in here becomes stupid. Anything you take out, it becomes not stupid. So we got fancy boots instead of that stupid thing. A literal gold. A bunch of magic stuff. Okay, I love this. So we're going to send this to camp. And then also Karlak. We're going to have Karlak pick this up. 
and keep it forever. Oh, it doesn't work as a bag of carrying anymore? Well, bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's too bad. Stay Frosty Nina dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Stay Frosty Nina. I appreciate you. Excuse me. Stay Frosty Nina is um, gifting to Jay the Unknown, Trophy Rain, J Cash King the Fourth, uh, JD610, and then Zolvomir. Appreciate you a lot. That is very kind of you. Thank you kindly. Okay, so I guess theoretically I could. I could do feather fall and just jump down here and there's probably a bunch of really cool goodies by doing that you know what i mean there's probably a bunch of like really cool goodies i also want to explore down here there's a whole thing um well thanks so much for the raid y'all appreciate it hope y'all had a good stream yourself um oh, nice. and thank you again stay for all you a small town singer dropping 369. Nice. Uh, thank you very much. Saying, sorry to hear you're dealing with burnouts. I'm in the same boat. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, burnout's not fun, is it? Um, uh, uh, was misdiagnosed with depression as a kid and recently realized it's been Audi HD burnout this whole time. Yeah, that's kind of the way it goes, huh? Um, I am sorry to hear that. Uh, I love how supportive you and this community are. Uh, ooh. uh, Keep taking care of yourself. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to have a really lovely and supportive community like this. You know, it's not something you see. Ooh, I think I can jump and then I jump. Um, it's not something you see all the time, but something you see here very often. And that's something I'm, I'm really, really, really proud of. Um, and I also feel is very lucky because there's only so much you can do to, you know, control what your community is like. Who says what? But... It's really cool that, like, pretty naturally everybody's just turned out to be pretty damn chill and pretty damn supportive. So I do, I do so love it. All right, so now we can do a little, we did a little feather fall situation. Now we're going to go wee, and then we took no damage. Look at us go, zero damage. I am so curious. There's got to be something down there. There's got to be. I know it. I just know it. we got to figure out how to make money off this thing. I really want to. Sorry, did you guys not feel like joining, or what's up? Some kind of issue? Kind of hard? Kind of hard, you good? I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Okay, yeah, there you go. Arlac, you feeling good about that too? Yeah, there we go. Okay, back up, back up we go. Cool. So, an entirely new room. I'm assuming there's definitely not going to be anything spooky or murderous in here. So, we can just run around and do whatever. Supply pack. Threadbare book. Avals. A bunch of worders. Sprouting Timisk and then Timisk spores. Um, cool. Then we definitely want to take these Timask spores and then blow up the sprouting Timask, probably. Then, yeah. Um, Timask spores. Nice. So these are some of the things we needed to help um, Omalak, the, the guy that's kind of like a mind player, but he's just he's not a meanie. Um, he needs all this stuff. He needs all the goodies. We're going to get him all the goodies. Don't you worry. Don't you worry now. We're going to get him some goodies. I'm just trying to make sure that we're not missing anything. Oh, a pitchfork. That's kind of sick. Ooh, tongue of madness. That's also something we needed for him. So I think just by doing this, we've... I think we've completed the quest then. Yeah, we'll bring it back to him. It's gonna be kind of sick. Pretty cool when you think about it. Um, so we just won't, we'll just make sure not to use those mushrooms quite yet. And I will say, I do want to blow up uh, this kind of, this area. Um, are we able to use this yet? Ooh, descend or ascend. Nice! Wooden barrel. Time to blow up the Timask spawn. Dooey, dooey. Dooey, dooey. Great. Now, no one can say that we didn't do that. Um, I also want to explore that. Again, these gosh dang arcane braziers that we cannot use yet. 
Um, but small town singer, I I hope that now that you have more of a understanding of the root of what you're feeling, maybe you have an opportunity in the future to, you know, deal with things in a more appropriate way for yourself. Um, that looks like another sister tree. <gasps> I was like, is that a ghost? Wait, is this just, is this that, is that just the entrance? That's just where we walked up to? No, no, that's not the entrance. Interesting. We'll explore that later. We'll do that. Let's see. <gasps> Burlap sacks. Fifth Avenue. Don't mind if I do. Any more Tongue of Madness? No. Okay, cool. Then we are out of here, baby. I want to try descending first. Should be interesting. All right, let's try. Let's try the descent in theater. Nothing's happening. But it's not broken. Anyone else want to try some Arcana? That hard. You're kind of smart, not really. Not a budge. Better take a look around. Why is it broken? You're powered by magic. Goodness sake. So I wonder then if we cast some type of magic on these braziers here, or is that a thing? No. But yeah, I wonder if casting it's some kind of specifically magic on these braziers would allow us me. to do that evocation magic cantrip no doesn't look like i can light these at least not by normal means let me think about this now we do have susser leaves back in camp we've tried using a cantrip Don't touch me soldier he definitely doesn't have any. Is that blood? Um. No, never mind. Hmm. I wonder if there's a magical. Torch. One day I'll catch a break. Um. For everything that we found in here, we're finding a lot of water-based things, which makes me question if that's for a reason or if that's just flavor of the area you know but obviously there is there is quite a bit of water-based stuff so if we go back up top i know that i can't ascend using this elevator yet hmm i'm gonna try jumping down to this other area like we talked about and maybe we go back and explore after like finishing up the rest of that quest but i know there's stuff down here um, and we deserve all have Featherfall. Wee! Everyone, let's go. Wee! Everything is going to be fine. We're totally fine. Look at us go. I can't believe that actually works. That's so cool. Aha! More Sisser Blooms, which make our magic go away, but it's clear that we're going to need it for some. That is very clear to me. These Sisser Blooms. Okay, so it gives us an anti-magic field. Obviously, we can't use magic for a little bit. We knew that would happen. Survival fail. Ooh, ooh, dirt mound. What can we dig up? Pretty cool. <laughs> Excuse me, pretty cool. Roll of fear, acorn truffle, and balsam. Okay, so that's just normal stuff to dig up. Could also grab this laculite shard or laculite or laculite. I don't know. So, um, we did lose Featherfall, so we can't do that again while we're holding on to these these sister blooms. And now we can get in through the bottom floor, and maybe that'll be helpful to us. Or we can also go up here. Oh, there's a jumping, little jumping path through. Here, a eh? oh, okay. okay. I'm gonna try front door. I'm gonna try front door. We're gonna see. Um, see, we got Tiana dropping 369. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, Tiana. Tiana says, and I quote, um, oh, that's right. We don't have any of the magic, so I can't. Oh, she can add guidance. Weird. Okay. Um, Tiana says, hey, mate, had a fall yesterday. Well, I had two. One as a result of having a good time at a 30th. The other as my legs were already bruised and weak. 
Reckon you got any good news to share to make it better? As always, giving my love to the coop. I am so sorry to hear that, Tiarna. Um, please take care of yourself. Ibuprofen and ice. Not, not gonna say all the things. You know all the things. But I'm sorry to hear that. that um, any good news? Um, I'm visiting my mum. No way to ignite these. Is starting tonight. Strange. Isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? I think it is. Um, Sylvan Stone, Lack of Light. Is there a book that's gonna tell me how to mix up all these things? Um, I feel like I've, I've shared most of my news in stream already. To be fair, you did message that like an hour ago, so maybe you've already heard it. Um, but I'm certainly sorry to hear that you, you had a little tumble. Um. Okay, Viridian Crystal, so, ooh. Another thing to, to oh wait, there's just like a random hole. I'm way too big. I I do kind of miss um withered blue petal. Oh, is this from the sister tree? Damn. Dotted gossamer petal faded in blue. It smells faintly of. Interesting. Oh, a power generator. Oh ho ho ho. So we did need to go down here. I'm the smartest person I know. Um, great. Great, 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 great. Rosa books. Oh, fancy. Gith and mind flayers. Awesome. This the, I think that's the first time the book rack has actually had something in a long time. Um, treatise on the anti-magic properties. Um, you better be careful because of the scissor tree. Okay, cool. It makes sense. Um, glowing gem. Um, I think it's a good idea to just check the rest of this room. And then clearly, clearly the magic generator thing. We got we got to put stuff in there. And that's how we get this to work. I'm such a nerd, I would be reading all the text. Well, um, uh, Arachnus Web, I think, uh, I think if I were playing this on my own, I might do that. But since I have limited time because I'm streaming with y'all and I want to make sure the time counts and is... Um, being, you know, utilized well and to its fullest. Um, it's more or less. All right. All right. I'm going to go back over here. Power generator. Let's, let's try it. I'm assuming I got to put a bunch of stuff in here. So my first guess, as weird as it sounds... Even because it's like an anti-magic field, but Susser Bloom. Okay. Very interesting that a Susser Bloom, the anti-magic bloom of all things, is what allows us to power on this magical location. But like, oh. oh. So hold on, it's an anti-magic field. So it turns off those sentries. I don't understand the logic behind this. Like, it's a it's a it's a item that makes anti-magic, right? You can't use magic when you're carrying the item. Do I need to like add more to it? Nope. Yeah, so I need to send this to camp because otherwise it's gonna um, continue giving me anti-magic. So by making an anti-magic field in this, we've powered all the rest of the magic. I just don't, I just don't get it. Did you game logic? Yeah, but like maybe the book explained it. I don't know, maybe. It just feels like um, so often in this game there is like, it is very purposeful in what they do and do not do. Yeah, the book probably explained it. But, you know, I'm not going to read it. I'm not a, um, not a silly old nerd. <laughs> um, fringe philosophy. Fringe on Fox. Okay, time for us to go be magical. Oh, Florian, that's a, that's a good idea. The plant sucks up all the magic around it. So I guess, therefore, by, you know, putting it in the machine, there's a bunch of extra... Juice. Wait, did it already ascend me? Was it that fast? Or did I just... Am I confused? 
Oh yeah, it just did it. It just straight up did it. All right, send. Wow, I really thought they would program in like a kind of vibe to it. And they sure didn't. All right, so now we get to go to a level we haven't been to yet. Okay, let's go check this out. <gasps> There's a wardrobe. This is gonna be cool. You should read every book you can in the tower. Okay. I think. Um, okay. Ooh. On the laser. It looks so small from here. Um. Someone just asked, is the E Tower? Uh, Hannah G, I have no idea. I. Oh, uh, you mean the Moonrise Tower? The one where, like, everyone's talking to for storyline reasons? Not that I know of, no. Mage's friend, Arcana, and Religion are both plus one. That's a spooky noise. Oh, and now I'm hearing. Let's have a look at myself. Is there a, is there a, I wonder if there's a, um, an achievement for like buying all the different, or getting all the different uh, paintings. There's so many buttons too, just so many buttons. Emerald ring, fancy, fancy. Strange place for a button, especially one that doesn't work. I mean, I've got to assume it did something. Stuff book horror head. Spooky, hate that. Handwritten letter. Okay, okay. Close the darkness. Okay, we gotta we gotta grab all these because apparently we have to read all the things. Such a strange disc. Are these get Yankee games? Lazelle might know. We already did. We already talked to Lazelle about all this. I guess we're supposed to do this before the crash, huh? Uh, uh. Hmm. Not favor. More books. So many books. Good lord. Was it some kind of library tower of wizards? Probably. Um, added armchair. Yeah, let's got some real spooky vibes here. You're like, oh yes. This is very haunted. The button only does something if you have a specific item. Oh, interesting. Then maybe we'll come back for something for that when and if we get an item, or maybe we don't get to. Um, all right, so I guess we do have to chat with Lazella. This is formed from oh. slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. You examine them closely, but can't make much sense of them. Using the cipher you found, you might be able to reveal the disc's meaning. Um, use the cipher you found? Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just use the cipher. A pattern forms as you gaze Like, at why the would disc, I try to use anything else? that pattern... A story emerges, the Prince of the Comet, Part One. Oh. So it was that we were free from gank shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered, and one great empire was divided in two. Gith mm. traveled to the hells to broker help for they her say people, the hex. her cause. Flacketh would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Yeah. I think I can sort of make out what the markings are wishes. saying. In the old times, himself. there were two With kinds of Gith, and the ba 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 like, heir. they're really... He knew Vlacketh's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and declared the throne for himself. The war Interesting. The so all the Gith that are, like, supposedly the bad guys, the heretics. The Apparently, one, they're given how not so bad, from what I'm gathering. Will surely want to know of this. It is weird to me, though, that, like, they made it very clear that that other one we could definitely read, but then this one, we're like, 
Hmm, we can't read Gith Yankee writings. I think it's probably a good idea to have Lazelle take a look. And it's just like, okay, well, we certainly were 100% fine doing that one right there. Like, didn't even question it for a second. Right? Um, Demo Nacho, you were saying I need to read all the books. Does it include the one that I just got from Lazelle, or can I just continue on right now? All right, let's see here. I think you got most. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay. I just want to point out something real quick that we all need to know. I did not play this before writing my own D&D campaign. In fact, there's so many times in stream that I've been like, wow, okay. I'm sorry, a guy in the top of a tall tower spire that's made of clockwork? That's a new thing I made up! Damn it! Uh, don't break any plates. I have broken so many things. Charlotte Renee dropping 10 flippin' dollars. You very kind, generous Mother Goose. Thank you so much. Charlotte Renee says, I just demolished a whole charcuterie board because I couldn't wait for dinner. Good for you. You deserve that charcuterie. Eat it up, yum yum. Eat it up. Um, let's see here. Uh, buh, 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 what was I saying? Uh, now I'm slowly slipping into a food coma because maybe that wasn't a good idea. Send help, says Charlotte Renee. I've been having, um, yeah, and Bernard instead of Gaspard. God damn it. Sorry. This is just, this is wild to me. Um, so, uh, Charlotte Renee, um, I'm sorry to hear that. I've been struggling with that lately, too. I was talking about this, uh, earlier in stream. I had brunch with a friend. Again, it's the kind of friend that you were trying to, like, you're always like, oh, we should hang out. And then you never do. And we were finally like, let's do this. Let's get brunch. As soon as I was done with brunch, it wasn't even a heavy meal. But I got home and I was like, I need to go back to bed. I'm so tired. Um, I can't believe this. I can't believe that anyone else believe this at all. This is driving me nuts. I'm I'm losing my mind. Um. Oh, we know perhaps the rest of a verse because we read the book. I don't know. Like, honest to God, I didn't even see this thing, and it's got a similar. How can I trust, or will I ever know? How can I show myself, my darkest me? Yeah, he doesn't have a French accent. You're right, CMID. I literally... What the f I'm so... I like... Bernard instead of Gaspard? An animated armor?! If you could see the written out plans that I had for this space before we started taking too long and I had to adjust because we don't always have as much time to film as I would like. I am so mad. What is guiding light? I swear to God, if it's a magical talking knife. Broken machinery, broken machinery, broken machinery. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of floored here, y'all. What is guiding light? Okay, it's a ring. It's a ring. Very different. Oh, and it just has... Oh, maybe that's what I need in order to press a button because it's not very valuable. Used by the, mm-hmm. Used by the previous owner to access both the Underdark's corners, Darkest Corners, and her own basement. This ring seems to reflect light where there should be none. The swagger dagger starts to talk. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be so mad. Do you understand? Do you understand the level of rage in my bones that I would have? Oh wait, we haven't, uh, we haven't read the threadbare book. Oh, that is the one that we read. Aha! I am. I don't want to say I'm livid, but I'll imply it. 
Um, another animated armor. I mean, that being said, Bernard, do you want to trade? Do you got any things to buy? Who are you? What is this place? I will say, he does have a pretty cool looking sword. I don't want it. Bernard, guardian of the enchanted tower versus Gaspard, clockwork castellan. I'm... <laughs> God damn it. Excuse my language. Sorry. I'm just like, oh my God. What? What the hell, dude? High animated armor. Hi, guy. I'm going to examine you. Dark vision, extra attack opportunity. I like, I had so many encounters planned out for animated armor we just ran out of time but literally my whole castle i was like all right we're gonna do animated armor and then um i'll just give you a little backstory why not um i found a like a stained glass like elemental kind of situation i was like "Ooh, i'm gonna change that to like a construct and make him more like clockwork and he's more sentient so now he's the castellan yeah so okay so he's a clockwork castellan like there are a few things in game that I like sort of changed to be my own um, sort of homebrew, but like based off of other things. And the amount of things I like mixed together to make just what is clearly that mother father right there. I'm just, I'm just like, just like what the French toast? Oh, I can't just hop right there. Okay. And talk to this guy. I do want to see if I can, uh, if I can, um, steal from Bernard. Oh, that's why the screeching was happening. Child. Um, okay. So, it said that ring allowed her to access her own basement and, um, the depths of, you know, this place. So, I'm very curious if the button is what they were talking about here. Um, what, what are, I'm, I'm very curious about Astarian's stats now. Still extremely high dex. I think Astarian still might be our best bet for um, thievery. On group. So let's have, she's gonna, she's gonna do, I guess guidance doesn't help him. No, oh, her ability checks it would, I guess. Guidance, yes. Astarian, why don't you go over here we're gonna do a little, do your little dance, dance, do a little, do a little, do a little dance. The, the gas part illustration is thick. That is true. Thank you. Here's here's what I'll say too. Everybody has you know different sort of artistic vibes and styles, and like when I'm trying to describe like notes to an editor, I'm not great at it. I feel like I'm very good with, with words until it matters, and then I just and I'll be like, you know how like there's a thing, and we have a guy, you know, kind of like the vibe of this. And that's what I would do to, you know, the, our, our incredibly, our incredibly talented artist for Sword AF. If you're new here, it's the D&D campaign on Smosh. That's my baby. Um, when I spoke to them and they were like, hey, this is kind of what I'm wanting to do. Like, immediately, immediately, like whatever, the first draft they would send back, I would just be like, that's what I wanted. Like, that's. That's what I wanted. Like, it was just so bizarre to me. All right, so let's see if we can lockpick. Not enough movement. Hold on, exit turn based. Re enter turn based. I'm going to try to pick pocket and just see. Can't do it. All right, so here's the deal we can't pick his pockets. What we can maybe do Whatever comes, is command him to drop his weapon. We would still have to be sneaky for her. Nope, sorry, uh, ungroup. Everyone else, um, including Starion, group up. No one stop we gotta go over here. Do you trade with them? Uh, no, my Dolph, there is no trade work option, or trade uh, option. Will guide me. Um, all right, so, I want to see what it would be like to hide. Nope, that didn't work. Um, to hide. And then command him to drop your weapon. Just curious. 
Just let them drop. Light of creation. Oh my god. Okay, and now I can. Unseen. Perfect. So now Astarian can. Someone there. See. So now he can drop on over to here. Is it attached to him? No, I think he just had it on his back there. Um, and so now, um, I can do a little time. I'm gonna quick save here. Oh my god, I can pickpocket my own team members? That's actually kind of actually hilarious. One light of creation. Chance to stun the ones reported a theft in oh. this area. It seems you're the likely culprit. I don't actually know where that would have what come from. I don't know do? what you mean by that. Um, try to talk your way out of the situation. Yeah. Deception, intimidation, persuasion. Oh no, it's a Starian. I've got to deceive now. Oh god, add bonus. Okay, this isn't great. Stay frosty, Nina, with another five gift subs. Hopefully that carries with it enough luck for us to survive this. Um, stay frosty, Nina. Gift and subs to Sayum, Rose Wynn, DJ, uh, excuse me, D, maybe it's DJ Ophi or, or the, the Joe Fi or the Jofi. Um, Zolresh and then Miss Sneaky Ninja. Thank you so much. Yes, we did it. We tricked the robots. Now, we did it. So well if you're caught again. Command is for sure one of my favorite, um, uh, Looking ahead. Little, little, little spells here. Um, I can't believe that works. That was awesome. And we don't have to fight that guy. He's our new friend. Everything's fine. They love that we did that. They're totally fine with it. Let's go downstairs. Um, is this where the button was? I'm going to try that button again. I feel like now that we have this special clock thing. Oh, yeah. But also, sorry, what do you have? What's your what's your deal? What, did, what was light of creation? So it's a halberd, which is actually really cool. A chance to stun the wielder unless it is a construct. Oh. So I shouldn't have had that anyway. Oh well. Maybe put it on. We'll see, Arachnus Web. That if it if it doesn't work, I'll try that. But you know, I want to keep the weapons I have for a minute first. Button. Strange place for a button. Especially one that doesn't work. Caustic man versus the psychic uh Maybe Mage's friend, both of them. Maybe maybe we can swap out both. Strange place. Okay, it doesn't work either way. Um, well, I will say actually, while we're doing the strange time to wait, wait. Um, since well. since I'm about to leave this area, does anybody know? Is there an item around here that I'm supposed to have already to make that button happen? Um, just curious. Uh, Moonlight says I can tell you what that button does in case you want to leave. Yeah. Oh, the button is in the elevator. Really? What if you activate the light cantrip from the ring? Okay. What if? Can I use it on the button? Go to the elevator with the ring on? If you loot the dog collar and equip it, it has a little interaction. Oh, I've heard about that. Got it. Um, let's see. The ring is in the underdark. Uh, go back up again. The, the button is in the elevator. Go to the elevator with the ring on. Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you. Ascend, descend. Now I have the ring on. Aha, basement. Basement. There we go. Fancy little basement situation. You love to see it. Thanks for your help. I don't know if I would have found that on my own. Uh, plus one Arcana, plus one Religion. I mean, that is so good. Um, when you deal acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage, a cantrip or throwing boost, you get better jumps. You get invisibility. You heal and get extra boost from that. Mm, you should have the mage's friend, probably. Or maybe, or maybe light is the avocation cantor. Maybe we do that. I mean, I feel like. You know what? Karlak doesn't use any of these things from a cantrip. She doesn't. The ring of elemental infusion can't work for her. So she should have the, this one. Cool. Um, all right. Fun to explore. Okay, steal. 
Um, basilisk oil. Ooh, someone milked a basilisk for this. Fancy. Um, Skylar Babes is dropping 10.69. Nice. Uh, thank you very much for that, Skylar Babes. Um, appreciate you a lot. That is a very generous tip. Skylar Babes says, and I quote, Hello, I've noticed that I tend to fall into this cycle of being excited for stream about 9 to 10 p.m. on weekdays, and then being lulled into sleep halfway through. Missed the first half today, lol. I don't mind rewatching it with the VODs, though. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'm going to take that as a compliment because I personally love falling asleep to where it can't be electrocuted. That's so cool. So maybe that's how you wield that cool weapon. Um, I um I love falling asleep to content and I think uh that's one of my favorite things to do is to put on a nice little YouTube situation and um Sav Arcane Blessing, that's awesome. And just fall asleep to it. So the fact that I can be that for you is great. And also I have a hard as hell time sleeping at the times when I'm supposed to be asleep. Um so the idea of helping anybody sleep um makes me so happy. Makes me real happy. Um, so thank you. Alright. Now, because you said I need to check on all the different books. Boop. Oh, crap. No! Wait, shoot. I didn't mean to. Ah, damn it. Oh, there goes that scroll. No, yes? Yes, no. Um, the Sparks Wall. Uh, when the inventor Ir met the cleric Lenore, sparks flew. Apart, uh, they were in a rut, but together they inspired each other to push the boundaries of innovation and invention. This ring is just one of the many scientific triumphs. That's a really cool ring with really cool flavor text. So I'm assuming, you know, that little halberd is probably from the electric damage. Like, it would stun you as well. Maybe that's why it's a, a big deal. So maybe I would be able to use that halberd. But then again, nobody in my crew really uses a halberd anyway. I guess they could. They could, but it doesn't really matter. I really wish there were a, way, were a way to know um, which books mattered and which didn't. Because I have so many books at this point in game. And I wish I could just be like, well, off you go. Off to storage forever. And yet, and yet, I can't and shouldn't. I can't. Nice. That ring seemed like it would go well with those boots. Yes, probably. Um, I am gonna do the short rest thing in case there's a fight down here because there's a there's a spooky old wait, I still I can explore those books. Sorry folks, gotta do it. Gotta explore those books. I gotta have my pops. I'm probably gonna stream for another 30, 45 minutes. And then I should probably pack and get going to my mom's place. Um through the weave and then journey through the jungle. Now I gotta read those. The jungle, ba -da -da -da. and then where's the through the weave book? Where's that? Where is that? Damn it! Oh, magic of the weave. Yeah, we already read that. Um, cool. You still have that snail in your brain? We do. Every everything that we've tried to do to stop it so far has turned out to be not successful. But also, at this point, we're kind of embracing it and it's making us stronger. And apparently it, it does come up later in the game how much you embrace it and it might be an issue but still it's like eh, whatever. um all righty oh scholar babes yeah no i got i took it as a compliment don't you worry thank you mm. i've also missed a bunch of new subscribers so sorry everybody please give a spicy clever coop welcome to shovel gifted by my doll hilarious thank you very much um, Bree loves nuggets. Um, Hope Child Seven gifted by Tiarna. Thank you very much. Harley of Nessus, Pyro Moose, um, Elfinka, and uh, we already shouted out the gold sheep. So thank you very much. All right, let's see. Rest in peace, shovel. I know. We 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 botched it. Okay, metal door. Oh, the lever crunk. So I think at this point, then we've probably explored everything we can explore here in this here tower, right? Demo Nacho said that I needed to read every book, but I think I did? Unless you're talking about just reading a specific... Oh, well, read us on the amalgam. Okay. Um, there was a specific book that gave me the answer to the clockwork guy situation. Is that more or less what you meant? Um, I 
or demo not to have I missed something because I I don't want to come back here did you get into the basement I did sweet roll we did just come from the basement so I think at this point it's probably easiest yeah you've read enough okay you've read enough what happened to shovel uh shovel apparently we, in order to keep him around you needed to read him as a oh if you didn't read the books they wouldn't have given you the ring okay um, apparently for a shovel, you needed to be like a warlock or a wizard in order to keep him around. And we are not that as our character. I'm curious if it's going to Or is this just another way to make it up there without better fall? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Um, oh, actually, it does seem like maybe I could explore over here. Okay. You know what? I'm trying it. I'm trying it. We're playing a few. Um, all right. Too high. That's not too high. It's not too high for everyone, is it? We do have some people like Harlack who have such high strength they can definitely do it. No, that's too high. Um, I'm I'm just curious here. I can go all the way up here. Don't think that's a thing. Try again. Does that? Yes. No. Can I jump anywhere higher? Can we go up there? Uh, paths interrupted. Death. Death. Yeah, so maybe this is not a thing for me to explore. And tell you what, that's okay. Um, I will, however, go back to the Mykonid colony to go turn in that quest of the mushrooms. Mushroom quest. Mushroom quest. Whatever could it mean? It means you've lived a life of sin. Meticulous notes of void ball, but my god, to find another void bulb here is so good. Um Omeloon. Omelum. Alright, let's do it. Oh, um, and then we got Otome Cafe dropping five flippin' bucks. Thank you very much, Otome Cafe. Thanks. Just got back from a little munch break and watched the Anomia vid posted today. Such a wild game to watch, and I can only imagine how hard it is to play. Your water slash juice mess up was hysterical, though. I appreciate that. <sighs> so there was a new Smosh Games video that went up today. Sometimes I have a really hard time watching myself because I don't always know how I'm coming across to other people and i think everyone else in the in the video was fine and i and i will also take the compliment i'm glad you laughed and had a good time um oh i left my party you're sure right i sure did wait well then he's got to come with us too thank you very much um so when i thought i was like just really going for it and being joking and being like oh i was i'm gonna be super into it as a joke i come across like damn i'm really like intense right now to be fair, it was day one of being on a replacement, like ADHD med that I'm not usually on, but it was still, I just watched myself and I was like, God, like I'm having a really hard time. So I'm glad people have had a, a good experience with the video because I watched it and I was like, people are gonna hate this. And there are some people who are always just gonna be not a fan of me and that's fine. Um, the Shattered Teledrine, let's read that. Trader appears encouraged by your interest in this item. Though of course you'll need to pay for it. Oh, I guess I'll, okay, sure. I'll buy that from the shattered Is that anywhere? Okay, yeah. Um, I'm also gonna just buy all of his alchemy supply things. Because, like, why not? Um, 119, yeah, that's like nothing. Nothing. We're rich. Rich. Um, so again, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I assumed very strongly that people wouldn't, and I was kind of dreading it coming out today. I was like, um, all right, time to sell all these, and then we got to go bring that other book to Lazelle. Let's see what she says. Ah. I am going to now read the book. Lead to the quest. Oh. She is cataloging Koroto and fertility rituals. Oh. oh. I greet you, child of the sun. 
Thank you, Daddy. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? Um, oh. You know what? I'm not going to be rude to him. I'm going to say I found those mushrooms you were These looking for. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omeluan turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draft. I can make no promises as to its taste. Probably not good, though. Um, I was also happy that Shane challenged. Welcome back, Cotter, says Saijin. Yeah, so anyone who has, ends up watching the video, you'll see it. And what I mean is, like, when I end up doing a thing where I'm like, no, no, it was right. Why would you look that up? I think it was fine. In my mind, I'm always joking. And then when I watch it back, I'm like, no, I, I seem like I'm serious. And I seem like it really matters to me. Oh, God. I just got to adjust. But anyway, um, what exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. So this is yet another way that someone's going to try. With cautious intensity. It expects doubt. It expects fear. He expects bad things from me. So I'm going to say, what are you not telling me? Now, yeah, clearly there are all these different ways that we can go about trying to remove this beast from our brain. And this is just one of them. And none of them have worked out so far. So I'm assuming, obviously, game's not going to be over right now. Like, there's, it's not going to work out. But I'm just, sometimes there's a good benefit to it. I'm just curious. Only in that you may be a danger to yourself. What the potion may make you see or feel, I cannot determine. But unless you are already a step from death, it will not kill you. Okay. Drink the potion, I suppose. I'm going to save, of course, but drink the potion. The acidic liquid tightens your oh, throat. Fail save the on the way down. <laughs> it's a bolt of agony straight to your oh, stomach. Yikes. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Yeah, I was going to say like a creature suspended in amber for sure. Um, draw your willpower or, yeah, um, focus on the present, not the illusions. Plus three from my intellect. And then we're going to add the bonus of plus one of those. We're going to add bless. Hashtag bless. 14. There we go. Pretty cool. A few sparks and colors dance around Omeluan. But you stay steady and staring ahead. The temple spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. Oh, on visual. Um, wall off your mind. Um, resist or drown it out by focusing on a tune. Um, this is our best one. Wall off your mind because we have the headband of intellect, which I guess just really helps us a lot. Um, I gotta save right now because I'm just I'm I've got a feeling. Oh man, woo, we're good. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart. Turning that tide of fear against itself. It was itself. funny to watch you squirm around. It power. didn't do anything. More power I'm than sorry. you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The power <gasps> <side> of <laughs> You're freaking it out, itself. man! Oh, no. It smells like oh, cops! Well. That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. And yet somehow sexy? I mean, not that, not that. 
I felt it grow inside me. There's more power than ever. Or that potion of yours could have killed me. The tadpole almost did the same. It's supposed to make it weaker, not stronger. Um, there's more power than ever. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. Yeah, everything we've tried there to do to kill it to has made it stronger. Stasis. Hmm. So I went through all this and the tadpole still lodged in my brain. Indeed. Although I may have another solution. You have not bought a lot of trust from me, my guy. A temporary one. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. Hmm. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence. But then he gets Both noticed. Positive He's going to be sacrificing himself. Negative. I don't want him to do that. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? Mugen? Um. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, I feel like we don't need that. Intimidation. Tell you more about the Nautiloid. Every last detail. I have gold. Will that suit? No, I want this power. Keep your ring. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of do want the power, but I could give it to Carlac because Carlac is not down. Is not down. I'm gonna do Bard performance. You're like, what if I sang you a song about the worm in my brain? What if I sang a song and then I did a little dance? Oh, this is gonna suck. I don't, I don't think we're gonna succeed. Oh, we did it! Oh my god! As a mellow one watches your performance, <laughs> something stirs in his mind. <laughs> this is actually really silly. Method. Okay. Joy. Here. <laughs> Why? May it serve you. Why is as well? But is is he gonna die now? Because me. now the mind players can know where he is. And at least it offers us some protection from the tadpole. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Oh yeah, we've never we're seen playing. anything like it, Blur. Is my species evolving? Well, it's not. Wait, where is where did Blur go? Um, I wonder if we can steal meticulous notes, uh, potion greater healing, grease bottle. Um, I am curious to see what this guy has. Um, yeah, no, we're I mean we're definitely poisoned here. I'm gonna talk to him again. I greet you, son, child. Oh, now we can trade with him. We never could before. Oh, elixir of psychic resistance? That's cool. Pearlescent restoration. What is that? Mean? You can replenish expended spell slots of your choice. What? Um, creation's echo. Boots of stormy clamor. Um, if when the wearer inflicts condition upon a hostile creature, they also inflicts two turns of reverberation. I gotta look up every damn thing this guy has. Um, they have penalties to stuff. Uh, Ring of Salving. You restore an additional two hit points every time you heal another creature. We want that for sure. The Shade Spell Circlet. While the wearer is obscured in shadow, their spell gains a plus one bonus to spell save, making them more likely to succeed. Okay. So a lot of these are actually really good. Um, and we can buy these things from okay kind of kind of want a lot of these um resistance to psychic damage is whatever i'm sure that'll help later but we want this i think we want this we need that intellect of our cerebellum void bulb is actually awesome to be um Um, I mean, this is all great. Um, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna file that right up. Do you have anything to sell, Carlyle? Do you have anything to sell? Um, probably not. 
Do you have anything to smoke around? Is that all right? Did you choose Sorry. Anything you'd like to share with the class? <gasps> no. All right. Um. In the beginning, I had an arrangement with a lich. Excellent company, despite what one would expect. An arrangement? I required brains. Mm -hmm. He required souls. A perfect symbiosis. But our ambitions eventually splintered. I wished to better the world, and he preferred its rot. So I left his company. Hmm. And thus I now feed from those who act against the society's goals. Oh, weird. Perhaps the peoples of the underdog So basically will be he gets to eat minds violence if people if go against his special club. Yes. Um leave, I guess. Well that's weird. <laughs> Hey, that's a, that's a weird thing you did, my guy. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna really quickly go over here. I do want to see if there's any, you know, sometimes there's special stuff that can be done when someone is, like, distracted. Or, um, excuse me. When they're not, not like, selling anything, but when they're actually, like... Sorry, I, I'm, I'm not speaking very well. Um... You can pickpocket things that they don't sell. There we go. ADHD meds are starting to wear off, and I do have to start winding down pretty soon here because I want to get to my mom's own time. I'm um, also, you know what? Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna look up some traffic right now. Um, hold on. Sorry. Give me one second. Give me one second. Have you spoken with Scris lately? I say. Have you been to the Cloud District? Yes. She is cataloging Koto and fertility rituals. Oh. Well, perhaps after I finish my research here, I'll join her. Uh, okay. Traffic's not looking so bad. Okay, so yeah. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and have... um. I'm gonna stand right here. I'm gonna do a little performance. Watch your back. Arian, are you able to go over here? So you can't get behind Spooky Man's at all. There's no way to pick his pocket. They, they have built in no way for you to do that. Or I guess you have? Okay. It's kind of bad. Beat it. All right. Well, now we through all, and I go to camp. And I think he's mad at me, and it doesn't matter. Great. Yeah, it sure is nice to be able to just teleport away whenever you need it. Um, all right. So, I think we're probably going to have to call that a stream. Uh, it is time for me to go make my way to my mom's for her birthday. For her birthday. But first, we got I'm Just Joe dropping 10 flipping dollars. Thank you very much, I'm Just Joe. I greatly appreciate you. I'm um, saying happy early birthday to your mama. Hope you have a safe drive to her and a great time while you're there. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. I'm sure I'll have a lovely time. I'm going to be spending all day tomorrow with her. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to drive all weird. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to drive safe. I always keep my eyes on the road. Um, I always make sure I'm very locked in and careful. Um, so I appreciate you. Um, this has been lovely, y'all. I'm going to, as always, of course... Um, read out the resubscribers, do a little sign off first before we're fully done with everything. Um, so don't you worry. Um, okay, I was like, can I even hear the music? Okay, it's good. Um, thank you so much for hanging out tonight, or excuse me, today, y'all. This was absolutely lovely. I had been looking forward to this quite a bit. 
like I said, I really wanted to stream on Friday. I really wanted to stream on Saturday, but I was in kind of a low place and I couldn't really bring myself to to do it um, or even get out of bed. But that's just how it is sometimes. Um, but I'm I'm overjoyed that I was able to do this today. So thank you very much. Um, we also got a new subscriber before I continue reading out the rest. We got Pickle Flares. Everybody, please give a five speed clever coop. Welcome to Pickle Flares. Um, so after this, I think I'm going to upload the next YouTube video VOD. Um, again, I'm like two. There were two that I missed before the one that's, I think, most current. And that's an issue. So I'm going to go back and do those. So sorry. It's going to be confusing. I need to fix all that. <laughs> but... Um, also when I am just chilling tonight, I'll probably pop into the discord for a minute and say, Hey, um, so if you are a subscriber, uh, please, of course, uh, check out the discord, come hang out. Um, maybe I'll do like an Instagram live. I always feel like I'm very optimistic about what I'm going to have time to do and the ability to do, but at least the, the, the desire is there, right? Um, uh, alrighty. So uh time to read out all the resubscribers uh you never all you never have to subscribe you never have to do any of those things it's always very nice and appreciated when someone does um it helps support me and it's really lovely and sweet so i always like to shout those out so everybody please give a spicy welcome back and thank you to hyatt's forest for their fourth month carly w for their 32nd rose jean for their three year cleverversary golden moogles to send from on high to bring you cake rose jean thank you so much for three straight years of support Fort. Here's to 10,000 more. Uh, we've also got Noah Cola, Rosa Elena, Madeleficent, uh, let's see, Mydolf, all helping me carry the blue cake. It's very heavy. It's made of tungsten. Thank you very much for that. Amber Games for their 39th. Uh, Fatology um, for their second. Uh, Axer Webb for their third. Owen Wilson for their second. Arithmetic. For their one year Cleverversary. Happy Cleverversary, Arithmetic. Uh, we got Singing Gamer Girl for their three year Cleverversary. Golden Moogles, the same for my head or me again. Uh, Singing Gamer Girl, thank you for three flipping years of support. I greatly appreciate you. Here's to a billion more. Let's watch the sun explode. Um, thank you so much, truly. Poncho Green for their 17th. We got LM Ritt for their 57th. Chadboy Music for their 6th. Vintage Nemo for their eighth, Surge for their 21st, Zombassador for their second, Sonic Bread for their second, Obscure Sorrows for their second, Izzily Moon for their 21st, Sp uh, Spacey Sev for their third, we got Madame Trashy for their 32nd, Felix Hugo for Darius for their 10th, Seashell for their 30th, Big Papa Smurf for their 47th, Harning 36 for their second, we got Oz Lemons for their 28th at a tier two, Oz Lemons, thank you very much for that extra bit of support, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, we got Jenya for their 17th, Vesha for their 46th, uh, Shirley Holmes and Co. for their 20th, Drew Few for their 2nd, Freudinger for their 4th, L Doodles for their 2nd, Gifted by Anonymous, thank you so much, uh, Lauv 2K for their 6th, and then Drava for their 2nd. Y'all, this was absolutely, positively lovely. Um, I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I had a wonderful time. I hope you did too. Again, if you are new here, I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday, usually around 6 p.m. my time, maybe closer to 7. Sundays are around noon or 1 my time. I like to give myself a little window. I've been doing really long streams lately because of uh, this game, but um, who knows? I will probably continue to play more games soon. Um, but for this next week, I'm probably going to do a couple of full day streams because I feel like it and I like that and it is nice. Um, all right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and send a raid over to my friend Laurel, who was just chatting today. Um, so let's just do some, uh, let's just, uh, pigeon. Uh, let's copy and paste. This is our raid message. Even if you got to go, it's always lovely, um, to, uh, send a nice big raid on over to a friend just to get the numbers boosted. So let's copy paste this, please. Pigeon swarm raid. We're going to get that going. All right. Clever coop. As I always say, whether you tip, you subscribe, you throw bits my way, or you just support me by watching with your eyeballs, I so, so, so appreciate you. I love this community, and I could not and would not want to do this without you. So until next time, Clever Coop, you are dismissed. Bye, everyone. Let's raid. Let's go. See you soon. Bye-bye.